Hello, chatto! It's Sundat, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta, the winter update is out. It hasn't changed the ME at all, but apparently it has some lovely changes under the hood that could maybe make the loan farm go into the stratosphere. In other news, we still have three more ties to get through to actually get back into the Champions League group. Other Maltese sides have massive draws. We have signed a lot of really good players. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens of Malta. And we're dancing! There's been a second yellow card. Yes. But for who, Chris Camara? I don't know, <sighs> Jeff. Three more. Ah, Just to, make up your own. <clears throat> that was... We're back. March is good. Maybe there'll be four more ties. There's a secret hidden tie. My throat's gone already. One sec. There we go. That's much better. To Groovy Gamer, thank you very much for the eight months. One second. I have some catching up to do. Let me just turn the music down slightly. Uh, where are we? Thomas, thank you very much for the 29. And Mikael, thank you very much for the follow during the intro. Didn't give up halfway. I never give up. Other than the times when I do, but we ignore those. Mr. Fer, I, I don't pay attention in school. You knew this. Come on. Enjoy the game yesterday. Well, I didn't watch it uh, because I was at the pub. Um, basically, uh, it was my mum's birthday. Well, I say it was my mum's birthday on Thursday, so we went out for a family meal yesterday afternoon, and so I didn't watch the film game or the F one. Although it sounds like I missed fuck all in the F one, which is good, which is always nice. Chris Chen, has the, the winter two update years. fixed the transfer mm. values? No, no, it hasn't. Uh, not even a little bit. But on the plus side, uh, actually, there isn't really a plus side. The, the, it just hasn't. <laughs> Nor do I think that it will do. Uh, Rob, thank you very much for the twenty one months. Now you'll have to see it. It was, oh yes, so with the F1, oh, Horatio as well with the four months. Thank you very much, man. That's so very kind of you. An HHB, yeah, indeed. So I'm there, chowing down. I was like, oh, the F1's on right now. Let me just quickly get up my app and have a little look and see what's going on. Saw Max was 17 seconds clear and thought, right, back to my mix grill. It was, yeah, it's, um, how was Malta? It was sensational. Like, genuinely fantastic. Um, So, yeah, F1, tw this season's F1 is just last, it's just an extension, isn't it? It's even got the same drivers. It's except Alpina now washed. That's I think that's the only difference I noticed was Alpina now absolutely washed. I think it's if you kind of spot the difference, that's the difference. Mm. Ah dear. Let's make it. Yeah, indeed. I'm gonna cheer myself up and watch some NASCAR later, and that'll be brilliant fun. Well, watch it not be. Although it's cookie cars, so it should actually be okay now. Ah dear. Sunday streams, yeah, I missed. Of course, it was, I wasn't here last Sunday. Well, I'd love a Sunday stream. I really do. Weird, though. Premier League fixture at one o'clock today. It's like, stop it. I moved my streams for you. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, well, at least there'll be different drivers next year, maybe. It's... Oh, it's Chamber back again. Oh, nice. Well, I think what Alp I know how to fix Alpine chat. What they need to do is more carbon. I need less paint on that car. That'll do it. That's what the difference is. Can they have negative amounts of paint? Like, somehow. Maybe they put paint on other people's cars. I don't know. That, I mean, that's a huge difference. And they are green, dressage guys. So we've got to take that at least. Uh, just put them on the Devilist and offering them out. Oh, interesting. So basically what I did before stream today is I actually went through and I offered out every single player that is Devlisted with like the custom offer out to Malta specific. So we're going to see if that actually has any effect. But what I've already seen from people in Discord is that it does seem to work in that you're no longer getting players refusing to go out on loan as often before and clubs are coming in for slightly higher rated of your players. I think it was Martini managed to get like a three-star guy out on loan. So we'll see. It, it hopefully means good things. So I offered out 50 players before stream today. Obviously, I was stuck on the match day for the Stoia game, which means I haven't actually been able to progress at all in this save since the update came out. So it's all going to be a new experience for all of us today. Sorry, Saz, I was I was out yesterday. Ah, oh, dear. What's it? That would be kind of cool, actually. Just change the rules on the fly. Each race has a different rules package, and no one knows what it is until they rock up that weekend. It's like, ah, this one, you only allow to run hard tyres. This one, only wet. It doesn't matter if it's raining. Just only wet tyres. I'd love to see that. It would be stupid as fuck, but I'd actually find it interesting, at least. 30 to 130 lines. Jesus Christ. That's insane. 
that gives me a lot of hope then that we can just kind of go back to the old school though because the thing is with the new methods that we've had to use they are pretty time consuming uh whereas before it was a case of bringing player player is interesting player gets loan not having to do like seven different steps so i was like ask literally um although what have they changed lately although i did love that last week joey logano got in trouble for wearing a webbed glove i mean the, the the ingenuity to go yeah i need a webbed glove here is fantastic kin ping mi kin ping it's probably what? should be more than 11 months but prime don't let know it time to resub to the bodies love Bastards. nana thank you though mick that's really really nice of you and thank you very much for the 11 months got there in the end oh dear <clears throat> no what's the long guy apparently so matt yeah let's go for my big face one to two start yeah but the ca's i don't really care so much about the ca the players initially it's because if they've got decent potential, they're going to grow. So getting them out when they're one CA, two, or like one and a half is fine. If they've got four-star PA, or even higher potentially, like we have with Jean Donsac, you just keep them out there. Provided there's no issues with injury or the club gets relegated or something, you can get a real dynasty going. I think that's what happened with Haladash. They just got really lucky in that save to the point where we had like three or four guys out there in the same year. Because what it was, was it was Harris Zivkovic and then both of those fullbacks. There was the um, Argentinian guy, who I believe was called Rodriguez, and then there was um, the Tunisian guy on the other side. Both, All three of those went out in the same season. And, yeah. <clears throat> they developed exactly, yeah. Oh, Ben Salah, that's the one. So when you said OBS, I was like, wait, what's happened? <laughs> hey, so Rob. So it's like, really? Oh, that's great news. I'm really excited about that because I went through before stream and I did literally all of these guys from, well, not Goriam, obviously. Everyone here has been offered out for a loan. And I've also, I've also added a few extra people like Kadri. Not because I haven't offered him out, but I've added him to the dev list and loan anyway, just in case someone did want him. Um, but I'm not going to actively pursue his loan because I feel like he's actually maybe a first team kind of chap uh, along with Malaika as well. Same kind of thing. That's dope. For of the size. Yes. Um, and I can't do that yet, but that's because we're in the process of building the latest set of them. So I spent 10 million pounds on training facilities right at the end of last season. So that's good. It's your birthday. H H H H H B B B B B, my friend. You'd love to see it. That's awesome. What what's I normally say when someone has a birthday? Thank you. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Pick up a few. Ooh, we are... Which league... Are you doing Malta as well? Are you in a different league? Because that's the sort of thing that definitely does become something you can do. I just don't know if we're quite at that stage just yet. Oh, Gibraltar. Wow. Holy shit. If this is working for you in Gibraltar, that is encouraging. Because that seems to be like about the toughest it can be. How was Malta? Like I said, Rio, it was absolutely fantastic. Love the shit out of it. Um, There's nothing else... Oh, yeah. Uh, Kamga got injured. So he is now going to miss... Uh, he's under a bid, obviously, but they all are. Um, he's now going to miss the next couple of games, which is very frustrating. So welcome back, Jules Longello. All those are extended. All of them. Ooh. Because we usually lose a few every year. So what was the situation with this Liverpool goal? Because I, I only saw the highlights, obviously, and I couldn't... What was wrong with it? Because it looked like a normal header to me. But then I've not seen any context. All I've seen is people jabbering about it without actually really providing any information. <laughs> like, as with a lot of these things, really. Hello, Pablo. Bunch of points to spend. We actually do have a couple. Um, I, I managed to get a few more, but we're at the absolute max of them available right now. But I feel like I honestly, considering you are the progenitor of the Pablo method anyway, um, you should probably, if anyone's getting one, it should probably be you. <laughs> to be honest, I have to be sparing with how I hand these out now because we literally are at the maximum that I'm allowed to unlock. But it's Pablo of the Pablo method, you know? You can't go wrong there. School night the night. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's shit. But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's football, I suppose, isn't it, really? It's just one of those things, right? Should I have dropped ball? Oh, okay. That's a bit more odd. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. it That does sound a bit shit, honestly. I, I would be annoyed if that happened to Fulham, um, which I'm sure it has at some point, honestly. I don't know how on earth we beat Brighton yesterday. Like, what was that about? Right. Um, we've got a lot of unhappy players. Well, not a lot of unhappy players. A couple of unhappy players. Both of our strikers, weirdly. Every other player that's had a bid on them so far has... He's one of my Barca? That's good news. Well, it's not good news in the sense that he'll complain. But the fact that he's wanted by Barca shows that he's good enough potentially for Bar. Tell you what, right? Richie boy has been developing. Brighton, I, I don't know what it is. Like, It feels like whenever we play Brighton, no matter how badly or well we play, we always get something. 
it, like that when we bat, uh, say bat, when we absolutely smash and grab them at the Amex last year. Then there was that game with the own goal earlier that year. This yesterday was weird because it looked like Brighton were actually pretty okay, and we just scored three goals. It's very very strange. Deserby did not look happy. For we got thirteen, not bad to be fair. Good. I mean, shame we couldn't play both. Make a better Mez with the fifteen finishing. Um, yes, but he also has sixteen passing. There so is it's kind of like a certain man, a man whose grace and handsome face are known across the land. You know his name. It's Mr. Card. No. He loves a coke. Enjoys a joke. Why? He's worth ten times what he earns. He's Mr. Card. You're Mr. Card. To friends, he's known as Matthew, but to you, he's Mr. Card. Car, 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 card. I'm here for it. I I'm here for it. <laughs> Just to clarify, and I might be wrong about this, is that Mr. Plow? I is that what we were doing there? Because I'm here for it. Oh, dear. Oh, but yes, no, I, I think with um, Rabogiri is that... <sighs> Longello? Yeah, you're probably right, but he... Mm, I don't know why my assistant does that, actually. I think basically it's because without... um, Because we don't have Kamga, he's kind of been thrown into a loop. So it doesn't really matter who plays where, particularly as Longello can play on his left foot and um, Rabogiri can't. Mr. Burns, God damn it! See the Real Madrid game. I didn't even watch the Fulham game yesterday. You think I watched the Real Madrid game? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I didn't. Hello, Hadrian. You're going to be proud of me. My friend, you will be. And Pablo, thank you for the 37 months. To drop. 37 months of OK Streams. Dot. Thanks for the VIP. I will hold it close to my heart. Sick heart anywhere here goes. Woozy face. Woozy face. Woozy face. Woozy face. Woozy face. Woozy face. 7,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,777,
that basically ex includes youth academy players the moment they're born or, or at the moment they spawn. Um, and if you put a transfer in Barbara, it means they can't buy players from other clubs' youth academies, so they have to produce their own. That's the, basically the way it works. The only weird thing about it that's not quite correct is that at the very start of the save, you will have some players that are homegrown trained at club, but they're trained at another club, but they're in another club's youth academy because of how that works, and there's no way you can filter those out, unfortunately. Uh, and of course, oh, thank you for the follow. Yes, there is, Mark, because there is an over 35s World Cup coming in real life. It's, it's quite minimal, but it is a thing. Um... I don't know how that's going to go, but it's kind of almost like Masters, but slightly younger, I guess. That's just Syria. <laughs> or randomly Celtic in every one of my saves for some reason. This is James's part. No way. Hello, Pixel Finnan. Uh, CK3. I haven't actually played CK3 in such a long time. I've been absolutely obsessed with Balatro lately. It's just been taking up all of my time. Do you love a cutoff? I guess it's so that they could get some sort of more recognizable relatively recent faces from football i suppose uh, hello are we gonna try the short one here or not no they i noticed that they actually mark off the short guy from the oh hello no they don't no they fucking don't. what is that chat i really like our new custom set pieces that that was really fun look at the space they've just afforded to watara and on the volley as well oh Unlanded cut. Oh, I remember playing like that on CK2 years ago. That's dope. Oh, one other thing that apparently they changed in the update is that recruitment focus is now produced more results. So what I did before stream today is I went through and I replaced and renewed, like basically reset, as in deleted and remade all of our youth recruitment focuses too. Uh, I've made five of them. So we've got the the 15 to 18 one and then one for 15, 14, no, not 14, one for 15, 16, 17, 18 individually as well to see if this actually does work. Look at this for football. Oh, so close. Uh, Hurtiga Hansen, thank you very much for the follow. It wasn't great for the match. And, um, I think it, I put that down. I mean, yeah, part of that is also our just weird custom set pieces that we're working with now, which is kind of dope. Because <sighs> basically, we've got this new set piece thing for set uh, for corner. No, not corners. Well, them too, but free kicks. It's, this is the corner one. So we're taking a short corner. But it's not a short corner because the short stander is there instead. And you'll notice that it doesn't always go to him, obviously. But when it does, it's very fun. Hello, Rob. How's it going, man? Oh, Immobile would absolutely get that. Oh, Warlog pitches in FM are fun as fuck. Do you remember back in the Ireland save where every single game that Drohida played seemed to be Waterlog pitch? For some reason, head in the game park was just useless full drainage, apparently. Go on, Vida. Look at the space out wide for Mayhem Sultan. We're actually tearing them apart a little bit here. Go on, ball across. Oh, it's a n oh, it's not. That was really should have been a goal there. Yeah, we end up with like random players unmarked because it doesn't know how to handle our tactics, which is really really nice. It is a little bit like they just gone for pure red. The goalkeeper's like, oh, maybe they just ran out of goalie shirts. So he's just wearing an outfield top. Stuart Pierce has taken over to, at FCSB. It does worry me that we are only a single goal up in this game. Admittedly, it's a two-legged tie, but we need the oh dear. We need the coefficient, and I don't want it to do the normal thing. Krusty Krabs, it feels a bit like it, yeah. A literal blizzard. I do love seeing games like that. You just don't get that so much in the UK, and it sucks. Steven with the two gifted subs. Thank you, Steve. That's so very nice of you, man. Really unnecessary, but I do appreciate that. There's Melman's throw. Can he finish? Yes, he bastard can. That is his ninth goal contribution in three matches. He's nearly into double digits, and we've not even done two ties yet. This man is in... Me thinking he got... Hello. Me thinking he was going to get, like, last year he got 54 contributions over the course of the season. This year, I could see him going even further than that, maybe getting into the 60s. He's just, he is my favourite player in this save, potentially, at the moment. The plastic pitch is true. Yeah, it's weird. Plastic pitches is very strange. Like, obviously, the Sirens game at the weekend that I went to see was on a plastic pitch. Well, it was 3G or whatever. I don't exactly know what exact one it was, but still. The Egyptian Salah. <laughs> Oh, please don't concede a random goal here. Come on, Richard. No, Richard, buddy. Oh, Barca have just lost interest in you. To be fair, Vida has started this season extremely well as well. He had four assists in the first two games. Yeah, with the new centre-backs, because we're basically playing an entirely new centre-back lineup from last January. Tunkara joined us in January, but Hilton and Del Castillo are brand new, and I really like them as a, three, as a trio. That's literally their first shot of the match, and we've managed to concede it, which is always an excellent... Watch us concede their second shot of the match, too. 
Oh, he's offside. He's offside. Weird the flag didn't... Oh, no. Why did that say free kick to Sirens then if it's registered the... Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> FNB weird. Model for the Australian Leagues was the entire... Oh, hang on. A model for the Australian Leagues, but it was the entire 24... Um... Well, hang on. I assume this is like um, a different database or something because if, if you're in Australia, there's no promotion and relegation unless presumably this version of the league, uh, this version of the database changes all that. Um, and I feel like it's really tough to do a building a nation in a save where there's no relegation and promotion. Although, actually, mostly just because it means that it's really hard to get... You really won't be able to get any players out to teams that aren't in your division, which means there's not a lot you can do with affiliate sides. The benefit of it, though, is that at least no one's getting relegated randomly and the loans are being recalled. So I suppose there is that element of things, but it will limit the number of teams that you can really conceivably uh, loan players to, which is not ideal. Scotty Toon, thank you very much for the follow. We're going to concede here, aren't we? <sighs> New update, nothing changes. Uh, so Asia do, and I believe it actually got fixed. Uh, so that's... Look at this. It's so very... I mean, they must still have higher rep than us. They hadn't had a shot until their first goal. It's just... Like, what are we doing? But also entirely predictable. Like, we've got the tallest centre-backs we've ever had in this save, and they're still losing those back post headers. Like, come on, get the touch in. No. Oh, dear. Right, come on. Ta tackle anyone. Tackle anyone. Tackle anyone. Fucking hell. Stewie with a 20 months. Morning, Matto and Chatto. Flying visit Eight as years. the little family unit is off to a science museum. Ooh. Up the Nainors. A science museum? So, is it the science museum? Or is it like the space museum in Leicester? I, I don't know. I'm just guessing randomly. Um, Yeah, I I'm a little worried about us here. I think it's one of these things where we're we'll annoyingly dropping this game you know, at two all and then just batter them 4-0 oh, in the yeah, home game. But we don't sure. need that. We want to be yeah, winning every tie possible. With the amount of coefficient we got last year... I don't see it happening again. Oh, my life. <laughs> that was the highlight, apparently. Josh Whitehead, thank you very much for the follow. I'm going to make some changes here because this has just gone off the rails. They literally score one goal and all of a sudden they think they're big men. Like, <laughs> we'll swap those two over now because Goreb's much better there. Hilton's actually struggled a little bit here. Vida's been great. Although, as good as Vida's been, I'm thinking legs. We don't have anyone to bring on the left side, really, other than Jar... No, we don't have Jarder on the bench. Christ. Padilla? No, Padilla would be a pointless bid right now. Um, fuck. Those injuries really have hit us hard. Well, not even injuries. The injury to Kamga and the, the international missingness of Palacio is what's doing it here. The Eureka one. Ooh, an old ferry. You love to see it. Yeah, the three XG. Um, this is not. I think we can still win this. Longello ball in again. Come on. No. Oh. Wait, penalty? Oh, that's soft as fuck. Melman's just allegedly been pushed over. Who takes our penalties? Is it Jules? I genuinely don't know who takes our penalties. It's been such a long time since we've won one. It's Watara. Come on, Hennis. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you joking? We're going to have like four XG here and not win. Right, come on, clear it. Grab. Bang. Sultan. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, just the 3.92. This is just not ideal. But it's in domestic matches. That's... So basically, it's kind of... They just put whatever teams and nations wherever they want. It does feel like this has got late winner for them potentially written all over it after all this. I still can't believe we conceded the goal that we... The first goal. Just out of nothing. Come on, Andoy. Ball in. Oh, he's punched it. That's fine. We keep recycling the possession now. Um, oh, that's a nice pass. Right, come on. So many bodies in the box. Yes! Oh, this is Henry right. makes oh, up for his car. penalty miss. Abdu gets an assist. The third, the, the, the third world. Thank you very much for the follow. It wasn't quite 93 minutes, but we'll take that. I mean, how we haven't scored like five goals in this game is wild. That's a lovely pass from Gore Abe. And it's nice to see Endoy just come in straight away and get the assist. <sighs> Bloody hell, their keeper was having a good time. Bit of redemption. Still time for us to fuck this up. <laughs> like, still plenty of time for us to mess this up. I feel like we might actually grab a fourth goal now. Come on. Let's have another one. Oh, that's a pass. And doy. Bodies in the box again. Oh, nearly. Bloody hell. Good morning, Neo Light. How are you, man? It's very... It's just fun, Jose. Like, I just... I'm just so glad that... Oh, hello. Here we go. Short corner routine. Melman. Oh, he's offside. 
Neolite, thank you very much for the Prime as well. Hey, Povey. I just really like building a nations. And it's not just because I do them. I just, I mean, it is partly that, but fuck, I wish I make a change here. I just find them incredibly enjoyable. Enjoyable to Vida. They're both, they offer different things. Um, Vida is still better statistically in terms of his pure underlying numbers. But Ndoy last year did technically have more assists. Um, he just shouldn't have statistically as Watara grabs another one. Mayhem Souls look solid. Solid as well. Sorry, Smithy. Thank you very much for the Prime. Another Prime. Wow. What a day. And Bengal Costa now with the 32 months. All the resubs. You'll love to see it. It's going to take a little while to come through. But there's our fourth goal. Thank God for that. It's like... But Mayhem Sultan has stepped in here as a third choice left back. Don't mind that. Okay football manager's dreams. Oh. Here is a joke to celebrate. If a midget says your hair smells nice, is that harassment? Do you know what? I've never thought of it. It's not something that's ever crossed my mind. Would you believe? Oh, well, welcome in, Neo. Like, you join us as we actually win a game and miss a penalty. Uh, do you know what? Watara well, could have had a bloody... He could have been on four goals in this game. He could have had a hat trick in like bloody 11 minutes there, but it's nice to see him score a few goals. Mayhem sort of man of the match as well in a game where Henry gets a hattie. Not bad. We'll take that. Um, that's all we needed, really. Now, the question is how many of those players I offered out before stream are going to get loan bids now? I, I reckon it's actually going to be very few because I think it's going to be one of these things that we're not going to really notice the impact of until we enter the next window and could sort of start fresh. Also, there's all the Thursday matches with the other Maltese sides, but they're just not going to... How did he get that? I mean, fair play. It's weird when a player wins man of the match for a single assist in a game where your player got a hat trick. I guess the only... Oh my God, it happened. I honestly don't think this ha this would have happened prior to the update. I think he would have um, rejected the loan. That's insane. Birkikara just got Vladimir Staver on loan from us. He's genuinely... He has like Harris Jivkovic vibes for me. That's really exciting. Cooper. And worst case scenario, they're just developing for us, frankly. Lanky Lowry, thank you for the follow. I'm a huge fan of that. That's the first one. Now, obviously, that one was already in the works before the update, which is impressive. Um, but still, that's amazing. So that's one more. Now, another one of these friendlies that I can't cancel. I don't think I can anyway. Nope. <laughs> All these forced friendlies. Two stuff like... It, yeah, it shows the, impro the improvements that we're getting. Oh. Just beat Sparks. We did, yes. And now, right, Hamrun are away at Ferenc Varos. If Hamrun get through this, that was just a regular loan offer. Yeah, that was, he joined, I offered him out, they put a bid in. That wasn't even part exchange. That was just straight up normal stuff. J Pro, thank you for the 18 months. Compared to previous years. Well, apparently it's got a lot better, Theophanis, since the latest update, which I'm looking forward to finding out. Can't stop what he, well, the best thing about the two Fulham wins is, firstly against, like, okay, it's man. Many might have been a bit weird, but they were still, you know, in a reasonable league position, even if they are all over the place. Um, my favourite thing about it, actually, though, is Eric Ten Hag complaining about Fulham's TikTok. <laughs> That's always good. But it's the fact that we've won both of these games without Polinia in the squad. Like, he's been suspended for the past two games, so we've won both of them, which is really, really good. I was very impressed. Adama Traore scoring. Rodrigo Muniz is apparently R9 in incarnate or reincarnate. Like, it's good news. Yeah, so Ferenc Farish if they beat Ferenc Farish here, they get a really winnable draw in the next round. So, this is good news, potentially. Pinnacle's holding Fulham back. He's absolutely not holding Fulham back, but it's just good to know that we can play without him. Um, like, which was an issue for us last year. We would often not win matches when he wasn't around. Our record without Pellini last year was really bad. This year, it feels like we are much more balanced. And Sasha Lukic is finally looking decent. They win here. Um, no, if they were to win there, they'd still have to win one more round. Well, I've been thinking for a while that Sasha Lukic was just not it, but he is starting to come into his own as well now. Only show up Chelsea, Luton, Wolves in the Premier League. Um, I don't know, Scotty. Um, which logo pack did you use for a start? Good you win needed. Yeah, I just... I don't see it happening. Although, actually, they should really, right? They should, but they won't. Uh, who of Hibernians? Oh, yeah, Sparta Prague. Never mind. <laughs> we can dream. Benfica? Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Right. Offers Mepha Watara. The usual nonsense. Uh, he's already complained, so we can reject these out of hand without an issue. Right. Uh, okay, more of that. I asked for some more scouts. They said no. I also asked for another affiliate. Again, they said no. Yeah, they're just not budging on this at all now. 
It feels like our board basically won't agree to anything except facilities upgrades. And only they randomly came to me about an affiliate on the last stream and then couldn't. They came to me and said, we'd like an affiliate club. And then they couldn't find a fucking affiliate club, which is just utterly fantastic. Like, no, they didn't. They actually, hey, that's the thing. They couldn't even find one. So they came to me and said, right, we think we need a new affiliate club. I said, fantastic. And they even gave me some new options that I wasn't normally allowed to do. And then they failed to find one. No, they didn't ask me to find it. They came and said, would you like one? And I said, hell yes. And they said, ah, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> couldn't find any football clubs. I'm like, what? Yeah, indeed, the blind squirrel couldn't shit in the woods twice a day. It's terrifying. Uh, Tishreen, well, I'm, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping that... Uh, this might be an opportunity for because he's on the Levy Weavy list, which we're keeping an eye on. But unfortunately, it's looking like it's going poorly for him. It's that random day in June that gives us a f not June, July that gives us a bit of a stop motion presentation there, FM. I'd rather have my stutters on the menu screen at least. All right, this song feels like wow. Ferrich Varus won, Hamrun won. They got a draw in Hungary. A strong performance at home, and we could actually see Hatton Rune going into the third round of the uh, Europa League. Hello. That's a great performance. A deserved draw, where perhaps they could have even shaded it. I'd say that that's a fair. If we're rounding down and up, I'd say that's fair. Right, come on. Good, yeah. Do the business. One all draw away from home is not the end of the world. Like, it's the away game. How was the performance? Fucking lucky, honestly. Fair play. It's it's coefficient points. Maybe they'll play better at home, but that does not look particularly promising. It's more points, exactly. Right, the question is, how badly did Hibernians lose to Sparta Prague? I'm going 3-0. 3-2! Oh, as if. They actually possibly should have had a draw. That's really showing some quality out of these teams, though. And Matthew side playing, which is always nice. They were in it. They're showing quality. This just simply wouldn't have happened last year. They are so much improving now. Um, Danilo Domingos is doing... Was he one of the guys we gave them for free? He's actually looking quite all right. Resolute personality is probably helping. Walt McConville, thank you for the 20 months. How are you, my friend? They nearly came back and they probably should have done. It's annoying that that was the home game and Mazzinio had an absolute shitter. But they'll lose the away game relatively easily, I would have thought. But It's progress we're staying like just wait until we actually get some winnable ties in these rounds like statistically we're going to we've just had some dreadful luck in terms of the draws for our, hung our, our, our hungary our multi friends had to be done tim thank you for the for the 12 months you'll have to say it's a full bloody year okay well that's coefficient points that should take us close to like two now maybe oh no no of course because the dilutions happen now so down to 1.25 but still good progress whapping bloke thank you for the five months or whopping. Probably whopping, isn't it? I'm guessing it's whopping, but I'm going to... Whapping just sounds... A, it's a fun word to say. Okay. It, it's points. Like, a win and two draws in there is not the end of the world. Uh, this one definitely needs to be a complete rotation. If we can do any. Yeah, make sure we got... Jar Jar might also have to start the next game. Uh, Marcel want Argius. They want Palacio, but I say no. Albertine want Melman. I say no. Ilsenio's going to Nashar. It's good to have a little... I mean, that's only at Dale Argeus. It's not really a big deal, but it's still it's still one. It's still a loan offer. And which one's this? Oh, this is the one that gives Hamrun Armando Perez. Like, Perez... A player of this kind of quality at Hamrun would be very, very nice indeed. Particularly if they were to qualify and be able to register him for the next round. He could actually provide an impact there. Really like that. He's obviously crap, but we find... Oh, that's less than ideal. Actually, no, we'll just play uh, Fafana, right? Sampaio Correa. Ah, not really there. Victor Rocket in this game. I have not a clue because, one, I don't know who that is. And two, I imagine he's a real player, which means being 10 years into the save. Yeah, <laughs> I simply do not know. Uh, any in progress this year? Not yet. Oh, yeah, these were like random youngsters that I offered out. Barcelona. Oh, fair enough. Good for him. Uh, I, I, don't, I simply do not know. Uh, believe it or not, we don't come across many Barca players in Malta at this current time, anyway. Um, is he like Barca's Hendrik in it? Oh, let's have a look. Holy shit, fair fucking play. That's amazing. 20-point season as well. Was that? Did you win the coefficient race that year as well? 
Bet that was a bastard for you. Is that why your coefficient is so low this year compared to these ones? Because you had an extra team in Europe that you wouldn't normally get. Damn. Right. Uh, Melman, that's obviously not happening again. Palacio again. Oh my life. This is going to be the entire window. Kanga and Lend. No. Lordy Lord. Luckily, we managed to convince most of them clubs to climb to make offers. I just want to see if it makes any difference on this. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in fact, no, I'll just ignore them all and we'll just check the big page. It's just much quicker. Uh, it's probably a long way into the future, I would have suspected. Okay, so nobody's coming for any of the players I offered out, which is a bit annoying, but we'll have a look. Just want to see if actually it did drive up any interest in any of them. Uh, that's just Benfica, isn't it? Yep. I suspect, again, that it's going to be the sort of thing that we're going to have to work on at the start of a window. Oh, hello, Wally. Oh, yes, there we go. One of them worked. That's fine. Uh, we want none of that. <laughs> Literally none of that. It's also a transfer map. Right, good. So him to master slot would be nice, but it's not fantastic for everyone else anymore. Okay. I think it's one of these things where it's going to be a case of going forward. It's going to be really good for us. But we might get some more bids towards the end of the window potentially as well, which could potentially help. I really like this piece of music. Oh yeah, I also got a new coach in Jordan Clark because he plays the same system that we do and he has really good attacking numbers. Right, Bowser Youth, that's fine. It's a rotated squad. Cool, cool play. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I saw two Gyatso legs and I thought it was the same one. Uh, Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a bit special, isn't he? Where did he come? Holy shit. Is that actually a new Caledonian team or is that just like a lower league France, a French side? But he doesn't look like it. Because that's, if anything, more intriguing to me. Only oh, sign a striker under 21s. Um, you probably have him set to do that. Uh, let me just show you. So, yeah, the fact that he didn't go cap for France is dope. Because you'd think a lot of players like that would actually convert over. But I guess France? Then again, our Samaranese dude declared for Czech Republic, didn't he? One day he'll declare for Malta, I'm telling you. Uh, so, yeah, with the Doff thing, in your staff responsibilities, there is an option for... Oh, Christ, where is it? Uh, this one here. You've probably got your Doff set to find and sign young players for the future. And it'll have designations in here. That's most likely what it is. So you'll need to take over that particular duty. If I had to guess, that's what's causing it. Uh, if, if the issue is that your DOF is signing players out, uh, signing players that you don't want, that's almost certainly why. Um, we used to actually have that set on just for the funnies, but unfortunately, you just don't want your DOF spending money on players that they shouldn't be really. Uh, oh, Ian Furnos just scored a, a goal for us on trial. His trial's up in a few days too. Right, Kabinda, what are we saying? We are saying nothing. Love the nationality sort of spread. It's just lots of Dr. Congo, lots of Angola in there too. What if I go? I think we've still got a couple more guys joining us today, actually. Because that Libyan dude hasn't joined us yet, has he? Yeah. On the 27th of July, we get Hassan Al Komaji, who is. He just looks like he might have something. I'm a bit concerned about the stars immediately going down to like three stars when they join us, but we take that, right? Yeah, all those trials actually expire on the next match day. Which at that point, I feel like, um, yeah, it'll be just like, um, what's his name? That centre back we got. Ooh, look at, we might as well get some scouts in there. Ooh, still, I love that for him. Like, Tony Sunday is genuinely an excellent player, especially his mentals. They are unbelievably good. Physicals are still a little bit on the low side. And technically, he's very much I defend type of player. Though he can pass a little bit about, like, he's got a bit of passing about him too. I'll, uh, I'll refund the, your, your points there, uh, Ninja Chicken, because you both had the exact same. Yeah, and still only 21. Same thought process. Uh, Watara's back there. Saunders is going as well. Wait. Harry Saunders is definitely one of the uh, patron regions, right? Tony does feel like he... The only thing he's missing is that height and... Like, if he was a bit taller and a bit more like... As a defensive midfielder, you kind of want a bit of strength and that kind of thing about him but uh, basically i want him to be joao polinia is what i'm saying anyway what we got anyone in the under 19 they've actually got quite a lot of play do you know what fuck it i'm gonna take a risk i'm gonna just scout the whole lot just for the memes laurent paris don't want a bit of also i'm noticing a lot of players coming through at that exact club uh tony sunday yeah we probably should change that but then it was his end up with like his full name on there uh anyone in the national team any youngsters there is actually a couple we'll go for Oh, I can't... I hate the fact that you can't draw and, like, drag across like that. Right, we'll just take those guys because they're the younger ones. Any of the other guys are most like... I mean, one of them's actually already playing in Malta, which is kind of noteworthy. Who is this guy? Gregory Poover. I mean, he is dreadful. Some of it's like, literally, just average them out. 
Try the free ones. Ah, uh, good point, yeah. Yeah, because they might picked up, get picked up by the multi sides anyway, right? Caledonia. Uh, really? It's like, just remember where I was, mate. Right. I think all the youth squad ones had clubs, didn't they? It was just the uh, national team guys. Uh, at least they're all still fairly... Well, other than him. They're all still fairly young as well. Um, put that down like that. Right, cool. We'll take those guys in. Uh, Tishreen have actually signed Khalifa. Wasn't that who I bought him from? Oh, no. He came from al Karama. Oh, well. We had a cool Syrian player for a bit, and he was fairly decent. I can't really complain too much about that. Right. Uh, gash, Gash. Do you know what? He's not completely horrendous. I mean, he is for us. But I feel like another multi side, he could maybe pick up. I actually don't know, Psycho. It's not something I've really paid any attention to. So I I haven't, I've never tried it even when it wasn't fixed. So I don't know if they fixed it or not. I imagine their answer to that would simply be, don't do it. <laughs> but like, yeah. Because I have noticed that the reports about the whole value drop thing on the forums, for example, um, the response seems to be, oh, it's because of your custom database. Even though we know for a fact that it happens in non-custom databases. And the weird thing about that for me is that, okay, so it's to do with the custom database, but our custom database hard sets values for players based on their CA. So, <laughs> how would that work then? Very, very odd. But yeah, apparently they have fixed it. That's cool. Right, so we've got those guys tracked. You and Jones. Uh, I love that there's always two of them. Yeah, the games are starting to come thick and fast now, I think. Although you haven't actually started the games yet. There you go. Oh, they got promoted again. So they did actually get promoted from the third tier. Why is this song on? Because it slaps. <laughs> Basically, because it slaps. I don't even think this is a request. I'm pretty certain this is just on my playlist. <laughs> yeah, that's 33 appearances. This year, you'll probably get the same amount. Or maybe less, because there might be less games in um, Camry North. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I think what happens is that a lot of the players at the really small clubs, like the amateur sides, it takes a while for them to start playing games unless they're actually genuinely really good. Once they sort of age into the squad, it's like this club just kind of goes, oh, we must play them. And then they just play all the games. I could easily see you staying the rest of your career there and making a shitload of appearances. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Tractors. Good old tractors. Sometimes they produce some players. What do you have? Yeah, literally. Uh, I assume it's... Wait. No, both of these clubs are Romanian. Isn't it just Tractor? I might be wrong, but I think it's just Tractor, isn't it? Yeah. They're definitely worth a team report. Because I'm looking for more of them anyway. The other good thing about the recruitment focus is apparently producing more players now is it means that we'll have more than, more clubs to then add to the uh, scout reports. As we thought, oh yeah. Well, to be fair, you're making nothing at the moment because you want trial, my friend. Do they even have any players? Oh, they do. They're just... Any youngsters? They actually... Most of their squad is... We've got a couple of guys here, actually, in the first team. Makes me wonder if I should scout... Actually, I'm just going to scout these two guys... These three guys. Individually. Because it's intriguing to me that he's 16 and already in their first team. It's hard to say, really, isn't it? On AD Hurricane. Um, yeah. Like, we'd have got there eventually. We probably already have. Like, I just scout... I just get them as they come along. Haven't got one yet. Okay, we'll add that one in there. Fair enough. Right. Uh... We know there's going to be games in that week anyway. Luckily, no friendlies too, which is nice. Apple won't play. I'm noticing at least the the money's starting to creep up on some of these guys. It seems to be that it drops to like an all-time low, and then it starts to creep up again based on the transfer bids that happen to the players, and then they kind of hold their value and stagger up. Amateur Spanish side. Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, Huracan. Sorry, my bad. I misread that. Uh, hang on. A.D. Huracan. Oh, this one. Sorry, I'm a, my bad. Yep, I just realised they're an under-19 club. Oh, no, that is their full-seam squad. Right, actually. Uh, although, frankly... Yeah, there's no point. They don't have any players. There's no players in the under-19 squads. Uh, I, I love how he's only just noticed this. Great. Uh, let's see. Proposed target? Uh, in that case, off you go. We don't need you anyway, Edwards. We probably could have sold him before. Oh, okay. Who are they? That sounds like a Mexican side. It is a Mexican side. 
Okay, so Mario Madrid's back in Mexico again. Yeah, San Felix, they're great, but if they produce players. If they don't, then it's just a waste of time, unfortunately. That's the problem. I just realized he's Mexican. It's because his name was Madrid. My brain was like, he must be Spanish. Uh, it's a song request. Nice. I think what we're going to have to do is sign these guys up and do the old uh, little moving on stuff. Wait, none of the club... He was wanted by Master Schlock. How dare you? I was specifically told you were wanted by Master Schlock. Right, let's see if they'll still have him. I've got a boner pit with you. I hate when that happens as well. Right, let's just see. Under-19 squad, Master Schlock. What you got? Oh, you got a Greek dude. That'd be kind of fun. Hopefully he's gashed so we can sign him. Reluctantly forced into a sale. Love to see it. Also, the fact that you've got financial issues does worry me a little bit. I'll admit. Uh, right. Who was it? <laughs> it was... Oh, well, would you believe it? Right. Hang on. <laughs> Just to clarify. <laughs> Their financial struggles mean they're reluctantly forced into a sale. But they don't want a player. They just want to give him away. They still want to sell because of financial issues, but they want him to go for zero. <laughs> they're like, we desperately don't want this guy back. Let me red lock this and see if that'll... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not paying 180 grand to loan him for two years. Yeah, it feels very inferno. I think it's because they don't want him. That That's simply what it is, right? Although that does make me wonder, right? If I was to just take, so say I'll do that. Who's our best options here? So Diop Avramovsky and Carlos Lopez. So if I took these three and said, okay, who needs the support right now? I reckon I could start building up Hibernian. Now that they've got, no, it's not Hibernian, it's Birkikara. Because they've got that striker and I want to try and force some more players their direction. Because they've got Harlington Chawapiwa as well. I reckon... I wanted to see if they'd take a little three of them. Little little trio of players, maybe. To be fair, that would help with their financial issues. That's a good point. Uh, a lot of potential. A lot of potential. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to work, but I just want to see. Here we go. Let's try it with this guy here. Uh, players to exchange. Out of interest. Do they? No, they don't. Okay. So who was it I even said there? Carlos Lopez was one of them. Then it was a really long list. It was Avramovsky. Although, do they really need Avramovsky? Cost him a lot of money. I don't know. Uh, Avram Grandovsky. I should forgot who the other one was. It was... Was it Malik Diop? I think it was Diop, right? Let's just try this. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's super interesting. They actually do want Lopez. I could see why they wouldn't want Avramovsky. Because he is a striker and they have low. They do pay wages, but it sort of varies. I just want to see if I can get Malik Diop out there as well. <laughs> yeah, we're in Inferno territory now. Holy. Okay, that's not happening. Um, But that's fine. How about that? There we go. We've got another one done. Just a straight up freebie there, admittedly, but still. It wasn't who I was expecting. It's, oh, no, no, no. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I've just been making bids on all these random players in the youth academy. One second. Uh, now then. So I don't want... Oh, no, it didn't count. No, wait, did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. The question is, which one was it? That was for Spiteri. So I want to cancel Sacco and him. Right, cool. There we go. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> I thought it was the same guy. Uh, oh, Spiteri, youngster. Uh, no. One year contract, please. Or 11 months, even better. You had me at 11 months. Ah, here we go. Oh, C+, plus, that worries me. Immediate concern there on the C+. Plus. How the fuck is he C+. Plus? Also, I love that he's worth £35,000. I know that's what we'd literally just pay for him, but like, Christ. Libyan International, and he's that good, and he's worth thirty grand. On the plus side, um, honestly, nothing beyond we, we beat Stoyer 4-2 uh, uh, away from home while throwing away a two-goal advantage from the first two shots of the match, which is always good. Uh, right, now, immediately, Devlist, offer out, because he could be 
a very good player. Um, he's a try and loan out first, if not wing back. Yeah. Although actually, in the meantime, I'll start training him for the role anyway. Yeah, he's sort of our lone farm. Although actually, right, with nine tackling, there is a bit of wing backery in there. Whack him on defensive positioning once he's actually learned the role. It could work. Like, look what happened with Jar Jar. He's actually become very good there. Like, when we actually look at his training there, you can see that really... Okay, the positioning is utterly shocking. So, maybe not. Uh, tell me we want the usual nonsense. God, that's going to get annoying, isn't it? But I won't. We have to deal with it. Thankfully, it's only two players that are upset. Oh, now Wushu's moved again. Holy shit. Nathaniel Nwusu is earning £425,000 a week at 26. Um, What a career this man has had. He only played four times for Galatasaray. They signed him for £9 million and flipped him for 16 rising to 21 And he's earning shitloads of money. And he actually played quite well in those four games. And Wusu's had such a strange career in this save. And the thing is, right, he's really not that good either. Like, when you look, compare him to Richard. Like, he's more well-rounded than Richard, but Richard is far better in terms of, like, standing out in many areas. He's such a better goalkeeper, and he's on six grand a week, poor sod. Uh, I did offer out our boy, didn't I? I'm almost certain I offered out Al Kamaji. Yeah, I'm not sure I did now, actually. We'll do it again, since apparently it's let me. Which is weird. Right. Furnos coming to an end. Those guys will probably get signed up and then immediately flipped. Uh, Dimech is going to Xira. Right. Which one's the... Oh, it's Champions League. Right. Never mind. With zero... Oh, yeah. He'll retire with zero regrets and a massive fucking house. Without a shadow of a doot. Um, Shamrock Rovers are through to the third round of qualifying. Big up them. I'm, I'm loving seeing the success of the Irish sides in this save. Their, like, coefficient must be actually really quite high. Have they left yet? Fiorentina want Honorato. Wait, who does he play for? Oh, he plays for Hellas Verona. Fair. Didn't even realise that. He was one of the guys that we brought in to sell out last season. Uh, Palacio again. That's going to be a no from me. Right. Okay. I'm a bit concerned about Ian Inferno and his ability to actually join us in order for us to find him a move. That's going to be the problem, I suspect. Hopefully we can... Then again, we only need the money for like a tiny little bit. And given that we're in a window... Uh, yeah, so Brunby... Although obviously... I want to... Wait, we have really not got scout reports out for Brunby? They do have a guy here, Nikolai Lersha, who looks pretty solid, actually. Like Barcelona, Maybe. We'll get him alone there. So what have Brunby been up to? Any titles? No, 2021. No cups. It's not looking good for the Brunby boys. Sadly, I'm not seeing any trophy wins. God, they couldn't even win the Zealand Cup. They probably were, yeah. But now they're definitely worth a look at. Because, you know, you do sometimes get some quality players there. In fact, you get some really good players. I got, yeah, they do. But the point is, we can't afford them. So it's all very well us scouting certain clubs. But if we can't afford the players from those clubs, it sort of wastes the time of our scouts. That's why I haven't scouted, like, a lot of the big French sides. Because, yeah, cool. They do have good players, but we can't buy them. Right. Oh, here's all the... Wait, what the hell are all these? Oh, it's good. It's Kedwin, da it's Kedwin Daddy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you did play a couple of games for Strasbourg, I believe. Oh, Maribor want top lack. Wait, let me just sort by age. Get rid of the random... Oh, these are just random um, APs, aren't they? That were actually truly horrendous. I'm assuming that's what all this are. And we're kind of stacked in that point. Sad sadly, Kedwin Daddy was not it. No, we're not into the... I'm not into my over, over, ugh, overpriced Belgian era just yet. But it's coming. Let me tell you. Uh, ben Sassy, he's, he's... Wow, he's surprisingly cheap for Porto. Unless that's because he was at a different club before. Right, what's left? Are these just Ajax guys. Yeah, Sadwatcher. As good as Stanislav Sadwatcher is, he's a ten million pound player from Ajax. That if he joined us, would probably be worth about two million pounds. <laughs> That's the other issue we've got, and he wouldn't talk to us anyway. You though, again, won't talk to us yet. But mm, good player, not really one for us yet anyway. 
Oh, yeah, no, I want really... I want to spend, like, £22 million with some installments on an absolutely average Belgian. That's what I'm really looking for out of this save. And I haven't feel like I've hit that yet. He's not a bad uh, halfback, actually. Although, that sort of stuff could be improved, at least. That jumping reach... Wow, 5 foot 10 and 5 jumping reach is kind of shit. Good resolute personality, at least. They're very low starting points, and you're right. By the time they were good enough... Oh, you're right, Kim Hoon was, like... This guy was rated at, like, 5 stars, wasn't he? He's fairly cheap, though. Yes, there's Liverpool FC in Uruguay. Your own team poach. I don't feel like we've ever... Oh, no, that's not true. We had it happen one time, I think, with Treaty, where we poached a player from another club, because you do actually get a notification about it. I've never seen it since. Six months. All of a sudden, they snapped up our local teams at lower wages. Interesting. The problem is the admin involved in me keeping them on trial for, like, six months is an absolute nightmare. That's where the real issue comes in. Because, and also, don't forget, when players are on trial, even if you put them in, like, your youth squad, they are still taking up coaching time away from your other youth players. So it's like, there's a bit of a trade-off there. You're right. We need that guy that looks like looks like this. To be honest, we just need him, but Belgian. Like, what are we saying, Kimmy? Is he not got a, an agent? Or is it that we've already spoken to? No, no agent. That could benefit us. I want to see how much they want. If it's, like, surprisingly low, which it isn't, okay. I was thinking, oh, maybe one of those weird ones where it's randomly 60k, and then I'd happily pay you 60k for him, but I'm not paying 600k for him. Or just loanies, yeah. Uh, Emerson Diaz. Okay, player. On quite a high wage, would presumably want even more than that. Auto friendlies are broken. Are they really? I feel like ours play a lot of friendlies all the time. He's quite well-rounded, actually. But again, the price range is vastly too high for us at this stage, which is presumably why he's rated so low. I do feel a bit on the top black thing. I think he was okay. I think the issue with him is that I could only give him a short-term contract. Well, the other multi-sides are technically still in Europe. Uh, Hammerin, in fact, are in a good spot. They drew their away leg against Ferenc Varos and might have a chance at the, uh, the third round of the Europa League, as things stand. Uh, Goodyear got a good away draw against Anothos uh, Anothosis Famagusta which gives them a chance at home. Unfortunately, uh, Hibernian were playing Sparta Prague, so they had no chance anyway. Right, what are we saying? Melman and Watara, that's fine. Kamga's... I don't feel a point in risking him for this game. It's the home leg. We're looking good as it is. I don't feel like we need to play Kamga. I think Rubagiri actually has the mez here to keep him more... Europe for us has been fine. We've knocked out an Estonian side. The same Estonian side as last year, actually, as it happens. And now we are currently 4-2 up from the first leg against... Um, FCSB. Tukara, Basara, and Lignon. Uh, yeah, he's got quite high on that. Might as well give him a little rest. I think we should be okay with this squad. For this game, anyway. Salt on the bench. Oh, is he not on the bench? Why does my assistant do that? Uh, unavailable. It's really weird that they just don't seem to put players on the bench proportional to the system you're playing. Like, he'll happily dump, like, nine strikers on the bench and then no wingbacks, even though we have guys. Right. I love that they've got an entirely just full Romanian team. They're, they're doing an Evo de Glory, apparently. Right. Okay, we go. Uh, oh, he's lacking match. Oh, that's fine. He'll get some match fitness now. Hamron played... Like I said, they, they got a draw in the second leg. Oh, sorry, the first leg. So it was Ferenc Farish 1, Hamron 1. And they played well as well. So the home game is coming up tomorrow in game, that is. Uh, right. That one. Maybe I should start saying that before these second legs, because we do be getting complacent. It's wild. Bear that. Cool. Oh, that sucks, Dan. It was my internet last week, and this time it's yours. Failed to qualify for the World Cup. That's behind Turkey and Greece, so they got an easy group and they still built it up. Sounds about right. Is that just always just Oh, I see. So, the, Oh, yeah, I forgot about all that crap. Yeah. <laughs> Hence why we call them FC Voldemort half the time. I've tried to slowly sneak back in a bit of FCSB. Entirely faces in the game. Maybe, yeah, you just seem to get a lot of them coming through at um, FCSB. Honestly, if we just won this game... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, that's so annoying. That was such a cool play. The short free kick, into the short pass, into the shot. I love these short free kicks. Annoying that I was offside, but I love that we've got these little weird options like this that the game doesn't really know how to handle. Don't mind a bit of that.
I mean, I'll level with you. I would have preferred a goal, but we'll accept that for now. Okay. We are not playing well here at all. Short free kick is good now. Well, we basically made a custom short free kick and short corner, but without the short... Basically, we managed to find a way to... I mean, it probably is fairly easy, but you'll see here again. It's a short corner, but the short corner take... The short corner person is no longer here. They're out on the edge of the box here, and it means that you create much better angles for shots and situations like this. Look at this. Like, you create these really lovely little passing moves where you just keep possession, but you, you your starting point is far nicer. Because the problem is with the short corner, right? If you have a, um, a guy come short for it here, they send a guy out to stand about here, and sometimes even if you put a guy here, they have another player here. What works with this, for some reason, because he's far enough away, they don't seem to send a guy out there, which always seems to, yeah. Oh, basically, Jim, the reason for that was because um, we noticed that he was... We were playing a few games on Extended, and we noticed that he was still shooting aimlessly from range all the time. So we decided... Oh, hello. Oh, we decided that the only way to get rid of that was to put him on defend. He still moves into the same positions, but he no longer shoots from range. He just gets there and sprays the ball out to the wingbacks, so it keeps the possession... We are, we're more stable on the ball, basically. And I really like it. Right, here we go again. Jar Jar this time. Watara! What a save! This keeper's having a very good game. But yeah, we don't always score these, but they always seem to provide good... See, now they're sending a guy sort of out there, so he might just... Oh, no. He takes a little while for him to get back on side, but there's always a free man on the edge of the box then. Like that. And... It... Oh. I think they're getting better with it, too. Like, I feel like we're starting to get more and more efficient with it. As the players are learning it, which is dope. I was gonna say it, Pablo, but then I just thought, no, no, I can't. Building a nation, though. Um, to be fair, if you're willing to make database changes, you can do any nation you like. But if you want to go like purely vanilla, Hungary's fantastic. Poland is good. Austria, if you want to start further up, Ireland is also good if you want to go much further down. But Hungary is an absolute dream place to do it. In. What a pass! Oh, go on, free goal. Oh no, how have we not scored in this game? This is absolutely outrageous. We are creating a barrage of chances and cannot seem to score them. Sweden would be fun because there's some very good teams that would probably not have much issue getting loans off of you because it would take a little while for you to overtake them at all. I remember during my um, Nordic Nomad save, it was either Sweden or Norway were like almost doing their own building a nation at the time. They were doing incredible things. I remember I got some random comment on a Nordic Nomads episode of some guy complaining that I was looking at the coefficients because it's, like, it's not a building a nation. So I'm like, what? So I can't be interested? <laughs> very strange. Basically just like Scotland. Yeah, but like better. Right, come on, Henry. Oh, God damn. This would be an unfortunate one to draw, given how, once again, how well we've played in this game. I might do Padilla. Like, just try him. And... Oh, I don't want to risk Kamga for no reason, because he's already on an injury. Is it even doable with tight registration rules in general? Um, which nation is doable? Uh, it's it's hard because every nation has different registration rules, so I'm not sure which nation you were talking about. Uh, linion has been appalling today somehow. We've not conceded a goal, and he's got 6.3. We'll get Jorgensen on for a bit. Vida probably just needs a rest. And we'll get Sultan on as well, just to kind of keep the freshen things up. It'd be, be shit not to win this. See you later, RG. Uh, RG? RJ tips to avoid the slump i don't know i think that's most likely entirely coincidental um either that or you've just got a lot of injuries or basically there's nothing in the game that makes you slump in certain times basically there's always a reason for it in fact uh like in general nations with facts well that's why i suggested nations that don't have that uh, sorry you said you wanted some nations to do it in and i the nations i suggested are ones that don't have rules like that um for that exact reason as well is through and he's finally scored obviously if you want to do a nation that does have those you will have to change it or, or just try and do it within those rules. But at the end of the day, if you try to do it with a nation that's got really strict squad rules, you're going to struggle. And it's going to make a part of the save that shouldn't be that difficult, very difficult. That's, it's a kind of, it's a balancing act, right? It's like, yes, you could do it in a nation that has really strict rules on players, like foreign players. But if you do that, you're going to spend your entire time concentrating on that instead of building a nation. So there's only so many plates you can spin at once with it, right? Double blinding a nation. <laughs> Yeah, we, we're allowed to look at it once every 10 years. We just have to guess how it's all going. Yeah, the Denmark one's pretty good as well. Um, that's why I, the original Building a Nation save that I did was in Denmark. I say, I say that. That was more of a coincidence. I just, I think Midgeland were quite a, a, a club at the time that was sort of like a... Seen as like, oh yeah, look at them. They're cool because they're doing stuff, you know? 
have to count the points yourself. To be fair, we tried that once. We still couldn't get anywhere near. Good result for us, though. That's points. Tell you cryptic code. Oh, put some hieroglyphics down. Right, we're through. We get Maccabi Tel Aviv. That should be relatively straightforward. Arguably easier, in fact. The question is... What are Hamroon and Goodyear and Hibernia? Just give me one of them through. I mean, obviously Hamroon will be through to the next round no matter what happens. The question is which competition they're going to be in. I know, I know that. I knew, I learned that after, uh, Sol, when I immediately started the save and people were yelling at me about it. Because, you know, that's worth yelling at someone over a video game. <laughs> I always find that a very strange attitude. Not I'm saying you had that, of course. I'm just saying that you got that in the comments of those, almost every video I made about Midgeland. Right. Um, it's up to 3.2 now. <laughs> wow, 3.2 mil. I love that Pierre's one just isn't going up at all. Padilla's making pro... Oh, hello. Our boy seems to have a bit of five starriness about him now. His jumping reach has also massively gone up. Acceleration at least and pace are going up slightly, which is something. I guess he's training really well because he's a model citizen. I think this guy might be the long-term successor to Melman. I don't know how much diff all right here we go come on hammering at home uh goodyear where are they gonna be goodyear at home and hibernia away so they're gonna be down here if we somehow got hamroon and goodyear through that would be the dream like best case scenario obviously best case scenario they all go through but we know that's not gonna happen right okay ian inferno wow that's crazy how far you've dropped off right okay that's fine we can do that because we're only gonna sell you immediately anyway so I'll just accept whatever contract you want. Because you're going to leave straight away. Uh, Kim Chun Lee. I wonder where you'll end up. Maybe Poland. Imagine if a North Korean club came in. That would be kind of strange. Kromal! Thank you very much for the three months. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday morning. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of money. I don't know if we're going to be able to get rid of him. But we may have to try it. Seven grand. Worst case scenario, he's here for a year and then leaves. We've got a massive wage budget, thankfully. Right, please tell me that Jonathan Monster doesn't even have an agent. See, Jonathan Monster knows what's up. He knows where he's wanted. All right, so we'll get those guys in on a free, and then we'll sell them immediately, because this seems to get them clubs weirdly when just them being, yeah. It was released by Lech. Yeah, I don't know why, because he was actually playing for Lech, which is really strange. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they came and took him back again, honestly. Any of these guys are young? Actually, tell you what. Dolev Swisher great wow he's definitely future of israeli national team goalkeeper there great reflexes way too expensive for us now but good player he knows where he's wanted yeah he knows his mission he might well have priced himself. that's a good point um it is weird though like the watch what will happen because i'll bring these guys in sorry for the uh, slideshow again fm is really strange today on the processing of the menus the moment they join I set them to tra I transfer list them, set them to zero value, and then immediately offer them out, and suddenly they'll all be wanted. Right, so he's not wanted by anyone, which is utterly crazy. <laughs> because he's genuinely insane. But sure. Tune as well, by the way. Hamron 3, Ferenc Varish nil. Oh my god! Um, Hamron have just taken my breath away there. Bloody hell. What a win. Oh my god, what a result. Look at that. They absolutely battered them. 4xG in a Europa League game for Hamron. And now, remember, they get a relatively easy draw in the next round. So they're guaranteed a playoffs place, no matter what. Right. Come on, Goodyear. Come on, Goodyear. Make it happen. Oh my god, 4-1. Goodyear 4, Anathorsis Famagusta 1. What a win. Matthew Said with a goal and two assists. <laughs> Malta's future is looking bright, my friends. That was best case scenario. That's... Oh, my God. At home as well. Good... <laughs> That's Goodyear. Pronounced Goodyear. Tim, the next couple of three. I think... It... We're not really sure, Tim, because those draws are often a bit goofed anyway. Oh, Matthew said yes. What a start he's had. Already got a goal and two assists this season. Love that for him. He's he's looking very, very good. It's getting built. Oh. 
Well, the thing is, right, now what we've done is we've guaranteed that Hamrin are going to be in the playoff round of the Conference League at the minimum. But their draw in the third round of the Europa League is actually arguably easier than Ferenc Varos, if I remember correctly. Right, what about Sparta Prague? Surely they won that, right? Chat! Hibernian just put five past Sparta Prague. <laughs> they got a red card after seven minutes. Oh, dear. Who is the Sparta Prague fan in chat? Was it Fraj? I can't remember. <laughs> Up the hippies! Holy lord, a hat trick from Joao Lorenzo. What a win! We've got all four we have four multi sides in the third round of qualifying, and they've wow. Five goals. They scored seven times against Sparta Prague. That's unbelievable. I'm genuinely blown away by that. That's literally taken my breath away. Holy lord. Uh, who's the manager of French Farage? Good question. If I had to guess, it's probably whoever's manager at the start of the save. Well, that team is... Oh, <laughs> it's Mr. Nobody. Although, it might have been that he just got sacked after what just happened. So let's just check that. No, he left six years ago. <laughs> Consider it built, chat. Hey, Martini. New update, I've had three Cs. Ooh, exciting. I mean, I don't know if you've just joined us, Martini, but Matthew Saeed just scored a goal and got two assists as Goodyear just progressed through. Right, let's check the next round. In fact, look, coefficients first, right? Have to. 2.25. Really nice progress. Glorious. It's just a good little vibe right now. We've got to be towards the top of this. Yeah, literally, we're currently sitting four, fifth on the year. <laughs> Obviously, that doesn't really matter much yet. But big up Ireland, by the way. They are absolutely smashing it. Like they've already got us... Wow, look at their last couple of years. They're killing it. Oh. Right. Is that brand new? Or is that the item I already checked with? I'll just do it one more time. Oh, no. I already did that. Right. Okay. Next round. ECL. What are we saying? Since they're both through. Oh, my God. They got Zalesnishar. And good. You got Lask. Lask is quite tough. But Hibernian got Zalesnishar. They could definitely get to the playoff round. I reckon they could get... But Goodyear have shown some quality there. Halassi is going to be very tough. Any awesome players go out? We've just got um, Vladimir Stamer. Sorry, Staver out on loan. So it's getting there. But I feel like it's one of these things where it would have worked better if we did at the start of the window. It doesn't seem to have made any difference yet. But it might just be because we came right through in the middle. But we'll see. That's not ideal. What about Hammering, though? Spartak Trinava. Like, when you look at the other teams around here, other than maybe FK Sarajevo, I can't think of another team that they'd rather play than Spartak Trinava. I think that they could... They beat Ferenc Farosh. I reckon they could give these guys a go. And remember, if they get through this round, they are guaranteed group stage of something. I really hope it's the Conference League, though. Ferenc, they got Victoria to Gumerash. Yeah, that's... That would have been an easy L. Oh. Lovely. There's a couple, if we can put down a couple of like eight point years now where we just do solid stuff, I'd be very, very pleased. Right. Uh, this squad should be the same, right? I didn't take anyone out. Although we actually have another spare slot now. So I might as well just add a rando. I don't know who's gone out. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't touch the screen anyway. Why does this even exist? I, I don't know why this screen exists. Oh, yeah. Stava was left. You're right. Yeah. I really don't know why that screen it actually needs to be there because it doesn't do anything you can't literally do anything on it anyway uh right so he's a winger i reckon we should try and do a party exchange loan for old um, al kamaji because i feel like he's too good to not get a loan the question is who needs him what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the tactics pages of the other oh fuck's sake of the other multi sides find out who's playing systems with wingers and who needs a, who needs a winger so they've got susan santos already they don't play wingers. Hammerin do play wingers, but they've got Matteo Galliano, and it's unlikely that they're going to want our guy instead of Galliano. Although, to be honest, I don't think he'd play that much at Hammerin, honestly. Hibernian? They've got Joao Lorenzo, who just scored a hat trick in the last game. Luter could be quite interesting. Oh, my love. Um, now, obviously, this doesn't mean he's their starting left winger. They could have been rotating the squad, but Luter feels like a good landing point potentially for someone like him. They're one of those teams I want to start building up a little bit more. I'm going to try and see if Luter will take him. 
it might not work, but we move. For players like that, I feel like I have to sort of force their hand a little bit. View him as a youngster. What does that mean? I've never seen that designation. This is the one I want. Right. Players to exchange. Loan listed. Uh, fuck, what's his name? There he is. Hassan al Kamaji. Let's see. Intriguing. So they're just not after it at all. Let me try locking it. Oh. 69. I'll pay 69 grand for them to do that. If we could get him out there for 69k, I'd happily do it. I just don't want to pay like 800k. <laughs> like that other club wanted. Probably could have done the two year now, but oh well, we can just extend it. And it's 69k as well. It's like they understood. Wait. Oh, now someone wants him. Wait, wasn't I in the middle of trying to... Oh no, I... Oh no, we couldn't give him the master slot because they wanted way too much stuff, didn't they? So that that'd be fine. If he actually goes there, that'd be even better. But at least loan bids are coming in now. Oh, youth recruitment. Come on. I want to actually see if the youth recruitment looks any different. Four in progress. There's lots of in progresses, at least. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's actually a guy at FCSB. Who we are already scouting, presumably, right? We're not. Okay, we are now. That's a hell of a stub toe. Uh, you're on loan, presumably. Uh, let me guess, you're on loan from... He'll be on loan from Rebel Salzburg, won't he? Oh, he's actually not. Either way probably slightly out of our price range and there's no point in scouting that club because that's not actually the club uh who's the recommendation as well oh so we already knew about anyone in here didier vargas okay guy at groningen hello flawless how's it going oh we're already scouting oh of course we are oh no we're already scouting for a feat to take that guy is expert fleecing it's it's just true <laughs> thank you very much for the 43 monks shoot monks 43 monks Jesus Christ. Vargas is wanted by... Mac <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> Good day, mate. You got any loans? It's... How is it always them? <laughs> it's not... <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just... It's always... MacArthur FC as well. Like a boomerang, they always do be coming back. It's true. Oh, I love that. Anyone new here? Oh, wow. Hello. Ratko Layla. Good lord. Oh my god, he can head a... F well, I mean, it remains to be seen, but that looks like a genuine... Oh my god, he's free. You're right. Wait, is this like a... Hang on, let's just check. This might be a compensation type of situation. So we'll probably just make an offer of zero instead. You can't not, right? Um, we might as well scout Dugapolia, but I imagine he's probably their only player. Wow. We're, oh, we're 50 to 18 Marlon as well. The injury. Ooh, what's the injury? Torn thigh. I feel like. Mm, I think he might actually fail his medical. There's another freebie down there. Binio! <laughs> the little bin. The little bin himself. In you come, bud. Uh. We'll make an offer of zero for, for, for the little bin. Don't mind that. Anyone actually good up here while we're at it? A couple, guys. Wait, was there an Australian, man? Oh, there is, yeah. Dory Moxie. Chat, we found Dory. There he is. Austrian-Brazilian. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're right. He is the Aust Which means his first name is going to be like, um, yeah, Robson Maurer. A little throwback to last stream there. Leaf Green! Leafy with the 30 months. How are you, Leafy? The big three zero. Thanks the for all zero. the smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. Smiley face. <sighs> smiley face. Smiley face. Matto. The streams are always something nice to look forward to. All the laughs. All the mistakes. All the pasta. All the pasta. I love it all. Here's a fun fact. Well, thank you, Leafy. Yeah, true. That's how he's got there, clearly. And Curious, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, Santa Maria. Where was Santa Maria? Oh, these guys, sorry. Yeah, Hugo Lopez. Not bad, actually. Relegate from the second tier, damn. Scott MacArthur, look for a loan. <laughs> Just trying to loan their best player and be like, this is how it feels. This is what you do to me. What about Santiago Wanderers? 
reason no reason not to five hundred yeah that's probably not he's not quite Dieter Hocken oh, I mean actually he's pretty all right to be fair any in the under eighteen one oh hello yes well there's a few of them at least there's a really cheap guy there at is the more here as well any more random cheapies Yashin Urko what the fuck why are you so cheap that's not even a youth cap. Do you know what? Fuck it. I, I don't even care. I probably could just get rid of the 40. I do not care. That's wild. I'll absolutely take that. Emmanuel Romero? Winger looks solid. It's a proper yoink, yeah. Volta Florianchic. Another good keeper, actually. Six foot this time. Yeah, flippable Turk. You can't go wrong. And then Yaka Bratsko. Sorry, Bratsko. Wow, he is a very much no-nonsense fullback, isn't he? Great tackling, though, potentially. Don't mind a bit of that. Dick is, as far as I know, still at Birkikara. Which is good. Two guys at Celia as well. Obviously, one of our scouts has a bit of Slovak knowledge that he was determined to show. Uh, Cola Cola Beasts. Uh, well, I mean, we've got Cola Cola on our um, scouting. The only one that was come through lately that we've been looking at was Bruno Araya. And he is good. And he's actually starting to look better now as it goes. Christ, he's really developing. Just like, what would we do with him? Well, I'm just using James's ones, the uh, exclamation mark RF ones. I just reset them all today because of the, apparently there were some changes. Oh, is he expensive? Is that why we didn't want him? Yeah. Three to six million is a lot for us, especially in our current state. That's the problem. Show us Dick. Oh, you, you, you shouldn't. Uh, fuck. How do I find Dick? <laughs> Uh, what a sentence. Uh, I think he's a big Kara. There he is. Just to get grinder. Maltese grinder. Yeah, there are 22 caps now. He's forging a good career. I mean, he's only played 23 times, but I like him. And now he gets to play with Vladimir, which is always good. Uh... And obviously, Jean Dong Suck. Our boy. Isn't a portrait. I, 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 I dare you. Also, who said it wasn't? I feel like he isn't actually developing as much as I thought he would do. But he, then again, he hasn't really played any games this season because Sweetie aren't in Europe. But he didn't play amazingly well for them last year, unfortunately, considering his quality. But he has now got a two-year loan extension. So we've got two more years to find out if he's going to be any good. David Cross. Now, we should have you fully scouted or at least very closely scouted. I love how your crossings disappeared again. It was 10, if I recall correctly. 17 caps for New Zealand, though, is dope. Yeah, I always find a way. I mean, just look at that first game against Stoyer. Like, like on the surface of things, you're not even a bad player. And you are at least now starting to play some games for Wellington Phoenix, particularly last season. Got your first goal for them, I think. Yes. I think you'll just start cr cranking out appearances now for the rest of the table. And the fact that you've got 17 caps is really impressive. Padilla's the top trainer. To the shock of nobody, the model citizen is the top trainer. Uh, 500 pounds a week, absolutely no problem. Uh, yeah, we would have had to pay five uh, hundred thousand pounds in compensation. Jiminy, thank you for the twelve months. You love to see it. I'm not doing a nine month contract on you there, bro. It's weird that we're even allowed to sign him, given that he's 15 years old, and the fact that I can offer him a six year contract. This feels a little bit iffy, but hey, we're moving. Uh, Binio as well. Squad player. Yes, that's going to be a no from me, dog. Um, yeah, no, I'm not signing him on a squad player contract. That's absolutely unhinged. <laughs> no wonder he's the little bin. Someone's not been taking his medicine, it would seem. Right. Four-year contract for you. Let me guess. Seven? Oh, my goodness me. Congratulations, my friend. You're here till you're 25. <laughs> Enjoy. I don't know why Yashin is so cheap. Like, attribute-wise, he looks okay. Maybe he's really injury-prone. We just don't know yet. Like, for, for like, well, how much did we pay? Like, 14k? He looks okay for 14 grand, right? You can't really go wrong with a bit of 14 grandery. You could just be one star, one star. But he's good now, which is okay. Still at Bradford City, James. 280 appearances now for them in the league. Played another 44 for them in the League 2. Back to League 1 again. But you're still going to play pretty much every game. Also, do you just, like, not get injured? You're getting 40-plus league games a season every single year. But I do get a feeling you might just be at Bradford forever. 
it's you're just having a lovely career. Still only 23, right? There's at least another 10 years in you there, I would say. Matt Hager, so where did you end up again? Was it Stoke? You did play 19 games for Stoke last season. So upon signing for them, you've actually hit the ground running for Stoke in the championship. With no and a goal as well. Your first ever senior goal. You scored from DM for Stoke City in the championship. You found a nice level. I'll take that. I don't know if my guy's still at Fulham. I'm kind of curious myself now. Or I got released. No, I am still at Fulham. I haven't played a single match for Fulham. And oh my God, I'm there for another two years. I'm going to be like 26 by the time I finally get out of Craven Cottage. And now we're in the championship as well. If you'd have played me, Marco, none of this would have happened. I don't know if they're even still being managed by Marco Silver at this point. Probably not. It's FM. Oh, he's still there. Of course he is. <clears throat> Uh, Barry Scott, I don't believe, actually plays for Looter anymore. I think he got released and then... Oh, no, he's still there. Oh, no, they extended his contract. Fair play. He had a one-year deal and they must have extended it. So he is doing a second season at Looter. Good for him. He didn't really play much last year, I must admit. Uh, he still has more caps for Djibouti than he does senior football appearances. To save these careers, we do a little bit. <clears throat> I was supposed to be working on an agent video on Friday, but then I had that other idea and I've been working on that ever since because I think it's way better. I need to remind myself to send Hadrian that database after stream. Oh, my throat's gone again. There we go. Uh, oh, it's just Benfica again. Palacio. Fiorentino signed Honorato. Okay, cool. Lots more bids for honor for him. Not happening. Maribor signed Top Rack. I wish those, um, the trialies could hurry up and actually also, did we check the coefficient after that, those games? I think we did, right? Yeah, 2.25. Yeah, six years on him and then seven on the other dude. It's surprising. Uh, not going to follow up my interest there. Oh, Bodder, go on. That's actually surprising and disappointing. Usually at the level we're at, almost every intake Bodder have has got someone in it. But instead, we're stuck with Jakub Fijestul, who is a six jumping reach centre back. Excelente. Still considered rich, which is good. Uh, 1.3 million for Camger and Lend is unhinged. At least we're getting 3.7 million pound bids now for the Melman. Uh, we won 1 nil in the end, Ashman. Only just, but we did get through, which is the main thing. And the other Maltesers are still in it. All of them got through. Hamron beat Ferenc Varos. Hibernian it's beat good, Sparta uh, Prague. And Goodyear beat Anorthosis Famagusta. So they're there, all in the third fresh. round of qualifiers, which is insane. El Majo, thank you for the follow. Right, so Kim Chun Lee's in. No problem. Uh, transfer status. We do transfer listed. Zero. And then offer out. Worst case scenario, we can always do an intermediary on those as well. Do you play a last one? Uh, we have no idea. I feel like this is just asked like 30 times a stream. But it's, yeah, the, the answer isn't going to change. It, it just doesn't. We don't know, basically. No one knows. Bente with a 25 months. Thank you, friend. Hope you're well. How was how was part run yesterday? Uh, Pog and I tried to go for a walk yesterday morning. We're like ready to go. Got a coffee. Ready there. And then just like pissing it down. Which was brilliant fun. Not. Uh, right. Yeah, we just do that with you. And then same with old Mr. Monster here. Who is ironically of a very simple... You're not even that bad. More of a centre back, I'd say, than a right back. But life goes on. Right. Uh, we want transfer status for you. And there. Cool. Offer oot. Transfer zero. Boom. Nice. Off to Mark only. Uh well they're they're not uh, loans. These are transfers. So we we didn't care we couldn't care less if you you can't offer them to Malta only either with transfers, unfortunately. Uh, it has, uh number fifteen, I think, is the next time you get any kind of upgrade there. Oh, so it is back to Poland. So it looks like it's back to Poland for Kim Chun Lee. I uh, will accept all of those. And, oh, hello. Bit of League 1 and League 2 for Jonathan Monster. Man is going. Nice. These guys are um for... These are Patreon regions, so we have to try and get them in and out as fast as possible to find them new clubs, basically. Jet Lee Paver. That is unbelievably good. Just fell on making the group stage. It's weird like that. I mean, to be fair, they had a lot of help in the second leg because um, Sparta Prague got a red card after seven minutes and then Hibernian scored uh, five goals after that. Still nearly didn't make it through. Right, so yeah, imagine that. Gets released by Leamington. Although maybe it was a case of less getting released and more forced the release, perhaps. But now he's getting 
offers from clubs in League One and League Two. And obviously Ian Furno's in. Nice. Okay, and then out we go. I love that he's now become one of our uh, highest valued players. Where do you reckon Inferno ends up? Is my question. Load FM, thank you very much for the raid. How's it going, man? Any bets on who puts a bid in on Inferno? Because I, I think it's going to be... I feel like he might be good enough for a champion, for a Premier League side, potentially. Maybe I'm overdoing it there. I wonder... Oh, you had a hip injury as well. Do you love to see... And a broken foot. My God, you've been through the wars, bro. Okay, here we go. QPR could... Oh, last player... Uh, I will need to have a little look at that, but I think I've got all the key guys tied down. I'll do that after stream. Uh, while I'm watching whatever. Oh no, watching that summoning, summoning salt video. Manima Union? Ah, nearly. That being said... Oh no, never mind. <laughs> oh no. Fulham? Oh, imagine. Right, what we say? Imagine nobody comes in for him. We're just stuck with him on like eight grand a week. Never mind. It's Sheffield United. Sorry, Sheffield Wednesday, Preston and Huddersfield and the Championship. Oh, imagine if Hamron did come in. But it always just seems to be clubs from the nation the player came from. Uh, well, there we go. Enjoy. Inferno finally gets some football. That seems about right. He's no Kieran Sleep. Let's put him that way. Bet you wish it was Stoke. <laughs> I love it. You've become really protected of, pre protective of Stoke now. Uh, oh, that's not how you spell the word league. No, that's that. I have done the name fix because obviously that got balked. Not that it matters for this because we're already mid-save. Uh, so if we go to stadiums, we can see who's in the Prem. So current teams in the Premier League, watch it be almost the same. So Leicester are back. Sunderland are back, obviously, because they've got Kieran Sleep and Hull City. And obviously Norwich too. Cool to see Hull City in there, actually. And obviously Sunderland with uh, that ridiculous striker they've got. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've checked out loads of teams, my friend. Loads of them. We've got like 300 of them on the list. And eventually they'll come around. Uh, but I think we already have Sahal on the list anyway, because they're one of the big Tunisian sides. Fernando Avila. Oh, God, I wish he was as good as he used to be. It's such a disappointment. Right, we're not seeded for the draw. I would love a bit of Shamrock Rovers, if I'm honest. Rubio! Thank you very much for the 29 months. That's far too many months. But thank Hello, you. Hello, Matter. 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 Right. Uh... Get rid of that. Switch to this. Start the draw. Change the speed. Progression. What we say. So we're the one that's under Maccabi Haifa there. Shakhtar Bodo would be okay. Oh, and that's who we get. Okay. Cheers, FM. So who, I want to see who Shamrock get, though. Because they are the one that really intrigue me right now. Or they did not... They, they are in, didn't they? Because they didn't win, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. Look, I mean, you never know. Shakhtar is horrible, but on the plus side, it would give us an opportunity to potentially go into the Europa League should we lose to them. And I'm not entirely opposed to it. Because the coefficients available there would be quite delightful. More offers for Palacio. That's a big no from me, dog. While he's gone. All right, cool. It might be better, but we've got the cash. I mean, at this point, I feel like we're probably much better than Shakhtar anyway. When you look at some of the results we got in Europe last year, like we beat Atletico, we beat Spurs... I think we can take pretty much anybody. Right, is this what I can actually do something with? It is. The question is, who and what? Fafan doesn't need to be in there. Diop won't count. Castillo's already in. Dota Gay's there. Medina, maybe, just for some squad depth? Carlos Lopez is already going out on loan. Baez, we've got so many players in that role already. Honestly, I'm thinking it might just have to be Medina, just for extra depth. It's a free spot. Might as well put him in there. Ah, that's that line. I haven't really noticed anything different about it, honestly, so far. Um, the loan stuff still seems to be around about the same, but it might just be that I haven't got enough data yet. Uh, that is a lot of luck. I don't want to touch that, though, just in case. Anyone done anything good? Not yet. Oh. Yeah, the kickoff are not being included. Actually, you know what they might? Oh, there's more offers made. So Yashin Urkol is going to join us. So Doncaster now, bloody hell. Jonathan Monster is a popular man. He's a popular monster. Uh, Kim Chun Lee, lots more Polish clubs. More for Cameron Lend with an absolutely derisory bid. Yeah, Yasin is very intriguing. He just doesn't look like that. Do you know what I mean? This doesn't line up with these attributes. He's going to be a great loan farmer. 
Like a fully excellent loan farmer. Well, if someone actually wants him, obviously. But this is an, an opportunity to test that. Right, cool. See if he she Wait, what? Another player failed to... Which one was Spiteri? Shit, that was bloody... Actually, I can just find out, can't I? Carlos Lopez. Oh, okay. Uh, I might just try that again, randomly. That's weird. Usually, they don't fail to agree terms there. For the most part, they usually agree to it at that point. Birmingham, Ipswich, Millwall, all in for Inferno now. Cost we started a fire sale. Still in part exchange. Yes. Pay millions for the loans. Um, Yeah, so the reason for that is because basically you don't get to decide the terms on which the player is going. And it's quite, it's quite unfortunate. So, for example, with John Dong Suk, when we sent him to Sweetie for a season, it turned out that he was they were paying us £900,000 for that. Uh, luckily, when I came to re-extend the loan, I was able to turn down, take out the wage, the contributions that they were adding. But you've also got to be careful there because I noticed another time when I tried to take out the contributions, they then cancelled the loan because they didn't... I basically said to them, you guys can pay less money now. And they then withdrew the offer for loan because I'd asked them to pay less money. Very, very stupid. Anything big? Um, well, the biggest thing is that all the multi sides are still in Europe. And that is a genuine shock to me. Right, Fafana and Watara. Uh, no. Definitely Melman. Kamga's back, which is delightful news. I feel like I still want to persist with Rob Hilton in that middle role. I really do like him. Palacio's back from the Olympics. I want to make sure I've got... Oh, we've got Jarger on the bench. And Andoy. We're all good. Cool. Done for part-time. I believe, from what I know, Trams, that... RDS1 can still work for part-time or he's made like another version. I could be wrong about that though. So if you loans them that we use their money and couldn't afford to improve it. Yeah, that, that's the downside of the part exchange. Palacio's not starting this. I've just literally looked at his uh, match sharpness. <laughs> In that case, I will probably just drop him out here instead for... Where is he? There he is, yeah. There's no way he can start this game. Yeah, it did. It was Mike's one, I believe it was, wasn't it? I don't think you're going to get as much out of training with the semi-pro level as well, true. Yet, yeah, Hilton is weird. I think it's because he's operating in the libero role, so the game's punishing him slightly, but his attributes are superb. Don't know what to do. Um, depends. How long has he got left on his contract? Like, I feel like people are too afraid to piss off their players for a little bit. Like, if they want to leave and you've got a long contract on them, just annoy them for a couple of months. Eventually, once the window shuts and the interest drops in the player, they'll just... They'll be happy again. Then you can offer them a new deal if you need to. Right. Okay. I kind of just want to get through... I feel like we should be... Like, we should be Gucci. This game should be relatively easy for us. It's just... I want to get to Thursday so we can see what the other Maltese sides get up to, truthfully. Whole team is right. Yeah, that can be a bit annoying, as you saw at the start of um, this window. Oh, hello. Come on, FM. Don't do this now. Now is not the time. Cease your activities. No, no, don't get worse. There we go. 1.5 seasons. Um, so that's the issue. This is what the sort of problem we had with Ronnie Shallow. It was a case of either we go, right, his value to us for the next 1.5 seasons is worth him, us losing him for free, or you just sell him now and take the money. But it's a question of, is he worth, how, I don't know how much you'd be able to sell him for. So is his value to your team over the next 1.5 seasons worth more than that to you? And that's sort of the conundrum you put in, especially when they've said they're going to leave for free, which is what happened with Ronnie in the end. But he's gone on to do absolutely sod all at his new club and he's immediately been replaced with Melman who was far better here comes Hilton oh nice he was just building a hotel on the edge of the box there Melman again and that is his seventh goal of the season already what a start it's another assist for Vida I think Vida might already be halfway to the number of assists he got in the entirety of last season and we're only like five games into the year he is back to his absolute best I would say it's classic Vida behavior it's nice that's either his fifth or sixth assist already Ronnie could be the most hated man in St. Paul's Bay. Potentially, yes, in some ways. Like, because he was so good here. Ever he was loved, and then he decided to just not even take the money. He didn't even earn that much money. Hello, Vaughn. We are doing superb. Uh, because we're in the third round of various European competitions in the qualifiers, and every single multi side is still in it with us. We have still got the maximum complement of teams available for us in Europe right now. They all got through. Vida. Oh, look at that touch! Oh, Vida. Go on, don't shoot. Look at him go! Oh, my... Did I mention I love the match in chat? 
Vida has just sat two people down on their ass and sent the others to the shops. If you're not... Mother of God. He heard me talk about Melman. Did you... For those of you that weren't actually like actively watching at the screen right now, watch the replay of this. Vida just skins two of their... Yeah, literally, the, the assist is so good. Hopefully it shows the whole thing. Right, watch what he does. So the first defender here, and then there's a second one when he gets in the box. Like, cuts inside there, then back outside the defender, dodges one tackle, then comes back inside, does the same bloke again. <laughs> Do you think that V... Hang on, does Vida have that PPM likes to beat opponent more than once? Because there is actually a PPM for that, isn't there? No. That's incredible. He's just... It was the same bloke. That guy's going to be having dreams about Vida for weeks now. Oh... That was insane. So that's two assists already for Vida on the night. This is... I do love that. He really did. Did the guy say something to him in the map, in like the warm-up? He's like, oh, I don't want Vida to leave. He's got a very long deal. He's got, I think, eight years left on his con... No, that can't be right. I think he's got six years left on his deal here in total. Goreyeb, ball through. Watara, this should be three. Oh, and it's... Well, it really isn't that, definitely. No, the defender... I'm surprised he's not been substituted with like psychological problems after that absolute mullering that he's just taken at the hands of Vida Xenia. Yeah. <laughs> the guy's actually got dizzy. I do love those little animations like that. That's fantastic. This feels like a kind of game where Vida could maybe rack up a hat-trick of assists if he keeps getting into those positions. Although we have kind of tailed off a lot since those second goals. Everyone's so shell-shocked by it. Uh, in the next round, I can only remember... Fuck, who is it? Hibernians actually have quite of a winnable draw, do they not? I know that Please don't concede a goal. Fucking hell, man. We are so bad for that. Hamrun are playing against uh, Spartak Trinava. I believe that Hibernian's one is slightly winnable. That defective for our own player, didn't it? Lask, yeah. Goodyear have got Lask, yeah. Which is not really winnable, I would say. Oh, and um, it's Lesnichar. That's it. Right. We're still doing well, but that was a fun fortunate goal to concede. Yeah, the problem is they've pulled off these unbelievable results. I swear to God, if we can see another corner goal here. Oh, fucking hell. They'll all just go out with a whimper. Now, luckily, even if Hammerin were to lose this round, they would still be in the playoff round of the Conference League. But, holy damn. I want them to... Oh, come on. It's the other game again. 2-0 lead, immediately piss it up. <laughs> what is going on? That's the second straight round now that we've gone 2-0 up at the home game, dominating, and then just conceded... Like, how on earth is he getting the ball over our goalkeeper from there? I, I swear that Tunkara has just literally got in his way there. Oh, dear. Download them for... Uh, if you do exclamation mark training uh, in chat here, you'll get a link to RDF's website. Oh, dear. Yeah, so if, if Hamrin were to get past... Um, oh Christ, who was it? Uh, Spartak Trinava, they would be guaranteed a place in the group stage of the Conference League. Minimum which is incredible. And that's the dream for this year. Yeah, I think like this will happen exactly the same way as it did against FCSB, where we drop randomly and then just go and blaze them out in the second half, which is so weird that we keep doing this, though. Right, here we go. Come on. The fact that Palacio is not fully fit and couldn't start here is a little disappointing, but I honestly didn't think we'd need him, truthfully. Not with the way that Vida... Oh, my God. They're obviously taking it personally. Right, come on, Vida. Show me your goods. It's Camgar and Len. Just drops it across. Oh, it's so easy. 3-2, Camgar and Lend. Glad he's back in the team. Goal group extremely short. No, he's like 6-1, I think. That was nice from Vida again, though, to set that up. He may not have got the assist for that one, but he's got the hockey assist again, just by pulling into this little spot. That little touch there to just open up the space. Suddenly, he's got the room to actually play that pass for Camgar and Lend. God, that must have been tight for whether that was onside or not. He was just behind the ball, I think. Right. Hilton struggled again in this game. Uh, player stats tab on top of the tab. Oh, yeah! Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. Bear in mind, stats, I'm still not actually updated to that latest version of the skin that you sent me. I'm still using the one that's slightly balked because I forgot. Either way, that's kind of dope. I like that. The more stats, the better, is my is always my opinion on these things. Right, we are ahead, again, thankfully. Uh, but Hilton's had another... Mistakes led to both goals. Really? Both goals? How was it his fault for the first one? It was just a header from a corner. I feel like that's a bit harsh on Paul Richard there. I'll substitute Sunday for a little bit, even if there's no reason to. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that because I wanted to at least get some rating for the clean sheet. 
Get Mayhem Salt on him for a little bit. Third corner. That's weird, though. Like, both goals. The first one was just a header from a corner. But the, the header deflected off one of our defenders and went past him. I don't know what he's supposed to do about that. Weird. The game does ha doesn't half punish goalkeepers for random things. Obviously, it's his fault for the second one. Although, is it? I'd argue that in some ways, it was actually Tunkara's fault for the second one. I really want to give Padilla some game time, but I also don't want to take off Melman. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. I substitute him on in the 69th minute and six minutes later, he's injured. Right. Okay, looks like we're going to go for Dode Gay this time. It does seem to blame the goalkeeper. Yeah, he's on a 5.9 now. What did he do in the meantime? Why has his rating got worse? I don't like this one goal lead that we've got, but we've got to make sure that we get the victory because coefficient and also just being <laughs> actually qualified for the next round. Oh, no. Right, where's Vida when we need him? I don't like the fact they've pushed up so deep there. Ooh, Vida, come on, buddy. Yes, nice defending. That was good. Nice to see Tony Tony Sunday covering over there as well. Right, come on. They almost dropped very deep. I reckon this is us building up to something special. I'm just going to slowly but surely build it through the lines. Here we go. Cam Gunn, there's runners left and right. He's got Mayhem Salt on. Ooh, could Vida creep in at the back post for a goal for himself, maybe? It would just be a goal for Hilton or something. Here we go. Vida for the assist. Cam Gunn lend. Oh, he's... Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> The added height that we've now got in the back line really helps in situations like that, I feel like. Del Castillo and Tunkara are brilliant for that kind of stuff. What a pass. Go on. Go for Melman. Oh, so close. Should your players never realistic? Yeah, I suppose. I, I just I just really don't like it. IRL Wonder Kids in FM. In terms of, like, from my enjoyment of the game, I just find it... I don't find it enjoyable playing with players that I kind of already know they're going to be good. I love the uncertainty of it. I love... Every player feels like a loot box, you know? You never know quite how they're going to turn out, and I really enjoy that element of FM. Uh, that was much tighter than it needed to be. Because, again, we've managed to concede way more goals than we should have done. But the thing is, you can't even say there's much tactically we could have done about those goals. They were both just set pieces, where the goalkeeper's made a massive error. It's gambling, but with kids, exactly. Yeah, good old Morris Bremer. Right, well, the main thing is we got through the game, and we didn't lose or drop any... Oh, wow, that's annoying. Wait, where did you get injured? Okay, we're fine. Yeah, to me, once FM, honestly, once you get to like season three or four and it starts happening, I'm usually all right with that. Vida's in your show again. So what are we up to now with Vida for the season? Seven assists in five games. He got, I think, 12 or something in the whole of last season. He's already bagged seven this year. This is what we like to see. Statistics are looking great in Vida's favor now. Out of interest. Just want to see if there is any interest in some of our loanies, potentially, that I might have accidentally glossed over doesn't look like it at the moment but in time no nope, apparently not no one no one at all right thursday's where it's at though yeah vida i think a lot of our players feel older than they are because they've been playing for us for so long Lignos, thank you for the no nope, i said 28 months when that isn't even Feels close to like correct. yesterday thank you for the 17 months my friend hope you're having a fabulous sunday morning just about right at least there's no friendly in between, so we can actually have a fully rested squad this time. More random offers for Wataru that aren't even close to his value. The one downside to stalling is that it doesn't boost the offer value by quite as much, but oh well. I mean, look at Palacio. He's still training well. Oh wait, he's not actually... He doesn't appear to be as unhappy as he was. In fact, he seems to be chill again now. Oh no, he was one of the guys that was happy to stay, wasn't he? That would explain it. Right. So oh, no, that's right. Second one. It it's Thursday, what we care about. Guibara. Oh, sorry, Guabara. Guabira. Not even close, Matt. Uh, this is the third round of qualifiers. Uh, ironic that we should get one of these reports immediately afterwards. Okay. Oh, no, we already looked at them, didn't we? Yeah, that's ironic. Wait, did that? Was I able to add a scout report for them to the back of our team report scouting while they were still being scouted? It certainly feels like that. Increase their value. It means that they're more likely to come back with a higher offer and therefore the value will increase accordingly to that. That seems to be the case, yeah. Seems to be one way to get the values to increase slightly. Uh, are these all the new Caledonian players? Because I'm a level with you. They're not looking great. <laughs> he said to the surprise of absolutely nobody in chat. Wow, there's actually only two players that we're scouting that are actually completed in this one. And they're both rubbish. Murape. Tafadzwa Morape. I mean, he's not 
I mean, he's got okay passing, and I assume that's why we scouted him in the first place. And then Atanas Madanov. Chief, yeah, I probably could have done him for the loan, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, he's not very good either, and he would cost us a lot of money. I think I've accidentally flooded our scout reports with all those players. No, it was Watara and Melman that bitched about it. They're the only two that are actually, um, like, upset me currently. Who's a caption like, ah, we'll find others. He's missed his chance. Uh, we're facing, we're playing against Maccabi, is it Maccabi Haifa or Maccabi Tel Aviv? Maccabi Tel Aviv. Porter want Watara, no. Oh, I probably should do the old uh, coaching shuffle there. That looked like a lot of complaints. Let me just uh, quickly sort that out. Particularly with our new coach. That'll help slightly until they complain about it again. Because they will never stop complaining about it, ever. More offers for Watara. More offers for you, which we don't want. Santa Kotoko, they've usually got... This is that guy we quite like to the look of. I don't think we can talk to him yet, but he looks to be that best prospect. Look at the CA on him. That's what's most intriguing about him. He's actually got, like, really good CA. But maybe doesn't have quite the, the ceiling that we thought. But either way, I would still like to pick him up, particularly as he's probably still going to be relatively cheap. I mean, as it is right now. Gammy Wanakid, exactly. I mean, I guess you could go back to the days of Alabama. Wait, is he already joining us? Did I already sign him? <laughs> we signed so many players, chat. I, get, I lose track. Uh, also, Europa League. They won. They won. They, they won. Hammer and won. Hammer and won. They've, they've won the away game. Holy shit. They are this guy. They are literally anything but a defeat in their second leg, and they are going to be in a group stage of some form. Oh. The Kovacs brothers at the back here are not going to be very happy with that. Holy lord. Miroslav Lusic. That's a blast from the past. Man of the match for Hamru. You'd love to fucking see it. That's amazing. So, wow, bloody hell. The question then becomes, I love how they've just taken to the Europa League like ducks to water this year. Now then, what about the others? I just don't see any chance of anything major happening. Hi oh my God, 3-1. Hibernians 3, Zalesna Char 1. Lorenzo, Milojevic, and Inossa again. Did, was it a big win for Lask? Oh, 4-1, yeah. Harsh. Honestly, 4-1 is kind of harsh on them. They've actually done better than I expected, like, statistically in that game. I feel like that, honestly, that could have been a 2-1 defeat. They just kind of let it get away from them there, and I don't see them pulling off a massive result in the second leg. But if we got three teams into the playoff round, holy shit. Yeah, last night even doing a bench, which is a bit... Yeah, like... I'm more than happy with that. Like, good, you just got a tough draw. That's so good. Oh, they didn't see that late goal as well. Oh, I think this could absolutely be a PB for coefficients, depending on which one we get into. We're already up to three points. We're the second highest point scoring nation on the year already. We've nearly matched the number of points we got in the year that we're losing, and we're only at the third round of the qualifiers, which is unhinged. Yeah, so here's Speak Sparta. They won 5-2 in Czech Republic. Lorenzo scored a hat-trick. It was ridiculous. Right. Uh... Wait, hang on. No, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Got them in the end. Still at Milan. But unfortunately, you have been wanted, listed for quite a while now. Does have an, an Israel cap. But yeah, unfortunately, it's weird because I always thought that whenever I saw you in a lot of the Sims, you looked really, really good. And actually, wise you kind of do. But it just seems like you're never quite good enough to play for Milan in this case anyway. Yeah, Ireland are having a bloody great season. I mean, they've got like, I think they still have every team still left. That's the dream. Like, imagine if we could... Uh, the next big checkpoint is 23, which is where we would start in the, another round ahead in the Europa, in the Champions League. So if you look at the qualities here... Oh, wrong one. So we're currently down here in 25th. Oh, sorry, 24th. So 23rd is the one we want next. That would give us to, get us to skip around. But then it's ages until anything else happens. It's really all the way up to 15th. That's when you get the extra spot, which is really, really key. So I just want to get into this group of teams. And we're right in that mix. We'll be very much on the board with it very soon. Uh, Young Tigers. I think we've looked up Young Tigers before, and I don't believe they had any players. But I think it was like last stream, wasn't it? Oh, no, they have two guys. Um, I'll give them a scout, but I don't suspect we're going to get any players. Who can I buy for MD? I assume that's like a mistranslation of the position. So as in like, I don't know what MD stands for. Is that like midfield, maybe? 
It might just be as simple as midfield, honestly. Um, you can buy anyone you like. That's the beauty of FM. Well, not anyone you like. Within reason, I suppose. But if you mean suggestions, I haven't the foggiest clue. Um, I, that is the worst possible part of my game is knowing real players to buy. Oh, defensive midfield. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I was thinking then. I mean, either way, I, I simply do not know. It's not... I, I know nothing about real players in FM most of the time because most of the saves I do, you don't get a chance to sign any of them. So I have no knowledge of who's good and who isn't for those types oh, of yeah, roles. So very soon. They are the giant. Thank you for the follow, though. We're doing good, Lazy Turtle. We are actually smashing it this year, like as a nation, not just as a Sirens. If anything, we're actually underperforming a little bit. We're still winning, just really weirdly, which is very strange. They need to work on the badge, though. That tiger looks like it was drawn by a two-year-old. Uh, right, yeah, we're fine. Uh, that should be fine, right? We do... Yeah, Vida's still captain. John can still be vice-captain for the time being, although I feel like he's perhaps not long for this... Not for this world so much as... Hang on. Don't St. Andrew's already... I'm assuming that this guy, who I've just noticed his name, by the way, is one of the New Caledonian lads. But St. Andrew's were the team that already had a New Caledonian. But I've also... I love that his name is Fabio Jean-Jean. Jean Jean is such a great surname. So they want a second New Caledonian. Love that. Big up them. Right, so Kim Chun Lee is going to Pogon. Clubs just kind of make offers for Yashin Urkong. I reckon we can work with that. Still. Smithy and Jono, thank you very much for the 31 and 11 months respectively, my friends. No, don't leave us, John. I will never let it happen, I promise. Jean 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 is therefore an option. Correct. He's the newest Caledonian. Oh. I love the fact that that does... There you go. Jonathan Monsters go to Exeter City. That's a big step up from where he was. So fair play to him. The question is, where does Inferno go? I reckon he ends up going to Birmingham. Oh my God, they've actually got him. That's huge. Hassan, wow. That is a big deal. Again? Yes, yeah, so that goalkeeper's being a bell piece, so he's not going to let that happen. But on the plus side, Hassan al Komaji two-star, five-star player has gone on loan to Luta this season. He's going to absolutely kill it down that left-hand side. I'm really excited about his prospects there. I think him and... Oh, good lord. I also love that they accepted it. I guess he was just so good that they couldn't say no, right? Uh, so who... How much is he on? On his new contract? 6k! What the fuck? 6k at Pogo. That's quite a lot of money. How much is old Johnny Monster on at Exeter City? £700 a week. For Exeter City in League Two. So he's, he's down in the Football League. Uh, renewing loans has been fine. I've not had an issue with that at all. Uh, Goloso, thank you very much for the follow. The loans have, have been renewed just like normal. Any big signings? Yeah, we actually have made quite a lot. Of, genuinely, first team signings lately. So for example, um, we've added in Del Castillo, who, ignore the star ratings, his attributes are really good. And we really like him for that. We've also got James Hilton, who we got on a free... Sorry, Rob Hilton, who we got on a free transfer from Manchester City, who is like a natural libero. You can't go wrong with that. Who else did we get? Um, obviously, Padilla's now joined us on a free... Uh, not a free. Padilla's now joined us, so he's in. Our model citizen who... Look at him. The future is bright for someone like that. I'm so excited about him. And there was a couple more as well. I've just forgotten their names already. Next year, too. Uh, yeah, if it's possible, I'll do it. Absolutely. Also, I noticed that it overwrote my uh, Patreon regions in my game file. Luckily, I had a spare version of the file that I saved before that, so that was convenient. Uh... Right, nope. 800 grand is utterly bizarre. I do hate that you can't really get your players to... Uh... Right, he's not even influential, is he? Oh, hang on, wait, this might work. Yes! If in doubt, if you don't have the influential player, if you've got a player who was influential and did accept to it then say that that player came to you earlier and they will often go for that one as well. So that's good. That's good to know. But yeah, it just feels like you can't ask your player to do anything anymore and it just seems to never work. I think in the entirety of... Go away, Luca. The last save, we had it like work one time. Uh, proposed target. There we go. Right. So what I do now is I say, hey, have a good match rating. <laughs> you're never getting that because you're not going to play. It's going great, Bente. Genuinely. Today, especially, has been insanely good. We could genuinely have three multis. Oh, wow, there we go. Watara's now happy to stay as well. Everybody's happy. Just more text offers. True, yeah. More Kamga and Lend offers. 
More for Palacio, still 3.4 million. Junkara showing please. Wow, bloody hell, he's really starting to develop. In the other videos. Uh, yeah, so basically, the, anyone who became a Patreon member after the start of this save will not have their Patreon in this save because it's simply not possible to do that. Um, so those went into the text file and they can be they can appear in other videos I make, obviously, because they'll be done with the new stuff. But that is unfortunately it. That's why I was like really hamming it up at the start so that people didn't miss out on doing that. But we'll definitely have, if there's if it's in FM25, we'll just do it again in FM25, basically. I've already got the file. So people that are still on the Patreon by then, I'll just, yeah. Realistic is the world on your PSG. Uh, well, he just said no, so clearly not. Um, when I say realistic, what I mean is that the, it doesn't matter who they don't do or don't want to go to. Your player can never convince them to do anything other than the thing they already wanted to do. Um, like I said, in the whole of my last save, we had one time one player convinced another guy to stay in the history of the save over 27 seasons. To me, that's just silly. Why even have the feature <laughs> Like at that point? And it used to be more overpowered. It used to be actually way too powerful with like when we had the, uh, the, uh, the what was he called? The crowbar, where, who could just convince anybody of anything. But it feels like they always go the other direction. It's never like a nice middle ground. Strongo with the 17 months. 17 How's it going? months with most okayest streamer. Here's to the next 17. To Smiley Cara. face. Let me have a little look. How much has he gained? Appealing of a red card. Uh, what did I have him on? Defensive positioning. How much has he actually grown there? He hasn't actually gained any... Oh, he's got a green arrow, but he's not even getting a single point of defensive positioning yet. I guess I should put him on passing and vision, but I just... I kind of just want to make him, like, the best defender I can. Oh, what have you got? I've just actually smashed the mic there. Apologies, tap. Oh, you got one! Yeah, we've not had this for a, a while in saves. I think it happened in the Irish save, but not since then. It's wild. Hmm. Well, I've got a good relationship with me and it worked once. Yeah, literally. You, you get one go. My other favourite one is the fact that they introduced the fact that you could ask your assistant to, like, talk to players and then they always just go, no, no, that's not for me, boss. It's like, why is it even a feature then? <laughs> like, Christ. Right. Yeah, it kind of fluctuates form because you hit it and then it comes back again. It's, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave Junkara on that for now. I want to get that marking and pass and positioning up to, like, 15 and 16, respectively. And then I'll maybe move into something else. But I kind of want to max out his like defensive capability first. Nobody wants Yashin Urkel. Well, that's fine. We'll do the older uh, this thing. See if it works. Hey, Marvel Racer. I think I still want to go him. That's a no. Oh, hello. Incredibly interested in go away. Uh, we can just accept. We can just not accept. Rather, we can just reject these. Jean Jean's off. There he is. Fabio Jean Jean. Off he goes. Right, so lots of Turkish clubs obviously come in for him, but we knew that. There you go, Ian Ferno off to Preston. Right, now, is there any interest from Maltese clubs in you now? No, okay, fine. <laughs> right, off he goes. What's he going to do at Preston? Surely he's not going on as much as he was here, right? It's basically the same money. That's a good signing for Preston, honestly. I'm not against that. Uh, Tripoli wasn't quite there. Not like the mighty Stoke. No, 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 no. I don't know. We'll have to ask him further. He was here a minute ago. <laughs> so, oh, Shamrock Rovers are playing slot. Wow, they got a draw. Shamrock Rovers are literally close to pulling off some massive stuff here. Uh, right. Roche is now a multi sitter. So, tell you what, Nuno Roche would be a really fun one to have declare for Malta as well. I don't know if he'd quite get in the squad. There's so many of them now. Uh, another one of the Libyan sides. I feel like we've probably got our one good Libyan player for the save. And do you know what? If that's our boy, then great, because he looked really good. He's so devastated that he's gone. <laughs> right. Okay. Why do they keep doing that? How dare you not put Melman in the team? Like, what's he contributed this season already? Just the seven goals, three assists. It's not bad. It's It's not awful. Gureyev and Kamga, Sunday, Vida, Palacio, Tunkara, Basara, and Lignon. You know what? For this game, yeah, fuck it. Let's give the old guard a little run. Keep the match fitness up. Defense in the cold work. Well, yeah. Is that the same system they were playing before? Or have they changed it? Aaron, 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 Aaron. Thank you very much for the 25 bits. Hope you're having a fabulous Sunday morning. Sorry, no, it's afternoon now. I can't say that. It's gone. Also, chat. My sister, for my birthday, um, which is not till next week, 
but I saw her yesterday. She got me a t-shirt with my face on it, uh, which I have been instructed that I must wear on Thursday's stream. And it is a very old picture of me in which I'm... Technically, she's cut it out, but I'm outside a little chef with the lolly in my mouth. So there you go. So get used to that. That'll be something for Thursday's stream. Ah, uh, dear. Yeah, so Thursday is mine and Pog's birthday, and it just happens to be a stream day. Is it that gobby? Yo, it's very gopping. Randy Robbie, thank you for the follow. Not for the follow, sorry. Welcome. Oh, start again. How's it going? <laughs> Inflatable hot tub. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's got me on the back as well. And it's like properly janky too. Worse than the two. Oh, it's it's up there, Vaughn, with that kind of level of bad. Yes. Is it emo, Matt? Not really. No. It's just gopping, Matt, which admittedly is all Matt's. I realise, but didn't get Pog one. No, I just got Pog money for a tattoo that Pog wants to get. This is the third qualifying round, legal Dino. Legal Dino. So we're nearly there. Although once again, looking a bit complacent. In fact, Gory Abes just had a day off, apparently. The tattoos of the face of the shirt. Yes. How did you know? The game does really not like Maccabi Tel Aviv here. It will not let me get through these games without stuttering. Come on, FM. 79, 40. There we go. Weird. Thank you, Steve. Oh, dear. I think I can't remember the last time I actually streamed on my birthday. It's going to be... It's going to have been a while. Called Camga. That's unnecessary. But Melbourne's the... We've met it again, chat, apparently. <laughs> It's because the goal is a certain number, but because subs come in and out when they expire and stuff from a gifted sub or whatever from other streams like a month ago, it's just going to hover around the goal point until it either goes down below it too much or down goes above it for too long. I think we look a little bit better here. Okay, it's fine. I'll rock up on the birthday stream and we'll just be no FM. I'll just play Bellatro the entire time because that sounds like a beautiful birthday treat for your boy. Let me tell you. Ideally, I'll have actually had a non-recap video out on the main channel before then as well, which would be nice. Wintara, yes! Henry's gone from, like, barely having any goals to now having, to being our top scorer. You would have streamed your birthday last year as it would have been a Oh, did I really? Oh, yeah, right, because the leap year, you're right. Yeah, you must, I must have done. But Pog's here this year, so it's better. But actually, it's unbelievably good. It's probably my favourite game in that sort of semi-genre since Slay the Spire. It, it just... It tickles... Every, it, the, there's so much depth to it. You can be really creative with it. It's got a lovely... Just lovely game mechanics. I adore it. We could end up with a... Oh my god, what a hit from Henry! That was another short free kick, by the way, chat. 2-0 up. Henry Watara now has nine goals in the Champions League. He's seen what Melbourne did last year. Was that a lovely little jig there from Henners? Oh. Well, yeah. Look at that again. Short free kick. Comes to Henry. Bang. Little deflection. In it goes. Love that. Yes, Pog and I have the same birthday. So, and Pog's actually off work on her... Ooh. Do you know what? I'm going to go put Padilla. I know they want to put John on there, but this is an opportunity to bring Padilla in now. Now that we're three goals up, give Padilla like a full 45 minutes here. I picked a new birthday, yeah. But no, yeah, we have the exact same birthday. So, next Saturday, Pog and I are going to see the stage show of Back to the Future. That's Pog's present. And then in April, we're going to see Hans Zimmer. And that's my present. Pog, yeah, Pog is a nickname. My, my, my fiance's name is not actually Pog. No, her name is Emma. But everyone calls her Pog. Well, in chat anyway. You're boring soon after. Uh, fair enough. Don't buy it then. <laughs> like, I'm not going to convince you to buy it. Like, I like it. I think it's fantastic. I've put about 25 hours into it. And I'm certainly not getting bored. But each to their own, right? Vida's in. Go on, buddy. Oh, he's at the post. That was close. Seems fun now. Oh, it's so fun. It's, it's so very, very fun. And I feel like it's one of those games that will probably have some updates that will make it even better because it just will. Um, it's a really clever, like, rollout. They had the demo. They didn't rush it. They just kept going. They had some a lot of support from, like, streamer community. Like, I watched NL and Frost Prime play a lot of it. And that alone got me interested, in, frankly, because I could be asked to play the demo of it. But, oh, Vida's in again. Grip! It's another... Have you noticed that Vida has been cutting inside a lot more when before he used to just try to go to the byline? It's fully released. Yeah, it came out last... Not during this week, but like the Thursday before. A mobile version would be amazing. Yeah, that would be superb. But it's another assist for Vida. But he keeps sort of... um, But yeah, he keeps cutting inside people now. It's getting some nice assists. Start calling a Pog. Uh, it was something to do with my high score. Oh, Christ. I've got to anti-11. 
but I can't get past 1911. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to unlock as much stuff as possible. So I was doing um, a run yesterday trying to unlock the extra planet cards. You know, the ones for like Flush of a Kind and Five Flush Five or whatever it's called. Um, stuff like that. And Flush House. So, oh, and again, they get a random goal out of nothing. But yeah, it's... So I've been doing... Um, Using the deck that gives you like only spades and hearts to do that because it's just a bit easier. Literally, that it's the same fullback, isn't it? Vida's just absolutely decimated him. Sixteen shots again here. Vida's got two more assists in this game. Oh, Padilla's not really done a lot, but that's fine. We take that. In winter, uh, it can get very X six one four nine. It's another one of those really suspicious um, sounding Twitch names that follow every now and then. But thank you for the follow, nevertheless, if you're not a bot. A rhythm game was unplayable because it definitely didn't account for them. Oh, really? <laughs> That's, um... Okay, it happens every four years. Really, they should be thinking a bit more ahead than that. Go on, Palacio. One more goal for us. Let's kill this. Maybe a goal for Vida. I feel like he deserves one. Great. Ball across. Padilla! Oh, that was a chance. Keep it a clean sheet. No, the, the coefficient points are only handed out for wins, draws, and round progression. Those are the only things you can earn coefficient points currently with, as it is. Vita's taking corners in this game as well. He's having a lovely old time. Right. We've been very good. But yet again, we've conceded off their only shot, and it's a 0.04 goal. Why Trekatis is usable? Right, uh, I don't know. We're not using them. We did last year in a certain tactic, and it was fun. But I couldn't possibly tell you now, because I haven't used them this year. Uh, Yeah, they're a bit tired, actually. But we'll not use them. We'll go with him and Jar Jar. I will keep Vida on. Bit of Octotrek, exactly. Uh, there we go. Mr. Loyal, thank you very much for the follow. Looks nice here. I think it's... that's Yeah, I mean, that is the big thing everyone wants to see, right, Arsenal? Like, it's... That has to be... It has to be such a huge step up. I mean, the fact is, we know it will be anyway, just because it's a new engine that can do so much more. So it's going to look better. I think the question is just simply how much better is it going to look, right? And... I hope that people's expectations aren't that it's going to look like FIFA because we know that it's not. But I feel like there is a a tendency for perhaps people that are less familiar with what Unity actually um, looks like. Oh, it's another goal for Henry that might think that it's going to look like that when it simply won't. But I'm still excited. How's it going to play football? That's true. I mean, that's the end of the day. It, it needs to look good, but it needs to play good too. Because it's all very well at having nice aesthetics. But if it doesn't play well, then that'll be a disaster. Is that another... Has Henry got all four of our goals in this game? Jar Jar there doing beautiful things with the assist. It's 10 goals already for Henners. Unity region faces. Yeah, but it's fine. We'll just use Z-Gens. Who well, agreed they could leave if Nas started popping off. What? About something different? No Melman goal. No. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh my god, Henry, you should have scored there. That was a that was that another one of those short free kicks from about there. Sorry, not short free kicks. The short long free kick. With a free player in the middle of the box. Like that's definitely a tactic that we've got in, involved in this. I really like our new corners and uh, free kicks in this save. Yeah, hat-trick for Henry. One goal for Goreb. Vida with seven key passes and two assists. Padilla didn't really do a much. You, I don't imagine the UI will change too much. I mean, obviously it'll have to be ported to Unity. But I suspect that a lot of the work being done for Unity is going to be on or porting everything over and making the match I think the collision mechanics alone inside the matches is going to be one of the key things you're going to notice because it's going to be so much easier to model that in Unity oh not ideal but Henry what a start to the season he's had like I wasn't disappointed with him last year by any means he still scored like 31 goals but compared to Melman he was off the pace considering he's our technically our main striker this year though 10 and 5 a solid start you might say oh shall at lost damn it be the same I'm um, I honestly hope they're not, because if the UI and the PC and the console version are the same, then that means that the PC one's going to be much worse. And I really would hate that to be the case. Like The fact is, console UIs have to be more simplified because you're using it with buttons rather than a mouse and stuff, right? So if the PC and the console one are the same, then I would be very annoyed, because that would mean that it's going to basically de dumb down the PC version. You can't really... There's no real middle ground there for me. They are going to have to have different UIs. Otherwise, yeah, concerning times. Right, Thursday, though. It's the big day bit of ragdoll physics yeah i want my player to get absolutely murked and then fly up in the air and spin around there's gonna be some hella good glitches in it though which is gonna be fun to colliding actual models like yeah exactly it's gonna be so damn cool better awesome with the salts from last year um 
I don't know, you know. It's... Is it? Is that who we'd be playing? By the way, I actually reali didn't realise we were going to be playing them. Oh yeah, Shatzard and Yesk. Or Bodder. The fact is, I think we should be capable of beating either of them. Given how well it's 72 million pounds, by the way. Liverpool have bid on Marathon Man. Yep, he's gone to Preston. I think we should be able to take... Alright, here we go. Wednesday game, for some reason. Hamrun at home to Sparta Trinava. If they don't lose this game, they're in the group stages of something. That's it. Come on, I beg of you. Just don't fuck this up. Because I know they'll just draw severe in the Conference League if they got knocked down. Uh, so Napradak, Kushevets. Come on, pray with me. Mustafa Podcast. Yesterday. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't watch any of the race yesterday. I was at dinner. I was sat there eating a mixed grill while all that was happening. It was bloody delicious. Mr. Hazy, thank you for the 17 Bugatti, months. Bugatti, Bugatti, three wide finish at Atlanta. Yeah. Sucks Hope that I missed you're that race. good, Matto. I'm terrific. I'm just looking forward to watching the Vegas race later. It must be because of the... Um... We'll come back to this because I've got to see what Hammer and get up to. Come on, come on, come on. Don't fuck this up, Hammer and Please, I beg of you. Okay, we, we get that. To the surprise of nobody. FM, you're really, like, teasing me here. Oh! They are through. Hammer and are in the group stages of the Conference League at the minimum, but they... Didn't half have to work for it there. Two all draw in the end, which means they must have lost in normal time. And frankly, played like trash. But Armando Perez, the guy we loaned to them in between the two rounds, gets the goal that sends Hamroon through to the knockout, sorry, to the group stages of something. Oh, the great thing is it doesn't even matter who they play. We'll obviously check, but uh, in fact, I might not even know who they play yet because... Yeah, because technically their round is slightly before. So we'll find out after the next round of matches. That's dope. The question is, will Hibernians be joining them? Yeah, Lucic's injury is not ideal. But the fact that we loaned them Armando means that they're going to have a great replacement for somebody on there anyway. Right. Okay. So we've got Goodyear against Lask. That's dead, isn't it? It's just Hibernians. Do not lose by two goals. That is your one job, lads. Do not lose by two goals. Uh, that's Watara again. Language course, good to know. Saura. All right, we take that. Uh, Oratory, good old Don Bosco's lads. Imagine if Goodyear pulled it out of the bag. I mean, stranger things have happened in these saves. Just, I think that one's maybe a bit of a stretch. It'd be good if they Hibernian played Hibernians. Mm. Right. Scouting me. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a sec. Right. That's Europa League. Gudja did beat them. They went down swinging. They got a win for the coefficient. Panazio and Matthew side again. Fair fucking play. The fact that Gudja are capable of beating someone like Lask in a single match. And frankly, that first leg should have been probably a 2-1 defeat. They're a bit unlucky. Although, frankly, this one's... Yeah. Fair fucking play. Right. The question is... Fuck off. It's so typical, isn't it? To w oh, that was the easy one! God damn it, man. Oh, well, we wanted to get a team... Oh, they were truly awful in that game as well. That's so annoying. To win, They won the first leg so comfortably as well. They just didn't bother turning up. Oh, the worst thing is, let's see who they would have got. Mulder. They'd have lost to Mulder, probably. But the fact is, that wasn't even a difficult tie for them. Who would Lask have got? Oh, no. If they'd have got past Lask, they'd have got Batty Borisov. We actually could have had a chance. Oh, but it's beginning. And we've still got Hamron. Right? Who will play. No one yet, because that's the wrong round. Oh. Right. <laughs> we'll have to go to the 12th for that, which is odd. Uh, but we'll go back and do that scouting report first, though. Oh. They, to be fair, they did not. You're right. You 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 speak the truth. They did not lose by two. They lost by three. Hello, Dan. What did you think of the game yesterday? Uh, hi, FM. This is all just the New Caledonia players in here, isn't it? Oh, dear. It's two days before the game again. Yeah, that's really weird. They need to look at that. I'd have thought that's the sort of thing that would have been fixed by the update, but I guess not. Uh, that's the guy who was the late bloomer. You're a 22-year-old Algeria who would want a lot of money. You want quite... Oh, these are the guys from uh, Bacada Manga, aren't they? 
Very average, but I wouldn't pay 900k. Yeah, I watched the highlight stand, which is what I could really get to because I was out to lunch yesterday, but bloody hell. It's surprising that we're able to do... Oh, hello, he could be a freebie. I think it would depend heavily with him what contract... Because it would be an opportunity for us to maybe... If he wants like a lower... Nah, he wants an important player. I think he might be worth signing anyway. Just to sell and flip. Like, because now we actually have to do things. Now that our values are basically nothing, we do kind of have to think about bringing in players solely to flip for cash. And he feels like the type of player that is exactly that. He's way too expensive, isn't he? It really has. And the fact that we won both of those games down without Joao Polina is actually just really kind of comforting in many ways. Because Lukic seems to have finally stepped up, which is nice. It's just about bloody time, isn't it, really? Hamron, they, they got through. They are through. Uh, Melman's happy to stay now. So that's everyone happy to stay, I think. I believe. Yep, everyone's happy again now. Good times. I think Gary O'Neill definitely deserves the plaudits as well. Like what he's done with Wolves, particularly with the way that I went with Bournemouth, has been fantastic. Um, but you're right. I feel like he does... Some, Silver does sort of get forgotten sometimes. So for huge profit... Well, yeah. I mean, we won't even need to do the sell. You, bear in mind, sometimes with the freebies, you can bring them in and sell them immediately. Like, bring them in. The moment they join you, hire an intermediary, sell them straight away. We could probably get a million pounds out of that guy. Sell of Mitrovic. Honestly, I don't think it would have been that much different. Like, maybe slightly better, but we've still got a decent amount of goals from our strikers. It's just not been one striker. Like, Muniz is now finding form. And he's young. He's hungry. He's not got glass ankles. I don't know. I'm actually kind of glad now. We got lots of money for Mitrovic. I think Iwobi strengthens the team. But want to be a farmer? Maybe. I mean, that would be the dream. Yeah, in fact, I won't even ask Vida. I'll just say to him, crack on, big man. Uh, Loma would be really good for you. Yeah, it would. Maybe that would actually attract interest from other sides. Now, immediately, Cole and Stuttgart have come in for him, which is not what we want. Um, but I can devlist him through this. And then offer him out for loan to Maltese sides and see if we could get a bit. Because imagine like him at Hammering or something. That'd be dope. Farker deserves more credit. Uh, who's Farker managing in the Premier League? I mean, I was specifically talking about the Premier League here, but like. Oh dear. Murata. Oh, damn. No evolution thing is my league doesn't get better. 50 million, but nobody even wants to join me. My board won't invest in youth facilities. Better rivals. Oh, what should I do? Um, so how's the loan farm sorting? out have you got one for example and when if you did when did, if you or do when did you start doing it because that's so crucial to building a nation saves is the loan farm like we thought that it might be less important this year but if anything it seems like it's more important any new ones i think that's all the same as before right these don't look any different to before which is odd it does show you the sort of level he's at yeah i mean maybe they'd want him as a then again if it's a loan they wouldn't be signing in a loan goal unless it's like a kind of they want him as a backup on a loan which is weird Unless it's because he's German, he'd count as homegrown for them, maybe. I'm still hoping he declares for Malta one day. That'd be the dream. Oh, you can do that? Oh, of course I can, yeah. Although I think it would have been... Oh, no, I can't now, because obviously when he went on the dev list, it would have immediately cancelled the loan offers. That's some more people in for a big Richard. He might now kick off, which he will. So we're not going to have someone else upset, but we'll ask Vida. Maybe Vida can fix it. He's not going to fix it. No. Uh, let's see. He's not... Uh, Cameron Lend. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, well. We've got an upset goalkeeper for a little bit. He's not going to play any worse than he already is, right? <laughs> He's not had the best time of it so far this season anyway. So I'm not going to hold that against him. Right. Uh, Melman's got a slight knock, which means this time I am going to go... No, Melman. Going to go for Farner because Melman can't play like that. Goreb. Basala and Lignon again. Nah, I feel like Del Castillo's got to be back in now. And I feel bad for Bessie because I gave him a brand new contract. And now, nah, actually, let's persist with Rob Hilton. I want to build this trio up. But yeah, because we're playing Shakhtar and Fafana's actually insanely good as a strike as an out and out striker. And he's got that pace as well. And I feel like Watara, honestly, could he's not the best with his passing here, but I still think he can do a job in there. Yeah, but Fafana's left footed, and I don't want him playing on the right. I don't want them playing on their wrong feet here, and I don't want to swap the tactic around for no reason. Heriterie. Uh Which one's Heriterie? I do remember the name. I just can't remember where from. Is he on the bench? Oh, that's his first name. Sorry, my bad. Uh, he's not a striker. He literally can't play as a striker. Well, he can, but 
Uh, he could do the job. Ah, fuck it. Now, I'm going with this. I think this should be enough. I just want them being on the right foot in the system they're happy with. Fafana's looked really good in this role. He actually got an underrated amount of goals last season, considering he... Hi, FM. Can you... See, FM, I'm trying to get... There we go. <laughs> like, last year, he only actually started 12 games, but he got 10 goals and 6 assists. He was mostly a super sub, but I like this. Right, let's go. Let's see him over Goreb. No, Goreb is actually a really good AP. He got so many assists last season for us. I think he got 16, which is why I extended his contract. And in a game like this, I kind of just want to go best foot forward, and I feel like he is that for the time being anyway. Uh, the way I'm going to do is have a quick wee before we get into the Shakhtar game, because I'm needing a... I'm Boston. Right, uh, I don't even need to mute myself. I just need to start the advert. Uh, where's my button? Right, back in the sec chat. You know what to do. Well, sort of. <laughs> Listen and learn. <laughs> my cardiac arrest. Truly all I remember was running down a football pitch, and then just everything goes black. I believe the ability to perform CPR is a crucial thing that people should learn. I believe that the Reviver app is a really simple and easy way to learn CPR and a new skill that could potentially save someone's life is just incredible. Minute on this one, then we switch it. All right, hold it there, gents. All right, boys, great session, okay? Today, there's a bit of a surprise for you, so it's not going to be your ordinary training session. <laughs> How you doing, man? How are you doing? Graham Sinesh. Hey guys. How are you? I'm a, an ambassador for the British Heart Foundation. And at the age of 33, I was diagnosed with coronary artery disease, which led me to have a triple bypass operation. So I'm here to talk to you today about CPR. The British Heart Foundation have devised this course, Reviver. It's 15 minutes long and it may save a life. Maybe one of you will perform CPR on someone and save a life. All you need is a pillow and a phone. Come on, let's do it, let's go. I'm going to tell you how to give basic life support. You're going to come across someone with heart issues in your life. I've never done it before, so <laughs> It's 15 minutes of your time. If you get this palm onto it and force this back down. Good man. Yeah, More or less, you have to go two a second. Yeah. So you can't see the patient breathing. No, they're not breathing. So you got it. <laughs> well done. Well, did we learn anything? Yeah. Yes. When you go home and you have a quiet moment, please have a look at it. You may just save a life one day. In just 15 minutes, the length of a half time, you can learn the skill so important it could save someone's life. Before I go, every one of you is going to have a pair of these shin pads. And on the back, it'll tell you how to do CPR. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your patience. Yes. <laughs> and we back, chat. Uh, yeah, I can do it manually, but you have to give me the... The, if you just tell me what the song is, because I can't use the um the code weird, I'll just refund you. Oh no, I'll accept your points. If you just tell me what the song is, I can add it manually. Obviously, it counts as um. It is a really important thing. Yeah, that, that's why I was happy to get involved in the campaign, and thank you for all being okay with it. Well, what I would say is it. Oh boy, does it hit the numbers more than like a normal whiz quiz. Let me tell you. Uh, but like, like I said, I can't the link. I can't click the link. It doesn't open in my Spotify. It will just open in a window that I can't access. I need like the song name or something. on the left side and vice versa, because I just like them shooting across the goalkeeper. There's a reason why your assistant always tries to put them on the correct foot. Like, the foot on the side that they're on. That's the reason. Um, like, I like a left-footed player on the left-hand side. Tesseract. Ooh, Tesseract. Uh, I love that my most recent search on those fucking clates. <laughs> uh, there we go. Right. Add to Q. Nice. Sorted. Got that as well. Okay, right. This should... I mean, I say that. Shakhtar are a good side. They're the kind of team that we come up against in some of these, and you, you do wonder about. And in a marathon, no way. Central so left now living the best... There you go, exactly. I mean, I don't know if you were around, Keith, when I talked about my neighbour. or my, Sorry, not my neighbour. My parents' neighbour um, a couple of years ago. Just 
relatively fit dude used to do like marathons and stuff and then one day he just collapsed and because his wife was a former police officer and she obviously learned all that sort of stuff in the force and she was able to basically do cpr until the ambulance arrived and pretty pretty much they said it was like if you hadn't have been able to do that he wouldn't be with us today and he is so that's why i think it's such an important skill to learn that's why i was so happy to get involved in a campaign like that basically so if you are interested that link there you just saw in chat um it's like a 15 minute course it just teaches you it great skill is yeah literally also asmr chat Mm. Delicious. Gorib's nervous, which is a bit concerning. What I also find is if I have players that are really strong on one foot and not on the other, if they're on the, the wrong side, I find that they have to end up cutting back into traffic a lot of the time. We just get a lot of shots blocked outside the UK. As far as I know, it does, yeah. It's it's just to learn. It doesn't need to be like UK centric, as far as I know. It's just a, a link with the course on. I, I don't hold me to that, but I think that's the case anyway. It'd be a bit weird if it was like geo locked. Sorry, you're not allowed to learn CPR. <laughs> as far as I know, it's not. Ooh. It's a three o'clock kickoff in the Champions League, chap. Um, it's weird seeing the Champions League games in the daylight. Just general. Still teaching. Is that, that's awesome. Yeah. Like it's the Cambridge Half Marathon today in town. And oh my God. I had to drive Pog to work this morning because... The car park where she normally parks is basically not accessible. And the trains have got rail replacement buses today. And then I couldn't get out of Cambridge because they shut the bastard road after I went into town. So I had to come this massively long way home. Jesus. It was it was not a fun time. That tree, yeah, it's the, I thought maybe, oh, I had like the, the render distance or the draw distance turned right down or something when we were trying to, at the start of the save. I, let, I looked and I had it set to maximum. Crazy. I kind of want to see this tree now because I don't actually. Which corner is it in? That one or the other corner over there? I really want to see the Minecraft tree, damn it. For British hearts, damn it. Yeah. Oh, nearly. Oh, nice. Yes. Maybe we. Oh, it might be one of those ones we can only see because it's on the reverse view when the players are walking out. Near left. Also, this side over here. Oh, oh, near left. Right. Okay. Please don't concede immediately. Come on. Mm. Oh, yeah, as you should, yeah. Oh my god, that was close. We got away with that one a little bit there. Like, Pog's been thinking about what she wants to do career-wise, and she really actually wants to learn a trade, which I think is fucking sick, frankly. And I'm just like, just go for it. Like, right, it's never too old. You're never too old to change these sort of things and actually pursue something you want to do. What did you miss? Well, speaking of Austria, uh, an Austrian side knocked Goodyear out of the uh, Conference League, but only just. They actually did lose to them at one point as well. Well, for father is... I must admit, a bit all over the place in this game. He keeps making runs beyond and then forgetting the ball needs to actually come with him. Right, that's the pass. Now find him. There he is. Fafana on his left foot. Bang. I, I just like them shooting from that particular... Oh, he's offside. Or is he? No, he actually is. Right, I've got to check the Alan Titchmarsh tree. Let's go. I'll just hide my own face with my own face. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah. Daylight. Just okay. general. <laughs> Still teaching. That's awesome. Yeah. Daylight. Just general. Still teaching Mr. That's apples! Awesome. Yeah. Probably not apples from that tree, I don't think. But Just thank you very general. much for the three months. What on earth? Still teaching <laughs> See, you wouldn't get that in Unity chat, let me tell you. Oh dear, thank you so much, though. That's really, really kind. That's was going to say, Minecraft is like, how dare you? Oh dear. That's unfortunate. That looked onside to me. But it is offside. I'm just not used to having VAR. This is the first round that we actually get it. Today, young lad, it's true. Oh, no, he is offside. Just. Good run, though. Good finish. At least he's putting them away. I keep telling Paul that she should just go for it, right? I think it'd be cool. Right, come on, Watara. Oh, he's gone for the crest on the bike. That's ambitious. Maybe a little bit unnecessarily ambitious at that point, truthfully told. Unity trees. Well, hopefully they'll get the best quality. They'll they'll buy the expansion packs for Unity trees to get the real good quality ones, chat, you know? So at least everyone in the squad is currently happy, minus the goalkeeper. Although that is an important part of it. Uh, that's an interesting pass, actually, Palacio. Why did I get the feeling they were going to bugger that up? Well, actually, they might still. We're keeping a lot of pressure on them here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's 1-0 to Sirens. And Fafana's just, well. Well. Uh, they did, in fact, bugger it up. You can just sometimes sense it. Like, what is he doing here? Oh, let me just play this straight into Fafana's path. Like, who is that to? 
Well, we got a free goal. Mega bugger, yes. Just like Megabus, but somehow worse. Oh, we'll take that. We lead away from home. Fafana scored his first of the year. Melbourne's having a little rest. It's all good. I'm still... I want to see some more... Actually, I'd like to see another goal from Henry today, just to keep him moving on that insane momentum he's already under. And maybe another assist out of Vida. See how quick... Look at this Palacio. Oh! Christ on a bike. Right, here we go. This is Vida. Vida territory. Can he find the right pass? Yes, he can. Oh, that should have been a goal. Grave. Go on, have a shot. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. We create some good stuff, let me tell you. Like... I really like some of our build-up play. Both of our wing-backs now have this really lovely ability to just sort of... I don't know. They seem to be able to sit players down on their ass way more than they were before. Both Vida and Palacio seem to have this lovely dribbling ability. See what Vida's got up his sleeve this time. Are they going to bugger it up again? I feel like Shakhtar are about to screw... Oh, maybe not. Might actually work for them this time. Playing it all the way out from the back. It might have just been like there was like a gap on the end of that piece of music or something. He does that sometimes. Oh, no, you're right. Spotify's... For some reason, Spotify's died on your end, chat. That's super weird. Um? Like, I can still hear it. But it's randomly died on your side of things. Yeah! That's really weird. You Chat, you're not doing the Voddy experience. Let me just check. Uh, let me check the advanced audio properties. See what's happening. All right, Spotify. Uh, that's super strange. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, it's just randomly stopped showing any audio. Did it never come back? That's so wet. Very weird. I... Don't know what to do about that. Let me just check the audio controller. See if I can find something here. One sec. Does that work? Yeah, no, I had... There's an audio controller scene that I had to do... To, had to go over to check something. But it's still not working it. Um, yeah, I don't know what I can do about that chat, unfortunately. We might just have to go sans music for a little bit because I can't put any music on if there isn't any. Uh, <laughs> that's really, really odd. I've never seen that happen before. Um, yeah. It's... I can still hear the music. That's so very strange. Here's a fun fact. <sighs> Voltaire contracted syphilis huh. just two blocks from here. It's very odd, though. Clemens, thank you very much for the follow. Did you hear the alerts at least, chat, then? Or is it only Spotify that's gone? That's really, really strange. I'll just sing it to you. I, I can't sing Tessa, right? Man's voice is way too high for that, Chato. That's really odd. You heard the alert, so that just must be Spotify. It's just randomly gone then. How very bizarre. I've never seen that happen before. Let me try and restart Spotify. I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. I can't obviously restart the stream. What a strike, by the way. That is from Grave. Turn on the FM crowd noise quick. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can definitely... I can still see it. That definitely works, right? Tabbed out? Uh, hang on. Tabbed out of what? Spotify's an app. It's not, like, tabbed into anything. It's not... Spotify's not on a tab. It's just the Spotify app, you know? Uh, I've restarted Spotify. Let's try and load Spotify again, then. That's really odd. That's never happened before. Yeah, but it should... It's been captured inside my... Uh, let's try that. Yeah, it's totally blocking it. That's so weird. I've got Spotify back on now. How very strange. Annoyingly, I can't really do much to the audio controller file. Another go for Fafana. Until such time as... Like, otherwise, I have to go to that scene that's just blank for you lot. It'd be weird if they introduced it midway through the stream. Uh, is what I would say. And also, I don't know how they possibly know. Because it's in OBS that it's capturing it. Bear in mind, I'm not seeing any audio in OBS either. Like the, the little wave thingies that... Like, when I speak, it pops up, right? But Spotify's triggering nothing in there, which is really strange. So they can't control that. It could be some OBS silliness, yeah, but I don't want to restart OBS to find out, basically. Uh, because then I'd have to shut the stream off. And then, then we'd end up with double, like, double VODs, which is never good. 
Twitch can't separate music from voices or game sounds. Uh, no, but that's nothing to do with Twitch. This is just OBS's side of things. Um, it's in, it's not even recognizing that there's anything playing in OBS, potentially, yeah. How very odd. Let me just try something, chat. Yeah, I thought maybe switching to another scene that was normal. Other people are saying it's Twitch. Uh, Rooting messed up. Well, I mean, I don't know how it could have got messed up in the middle of a stream without me touching anything. Also, I don't use a GoXLR. But hang on. When they say other people are saying it's Twitch, in what way is it Twitch? Like, what method is... How is Twitch able to block my OBS inside my computer? That doesn't sound right to me from a kind of technical standpoint. <laughs> uh, let's try... Old Behemoth is in it, yeah. I thought maybe switching it scenes. So was it was it just not working when I came back from running that ad? <laughs> not, not switch. Oh right, sorry. Yeah. Um, hmm. Jeff, he's in there. He's in. Doing Jeff Bezzy things. Right. Let's try that. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Um, it was the tree video. <laughs> you could hear that. Rebroadcast, I suppose. But again, Spotify's still playing. Spotify doesn't know it's being captured. Like. Because it's just taking an audio source. And uh, now it's got all dodgy on this end as well. What the hell, FM? I wonder if it's just my computer. Spotify web player. I could, but then it wouldn't um, be captured properly. And I would have to. I wouldn't be able to upload the VOD. The, it would, the stream would immediately get copyright claimed if I did that. Because the web player is not being captured the same way Spotify is. Oh, it's another golf and Gray. So if I was to use the web player, it would come through the desktop audio file and that goes onto the VODs and then immediately Twitch would just block me. Can't capture OBS from like Netflix. True. Well, you probably can, honestly. But yeah, very, very strange. Like just happens in the middle of a stream. Oh no, we weren't expecting to win. Uh, this was the kind of game where we're like, oh, we might get through here. We'll get through here, but it'll probably be quite difficult. And yet here we are, 4 0 up in Ukraine and just chilling. It's very strange. It'll surely be fine, but hey, we'll see. I do apologize. Now you will get to be Voddies for a little bit. Not your words. No, I, I mean, I might just pause that for the time being, honestly, so that no one can suggest songs because otherwise they'll just be wasting their money um, until we figure it out again. Uh, so, request, just pause that for the time being. Very strange. Yeah, I don't think it's that. It's just a weird glitch, most likely. Literally, if I was just restart the PC, it'd probably be absolutely fine, but... What do you think of this song, chat? Can anyone guess what I'm listening to? <laughs> Boot up the royalty-free playlist. Um, true. Actually, yes, no, I could do that. Um, That would come through on the main stream, but it wouldn't matter, because... I can do that, actually, yeah. Pause that for the time being. Uh, hopefully I'm logged into Spotify. Great, it did play very well. Let me just load this up in the background and get you some kind of background music. And that means the Vodies will get some music for a little bit. Uh, Christ, it nearly started playing the same playlist. That could have been a moment. Uh, new stream playlist. Watch this be stupidly loud now. Except I have desktop audio set to no audio because... Let me just... Wait, is it not picking up desktop audio either? Oh my lord. No, I can't do that either, chat, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's weirdly decided... No, whatever, we move. <laughs> I'm not going to dick about with it for any longer. Um, very strange. To happen in the middle of the stream like that is very strange. But I will. Uh, let me just put my playlist back on again so I can at least hear it, I guess. It's just having a moment, yeah. It's probably just OBS or Spotify. Or something's being weird, right? Because basically it uses audio capture. So it captures sound from a specific sources. And then has another own little audio controller that I can use to root, basically. But the point is, it's not the rooting issue. It's just not displaying as if there's any sound going into it at all. That was the weird thing. Yeah, if it comes back on, we'll be fine. But I don't know why it would or wouldn't. It'll probably just be a case of... If I restarted OBS, it'd probably be fine. Or restarted my computer, but yeah. Then it'll break up. Oh, here we go. Good, you want a bit of Yasin. See? Quality. Wait, on a free? All right, I guess. We only paid 15 grand. Be a bit weird, though. I probably could have just loaned him. Back catalogue. I don't know. What's it? I don't know. We had a song called Back Catalogue. Uh, who? Oh, that's the goalkeeper guy, isn't it? Yeah. The tree clip. No, so the tree clip would be in Firefox. So the tree clip will still work. Let's have a look. 
That, that's awesome, yeah. Daylight. Just general. So Firefox is captured on a separate audio track. Because I know that we always play stuff through Firefox. That way I can have it at different, temp different temperatures. Quick restart. Um, no, because it'll break the stream up. And there's no such thing as a quick restart with this PC. Uh, I, yeah, I was expecting this to happen. Oh, wow. His value was just absolutely shat the bed. He was worth 8 million before. Even with, even after the drop in values, he was worth 8 million. Oh, great. Let me guess. You don't want to help me. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, the issue with... Oh, God. I can't restart the stream because it will split the VOD up and it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, like I said, OCD. Uh, you know, I'm not logged into Firefox on Spotify. Sorry, I'm not logged into Spotify on Firefox. And I haven't got my login details to hand. I'm not going to piss about trying to do that anyway. That's why I didn't do it. No one wants to go out alone. No, 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 no. No, you do, Mayhem. I promise. Oh, that's that's kind of annoying, actually. Hit song every three minutes. Yeah, you can check. I'm currently listening to that cover of Unstoppable, if you want to know. You just whack, whack your Spotify in the background yourselves, chat. You can have your, have your own musical backline for today. I realize it's confusing because I basically, my browser isn't actually Spotify. Uh, sorry. Well, obviously, my browser isn't Firefox. I use br Firefox as a browser solely for stream. That way, it's just like a fresh installation almost every single time. I normally use Brave. That's where everything's actually on, uh, which would explain why it wasn't coming through. Uh, right. We don't want any of that. Clubs to kind of make off of Vizniewski. Huh. That's disappointing. Oh, well. We move. Well, that, and it's just like, people end up accidentally doxing themselves so fucking easily with stuff like that. It's, I always wonder why streamers are so, like, incredibly bad at just privacy hygiene, I suppose. <laughs> it's crazy. Nerf all your playlists? No. Uh, well, that's crap. So, Palacio is the only one that seems to be gaining value at the moment. I have re I've turned on the request song or I think I did I swear I paused it uh, let me check yeah it's paused he's actually going well 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 okay he has gained money out of it I guess and to be fair he's a good player for Goodyear that's why they invented it. exactly but that's what Firefox essentially becomes for me anyway when we're streaming um, just means I'm not logged into stuff I don't think I am anyway. No, because I think it's that, there's that thing where you, every time you shut it, it just refreshes itself pretty much. Well, Tara says, no transfer sagas developing whatsoever. Thank you. Right. Slightly behind it. It's true, yeah. I'll let you know what the song comes on next. I'll tell you. It's, uh, we got what we got. We got B The Darkness by Built by Titan, if you want to keep an eye on it. Shame we can't do like a live jam listen party. So you just have put, you put the playlist on on your side. Uh, right, what's this? God, that's such a shitty bid as well. Right. Yeah, you can guess. I, I'll bop to the tempo and you can guess what I'm listening to. Wow, that's surprising, actually. We won't do them again, I guess. Never son I like. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Um, Dayseeker, Neon Grave. <laughs> you made me think about that. It's never put me on the, pro on the spot with questions like about songs. I'll be like, oh, God, so many options. Let's try that. Piece of, well, the playlist has never not been available. I think it's literally exclamation mark playlist. Um, but if you want the playlist, I'll, I'll just get the link for the playlist. Uh, but you just won't be able to get the exact timing I've got. Uh, That's the playlist I'm listening to right now. Hey, Owen. Yes, yeah, so that is actually the right playlist and everything. For once. It's a guy called Quentin Berger here, which I'm a big fan of. Also, oh, it's been sassy. And you are rubbish. I must have missed that badge. See the place for me. Uh, yep, it's in the queue. So it's it's definitely a, it's definitely an OBS thing. It's not like it to do with the links between them, because there isn't a link between Spotify and OBS. It's just capturing audio the same way it's capturing everything else. Just a weird little glitch there. JD FM ninety nine. Thank you very much for the follow. To break. <laughs> River plate lad. Yeah, he's a bit special, isn't he? Oh, passing as well. Oh, surely he wouldn't talk to us, right? Oh my god, he would. What the fuck? F 
as an AP, good on both feet, six foot one, unflappable. Oh, would I do four million? I could structure it. As long as they don't want like 10, I could structure it. We've got a big budget. I'm doing it. I'm doing flat 4.6 million. Cesar Vega, in you come. Flat out 4.6. It's a lot. It's our record signing, but he... I like that. And the wage is so cheap as well. If he wasn't on a cheap wage, I wouldn't think about it, but holy shit. He'd be perfect. Breakthrough prospect. My God. FM transfer bug. Which one? Oh, the two. Well, that's not. Firstly, that's not in it anymore. Um, thankfully. Uh, five. Pass is Argentinian, which means we can kind of. And about to get Champions League money. Precisely. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like we did really well in that first leg. Uh, optional. Oh, only. A, okay, five is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. We do. We move. I like that. He'd be a great pickup. No, he's never going to... He's going to be one of those guys that's like high CA, low PA. Well, not low PA, but like reasonable PA. Real Madrid drama. So what was the Real Madrid drama? Because someone mentioned it earlier, and obviously I didn't watch the game or anything, but I'm curious about what the drama was. So Hamron... Oh, they're playing Rangers. Hamron versus Rangers for a spot in the Europa League. Also, did we check the coefficients after that last round? Chat, we're currently the top team of the year. Uh, we are currently top of the coefficients on the year so far. 3.8 points, and we're not even out of the qualifiers yet. <laughs> Come on, Hamron. Okay, we'll see some good stuff there. Referee that was for full time as Real Madrid were mid cross winning goal rolled. Oh my god, that is some shady shit. But I guess I guess there isn't a violin small enough as Real Madrid. <laughs> but yeah, that does sound shady as fuck. Uh Tolima? Oh, bit of neon grave now. Thank you, Vaughn. How kind. Oh, no, it's way better to have Hammer in the Conference League. What Best case scenario would be them losing heavily in Scotland and then just winning like 1-0 in the away game, so we in the home game, so we still get the coefficient points. Hmm. Obviously, calls a lot of... What, Juba sent off? Wow. Oh, Christ, Hammer and Drew. <laughs> Hammer and actually Drew with Rangers. Have we created a monster? Nieto was man of the match. That was the guy that we got from... Fuck, who was it? A Real Oviedo. Um, right, I mean, it's more coefficient points, but are we actually good now? Ireland have overtaken us again. Good, sweet Jesus. Okay. They better lose in Scotland. Uh, we got no one in this round, do we? Because they both fucked it up. Oh, that... Them losing to Zalesnichar is so annoying. Because that would have been such an... Well, not an easy game against Mulder, but I feel like that was actually... And that one there too. The Irish team's doing... They're doing very well. Uh, Shamrock, as far as I know, only just went out of the Europa... Uh, the Champions League. They're in the Europa League playoff. They're very likely to be in the group stage. Uh, I can add another player, but it's annoying that we can't add new guy. So I can't add him here. We will have a spot for him, but... Wait, what? You only just signed for us. Just in case. <laughs> We'll trigger the claws just in case. Don't know if you'll even be able to do that. Crusaders in here. I think they might be. I think I've seen their name basled, basled around? Batted about. Uh, let's see. Underpaid. You're not underpaid, though, are you? You're literally a fringe player. End of the season. Piss off. Fine. Luckily, I've extended his contract anyway. So he's now got four years left on it anyway. We'll see. Seven grand. I mean, come on, bring it down a bit, bud. There we go. Retires under. Oh, that's cool. So we can just swap those two out. That'll be fine. Yeah, they saw the Ian move to Preston. He's an important player. I'll be just try and get that down a regular star, just in case. Always best to have it on the low. Wow, 6k. Have you got caps for Senegal? You do, don't you? Three. I wonder if I could maybe sneak in that with that. No, okay. Let me get rid of that. I reckon I can probably blah, blah, probably can with like a higher agent fee. There we go. It's always nice to have a boat in there. It is dumb that he's not even been at the club for seven months and he's already asking for a new contract. It's like, I just signed you to a five-year contract. You've been here seven months and you want a new contract. 
Right, Watara, again, no. Value's still not budging on him, unfortunately. Right. Uh, right, so he's got that extension. Union Sunsha. Oh, wow. That's not a team we want to look at. Right, any newbies? No, that was just dead as fuck. No recommendations. Three near misses. Why does it not... Like, why does the near misses thing not show the useful information for you? Manager profile. Oh, it's... um. I imagine it's a fair amount. Let me check. In fact, it should be... But, oh, they, no, they should do. The value should go back up again. I mean, they already are on some players who are getting bids on them and stuff. So that just seems to be how it works. It's just very annoying that they drop in the first place. Uh, it's under history, isn't it? Players bought 339. That's a lot of players. How they performing game? I don't know. I think it's just... What often happens is... If you bring in a player on a fringe player contract and then you play them for a run of matches, they go, hang on a minute, I'm no longer a fringe player. Please give me a contract that meets this requirement. It's like, yeah, but you can't... It means that they basically don't get a chance to develop because they insist on having a contract that matches their current playing time, even if they're a player that you're slowly weaning into the team. And it's a little bit annoying because it never seems to work the other way around. If you start taking them out of the team, they're never like, oh, you better drop my contract down, boss. It's like, <laughs> they just complain about it. Yeah, that highest fee there for Staver is not going to last very long when the new guy comes in. Hopefully he does actually join us. Oh, go away then, Fika. Yeah, Palacio is now getting bids of up to £6 million now. But Vega's in. Cesar Vega is in the hoose. We can't register him, annoyingly, for the Shakhtar game. But he will be able to come in for the group stages because we've got lots of gaps. Have some knowledge of your wage money. Yes. Um, to be fair, oh, wait. Wow, actually, that bloody hell. Like, we've got tons of um, wage budget available. That PA is not bad, is it? He's sensational. Yeah, he's actually got a bit of a ceiling to him. And look, a bit of value. Who didn't, Who knew? Right, what do we need? Ball control? What's off the ball, actually? Let's just check. I forget which one off the ball is. Because ball control would get his dribbling up. But what is... He's the one for off the ball. Movement. Uh, movement? Oh, attacking movement. My apologies. Ah, yes. Okay. Because we need his off the ball to get up a little bit. I feel like his dribbling isn't super important yet, but his, his off the ball is. I really like him. I'm amazed he would join us for his little money on his contract side of things, but I think he's definitely our starting AP now. With that passing and vision, good on both feet. Six foot one. Lovely. Never leave money in the wage budget. Yeah, the problem is I don't think I can actually move any of it. No, I'm not allowed to put any more into the transfer budget, unfortunately. <laughs> that's, the mo that's the maximum I can push over there. You're right. He will ask for a pay rise in a week and a half when... Because he's considered a breakthrough prospect, which means that when he's playing football matches, where he will essentially not be a breakthrough prospect, he will just demand loads of money. You're right, yeah. Uh, and doing out of it. What the fuck? You have made six substitute appearances, in fairness. What is your squad status? Important player. Mm. Um, this is the problem when you've got two players that are equally good in that position. But the fact is, Vida's just better at the moment. You've got a long contract. While he's upset, we're going to make the... We'll take advantage of this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Surely you couldn't do it. Wait. Hang on. Wait. Does that mean I get... You rescout the team report. Uh, because I want that for next year. So once you get the report in, you send it to the back of the queue, and then by the time it's come back around again, it's got new players in it. Otherwise, you've got to go doing through it. You've got to go through and do it manually, one by one, every single club, every single year. It's just way quicker to do it individually, like... Uh, like as each report comes through, and they just keep the convey belt moving. Uh, so, Yong Dong Suk, Yong Dong Suk has got his Maltese language lesson sorted. I need to get up to like a lot more of them. That's something I was actually going to do after the last stream, but I forgot. Um, I think I ended up getting distracted because the winter update dropped, and then I was playing Bellatro because, of course, I was. Uh, Tiwa Sugar, they've actually got players at least, but just not one that we can really do anything with. Any fun names in here while we're there? Peter, Peter Datius, good stuff. Force players out. Um, I just go for uh, intermediaries at this point, right? Actually, we're asking. No, no, no. 
it's just a case of, bear in mind those reports do only last though for um 30 days but the, the reason i do it is just so that it goes to the back of the queue it works better when you've got more reports i, I really should get some more in there to make it would have been funny as fuck if vida was one of those players uh, as usual it's players that don't play for us that complain about other players not playing which actually logically does make sense like they're not playing either so they're just in support of a teammate who also isn't playing it's fine they'll all be unemployed soon and it won't matter i'm still a little bit concerned that hammering might actually beat rangers which is not a, se a sentence i thought i was going to be saying at the start of the day honestly but here we are it does concern me slightly though if they were to get through because i don't fancy their chances in the europa league somehow like getting there would be great for rep and they'd get lots of money but i feel like there's better ways they could be spending that right now yeah the reserves are standing up for this the reserves union uh what do i want to do here melbourne's back now so we'll swap those two over it's interesting who's gone those sides this time around throw the game i can't throw their game <laughs> i can't make hammering throw the game just have a little then again if anyone's gonna throw a game it's gonna be hammering right it's what they do bit of that we just schedule a friendly against them the day before from one of those random transfers and force them to have to play it uh oh yeah says i couldn't be registered for this game could he no they would never do anything like that that'd be silly right okay God, i love that we won four consider because we were having all the issues with spotify during that game the fact that we won four nil in ukraine has kind of gone under the radar a little bit there just <laughs> i'll just get fmrte up just kill their entire team uh right we can't lack complacency because i actually like despite the fact that it feels like we've been playing quite poorly we have actually produced pretty much good results in every single match thus far anyway we haven't actually lost or drawn a game so far have we so it's looking like maximum coefficient points for us at least and it looks like that with a few exceptions we should be able to get into the group stages pretty much every single time was that a did you guys just hear a follow alert but just one didn't pop up there we go palmer Kayser, thank you very much for the follow that was really strange my feed was really delayed there it'll probably pop up in a minute i'm from, I'm from the uk my friend let me try and whack there we go why is there a one people? right good point hadrian yeah there's one next week as well um and i don't really know why because notice that the manchester derby letter is on at 3 30 instead of 4 30 I, I don't understand why. Is it because of, like, daylight savings? But, like, really odd. Yeah, but it's like that next week, too. And I, don't, I had to look, look through the schedule earlier on Flash Score to see if there was any other like that. And then it goes back to normal the week after next. Really strange. No, we definitely didn't expect to waltz past Shakhtar. Oh, we got another one. Henry now has 11 goals in the Champions League, and we are not even into it proper. Police changed it. Well, they changed both games for both weeks, but why these games? I'm just curious as to why they changed both of these games on the, the Sunday and then why two games next Sunday as well. Because there's a one o'clock kickoff next Sunday as well. I've not seen that happen for the rest of the season. Right. Hmm. Strange. Clock change 35. Yeah, I don't know then. Yeah, you, you only get trouble at four o'clock kickoffs. If it's at three, you're fine. It's like how you could take your mask off to eat when there was COVID around because it, it won't get you when you're eating. But I assume the United one then, then meant that the Burnley one got changed as a result of that one because they had to televise them both and they were going to clash otherwise, right? Uh, we move indeed, yeah. Sky, yeah, Sky probably changed the other one because otherwise they wouldn't be able to televise it, would they? Vida. Oh, little short pass from Vida boy. Oh, look at that from Melman. I'm excellent, Palmer Casey. How are you, my friend? It is now for Burnley ball in the fans. Particularly because I don't, when, it, when was it changed? Because like, these things are normally not like done long in advance they're normally just thrust on fans as always uh that was actually quite poor from us <laughs> that was it not working distracted by the food i mean to be fair i normally am oh so it's just it's just complete coincidence that they happen to be both in consecutive weeks and then for because of that it then gets the earlier televised game bumped up to one o'clock as a result that makes sense it's weird how there's no more for the rest of the season after that it's just these two in two weeks in a row War Prowse for free. How old is War Prowse at that point? Thrusting on that wall. <laughs> I mean, it is the FA. Mm. 
we are playing reasonably okay, but as usual, struggling to find the back of the net. Right, here we go. Come on. Melman's not played for a few games in Europe, so I want to see him get a goal today. And he's done exactly that. What about that run from Henry? It's a shame he's not going to get credited with the assist. But Melman now bangs another one. We're doing well. 345. That's even more specific and odd. Three point, I mean, that's still a hell of a good rate. But look at this from Watara. Just keeps on going. Then outside of the right foot, bounces up off the goalkeeper. And Melman's got a freebie. Now those 50 hey as you know hadrian no crime can happen in that 15 minute period it's ru it's the rules we're six nil up against shaktar over two legs here in the playoff round i get the feeling that teams are going to be massively scared of us until such time as we just get a guaranteed group stage spot because we're still entering quite early rounds and we could as we continue to progress start to get some quite massive results against teams particularly some of the worst ones in those early rounds i wouldn't be surprised if within the next couple of years before we get a chance to get like slightly more progression we don't put like 20 goals past the team in one of the earlier rounds like if we draw another estonian side again well yeah if we were to draw that team crime double crime oh double crime you be careful double crime you'll go to double jail and you won't like that please don't concede to them randomly they haven't had a shot yet that's actually a really good save. Oh, they have had a shot. I take it back. To be fair, we actually... The game against Salzburg looked better for us than it was just because of that red card they got that allowed us to kind of run away with it a bit, a bit towards the end. Two crimes to make it right. True. Right. But yeah, you're right. It has. I think Salzburg might be slightly stronger than Shakhtar because like, Salzburg are a side that we've regularly seen get to the knockouts in the Champions League in these saves. Whereas I feel like Shakhtar don't do that anywhere near as frequently. But even so, you wouldn't have expected us to... Like, the fact that we're beating them 2-0 in the home game and looking pretty comfortable, that feels like the sort of result I was expecting, not winning 4-0 away from home. Although that is shocking there. Vida's... Oh, what a save! Damn. Yeah. Like, Salzburg are no mugs. That's why I was expecting to get knocked out by them last time. Richard is doing a bloody excellent job at keeping us in this. Maybe he did deserve that new contract after all. Oh, that was Tunkara, wasn't it? I get confused. We've got a lot of Senegalese players. We have started just giving up chances, though, which does suspect... Guikune is definitely better than Burn. I hate to say it, but he has really stepped in. Well, we got on the knockouts last year. I don't see why we couldn't do it. I do see why. I don't think we're quite on that level, truth be told. Like, I know we got it last year, but we had some very lucky results in order to get to that point. Nice. Like, especially the Atletico game. That was very fortunate. Then again, we also had some other games that were quite unfortunate. Like that winning, the draw against Zagreb, the draw against Fenerbahce. Stop developing at 3.5. Oh, nice. So does it actually say, Dino, uh, sorry, Dino, on the player's page, late developer? Because the game actually has a designation that tells you if they are one of those. So we've actually found one at, I think he's, I think he's at Star, it's uh, Der Seferovic. So the game will actually tell you. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? They're still very rare, but it's nice that they actually exist. I'd like to have one for us. Maybe Cesar could be him. I mean, he's only 21, but he's still got a lot of ground to make up in his um, abilities in the meantime. Oh, that's unfortunate. This has definitely got goal in stoppage time written all over it, hasn't it? Except it's disallowed. Never mind. That's cool. Uh, so the guy I found was, I think, 28, but that's because he may have already been developed by that point. I think it kind of keeps it. Castillo could be one, although I think they still need the potential to make that happen, right? I'll see if the group says it won't have improved much, Johnny. Like, it will have improved, but not to the point where it matters, because in order to get any kind of noticeable gains in the Champions League pots, you need to be, like, top 20, really. And we're not even close to that. I think we're, like, 60th. But we won the game. We kept a clean sheet. Again, Richard thoroughly deserved that. They, yeah, that's the thing. They need the PA. And I don't know if they do have the PA. But I feel like someone like Cesar could have that. Because he clearly does have the PA. Uh, so Porto through. Gathas right out. Young boys knock out again. Wow, fair play. This is the... Yeah, this was the final playoff round. Doesn't matter. Um, You're right. It doesn't really know. Um, because you're going to have to play 2 pot 1, 2 pot 2, 2 pot 3, and 2 pot 4 teams. No matter what seeding you get anyway. So... There's really no advantage to it, other than it shows you're climbing, right? So Tunkara does get a new contract. He's happy with that. Right. Th oh, God. 
right, it's 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 Thursday's game with Hamroon that scares me because they are unironically quite close to maybe getting into the Europa League, and I really don't want that. I want them in the Conference League. Liverpool have signed Marathon Man for 79, 72 million pounds. That's... Oh, the worst thing is, I really like this guy, and now we're going to play against him for Liverpool constantly in this save, and he's going to be shit. View. Uh, which view? Final play around. Uh, Hamrun Zabar Goodyear. Hang on, sorry, I'm confused as to what, what the question is. How are we going to watch? Oh, no, no, we're not going to watch the game. Plus, I've, I still think there's some stuttering issues with that. I can't remember if that's true or not. Uh, let's see. Well, if he doesn't play, maybe there's a chance we can pick him up later. The problem is that he's got... He'll be on a high salary, and it means that the likelihood of him actually wanting to join us is kind of zilch. Uh, still all the new Caledonian players. God damn it, Matt. Oh, actually, he looks... Still pretty horrendous, let's be honest. Right. All the reasonables. We'll whack a bit of that in there as well. Loan him back. Loan who back? How do they do? Uh, Hammer are still in it. Uh, Goodyear are out. Zabal were never in it in the first place. Um, so we had... Goodyear got knocked out by Lask very closely. Hibernian should have won, but they got knocked out in the end, which was a pain. Uh, these guys are all terrible. And not super cheap either. I'll be around now. Uh, oh, hello. 20 a million. Oh, 3.4 million pounds. Well, so Hibernian's got knocked out by Zelezhnishar, but oh, he won't come on to us on loan. Not if he signed for Liverpool for £70 million. And even if he did, they'd expect us to pay his wages and we can't. Uh, he is six for five. True. Swoop in. Thank you very much for the prime. That's very nice of you. Yeah, he's very good. Oh, Christ, he is quite good, isn't he? It's good uh, you came in summer. In winter, he's actually very good. And he's fast. Depressed. 15 pace at 6'5". And it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a giant Serbian centre-back. Low wage. Yeah, Hibernians got knocked out by um, Zalesnichar in the end. They won the first leg 3-1, then lost the second leg 3-0, but they did still get to the third round. I like him. Shame about the... And the consistency, which is not bad. It will heavily come down to how much they want. If they want like 3 million, I can structure it. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you 2.5 and I'll give you the rest in instalments because... Otherwise, it's silly. Player exchange. <laughs> Give them all of our random crap. Um, <laughs> that's another attitude. I hadn't even thought about that. Just start giving them random players. I'll give them 1.5 over three years. There we go. He's got like, yeah, he's exactly the type of player I really like. We know this guy underneath is useless because he's like a 5 foot 10 centre back with five jumping reach. This is the first game of the season. Oh, fair enough. The boards I find are really quick to adjust their um, expectations of you in a really negative way. Like, we qualified for the Champions League once, massively ahead of schedule. And then the next year, it was required that we did it again. Even though the previous season, we had be competitive in the second round or something. He... Uh, the goalkeeper... Ooh, no. He's all over the place. Low reflexes, low command of area, low one-on-ones, lots of rushing out and punching. Oh, the bodder lad. Yeah, he was. But I feel like five jumping reach is not going to suddenly become 16 jumping reach. Or even like 13 jumping reach. In Yeah. Slowly but surely not. I wouldn't even say slowly. Like this year, it's more but surely. It's huge gains this season. Uh, Elsport guy, 19, but still worth a little. Whoa! Just as well I had a look there. Well, tickle my tits and call me Shirley. Gustav. Hello. Mine friend. What we said. Oh, he would actually talk to us. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why not, right? We're going to get Champions League money in a minute anyway. These two guys will just be covered by that. 600k. Yes, please. I was expecting way closer to that. 600 grand. Done. That's, I mean, if he'll talk to us for that kind of money, oh, beautiful. Unless he wants a silly squad status, he's ours. The only thing that could really let us down here is, that's, is if he wants a dumb squad status. Minimum release clause, that better not be stupid. Uh, we'll get rid of the stepping stone there because I'm not doing release clauses. 
not at our stage because they'll want a release clause of like a million pounds which will be less than we paid for them because of our stupid wage uh, our stupid uh player values currently so 1.5 he will definitely be a serb in international one day so i do have to bear that in mind but honestly if he's reaching that stage then 2.5 is fine particularly if i can get i can only do two there which is annoying but five years is okay he's 20 as well so plenty of room what about you low move Low move indicates that he wants a relatively low squad status, which he does. We'll get rid of Breakthrough Prospect there. I'll get rid of that, but I do want to find him a low move. 1.3k is perfect. Oh, and four years means I should. His Swedishness means he... Oh. He's sort of on the cusp of being... I should be able to him three. Yes, we can get him on a seven year, which is nice. I think he'd be good for the loan farm straight off. Oh, wow, that was quick. Jesus Christ. That was less than an hour before between me offering him the contract and him accepting it. Sasha liked that. That's tasty. So him and Cesar in the squad could really help us out. The fact that he's actually kept a bit of that PA is exciting. Um, we'll get him on aerial because it's still technically his weak point. But I'm just not sure how much it's going to improve. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't start to work, we'll just whack him on um, defensive position to get the marking and tackling up. Where was Sasha born? He was born in Shabbats. I don't know where that is in Serbia, but we know it's in Serbia. Asked Tony Sunday to welcome him. All right, big tone. Cool. You might get the bravery up true. Oh, God, what do we get? So, Fenerbahce in Slavia Prague, I don't mind. Olympiakos, I'll take. Bayer Leverkusen are genuinely gash sometimes. ZGen files up to date. Well, in the sense that I'm using the ZGen file for this save in this save. I haven't updated it in a while, but he already has a face, which means that it gave him a face which is matching his skin tone and ethnicity and all that. So that is correct. Uh, Liverpool, so that means Marathon Man, of course. Um, <laughs> you know what that... Oh, and both Porto and Benfica. And PSG. So basically, at least one of them's at home. Do you know what? I like the fact that we're at home against Bayer Leverkusen. Like, away at Slavia Prague is good. Our home against Fenerbahce, we should have won that last year. Olympiakos away feels doable. Yeah, I saw that it did, uh, Morian. I still really... Is it easier to use? Already? I didn't know that. The real emblem. Uh, hang on. Clubs showing their real emblem. Which clubs are you talking about? Because I just have a badge pack, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, dear. Some of those feel doable. Like, I reckon that we should genuinely be looking at winning all of those and then maybe scrounging up something against maybe Porto at home, although I wish we had Benfica. Then again, Benfica are goated. Oh, Logo Pack. Yeah, sorry. Logo Pack's just uh, is, uh, TCM. Silly standard ones. Really? Wait, do PSG not have a logo in the game? I thought they did. Either way, 30 million quid. We take that. Nice. Um, so Dinamo Zagreb are through. Olympiakos are th Oh, it's so annoying. That could have been HJK. Then again, they wouldn't have been pot three, would they? Could have still got them, admittedly. Transfer deadline in one week. Hopefully, we can find some more players to get out on loan. But I think that the if th these changes to loans are as good as people say they are, I think we'll notice them more in the January and then onwards. Class fixtures looking... Uh, well, we haven't got their fixtures yet because we don't know if they're actually in or, not, in or not. The only other club we've got left is um, Hammering. And they've still got a game to play. Uh, we do recline that meeting... Porto on Palacio, up to 5 million now. It's climbing slowly. They are getting there. Once we have jumping reach, at least 15. Actually, we're heading up. Oh, interesting. First train aerial reach. Uh, You, as far as I know... Well, he already had he had 16 aerial reach already. So it'd be kind of pointless to train his aerial reach further when his heading's really what's like. He's got 16 jumping reach. Okay. Hamrun versus Rangers. Strength. Yeah, no, no, but he has 16 jumping reach already. So I don't know what the point of me chaining his already existingly excellent jumping reach would be. Because, yeah. So if that's the case, if he's already got 16 jumping reach, then if that is tied together, then I won't need to train that because he'll already have it. Right. Let's see. But others. Um, yeah, I guess. But I've noticed that that doesn't seem to gain much either. I found that strength very rarely improves their jumping reach by that much. Maybe one point at most. I mean that it's not going to be a... So I tell the swamp donkey, a sack Most of the time, I, I find that it doesn't train very well at all. Entrance, Even if it does, you're going to get one point max. And I don't think if they're like 12, they're not going to get to the 14, 15 anyway. Or not like through the training specifically. Maybe over time. Uh, Radical, thank you for the follow. And Matty FM, I must have missed that. My apologies. Thank you so much for the follow. I'll get to the lookups in a sec. I just want to 
see how they get on. Surely they're not going to knock out Rangers. There's just so many areas that you can gain quick. You can get quicker gains. Yeah, destroyers. Oh, they've got nobody. I want to find a player from destroyers. It just makes sense. Come on, Hammer. Just best case scenario actually is they draw and go out on penalties or something. So that way we get the double coefficient points. It's weird wanting a multi side to lose, but I don't want them to get too good too quick. Thank God for that. Do you know what? That's actually really encouraging, though. They were very unlucky to lose this game 2-0 as well. Like, Kyle McLeod and Eduardo's own goal for them, they matched Rangers here at Ibrox as well. Like, that shows that they can compete with teams like Rangers and not be outdone at all. I reckon we've got easy knockout qualification on the cards here for Hamron. That's amazing. Renault Ladawijan. Uh, which guy? The guy at Rangers. Uh, wait. Renoir. Also, Stephen Collin fell in there too. Am I missing some? Oh, this guy. Sorry, I literally, I, I thought that was his surname. Uh, yes, he is a region. He's a 24-year-old region that actually came through at Rangers. <laughs> Reinald Vandenbushman Matanya. Watch, the, watch him be born in Glasgow. Oh no, he's born in Etebeck. <laughs> that is giving... It's giving Jan Venegor of Hesselinks, isn't it? To be fair, the other multis cards have been showing up a lot today. This might be the only time we ever want a multi side to lose in Europe, but they have done, and that's great. Glorious. Right, what's that do for coefficient? 5.25. We have five... We've not even started the group stages yet, and we already have 5.25 points on the board. And now, there's another minimum 14 matches featuring multi sides to get points from between us and Hamru. Minimum of 14. They get six, we get eight. I think we should be looking at 10 points this year, truthfully. And we're also top of the coefficient overall on the year. Christ, that's amazing. And honestly, Goodyear and Hibernian look bloody good in those qualifiers. They Hibernian had that weird muck up, but the quality of the performances are definitely improving. And now with Luter getting that ridiculous w Libyan winger on loan from us... Yeah, we'll have a look at Hamron's fixtures. Uh, we might have to go to the next day to check that, though. A uh, bit of that. Recruitment focuses. Nothing. I don't think those are new, actually, as it goes. Yeah, so ECL's only six games. Unless it's changed from last year. Wait. You agreed to it! You literally agreed to it! We literally discussed it, and you agreed to it. That's hilarious. But not only did it take him a week to realise, he also was the one that agreed to it. And <laughs> Maybe that's just like a trigger of something else and that's why he accepted that. I could have clicked anything there and he might have gone for it. Huh. It's been good, Banksy. Hamrun are in the Europa Conference League group stage. Tornadoes report. Oh yeah. Niger Tornadoes. Ah, no one great. Oh, and there was a Sunday in there though. Michel Sunday. Yes. Ooh, okay. We'll, we'll scout Michel Sunday because his name's Sunday, right? Okay, right. That's what we were actually going to do. Right, really? Lads, come on. You're better than this. Oh, we had two days back in. He had a yeah cruciate ligament injury, which was really bad. Right. Let's find Hammerin. Have a look at their uh, fixtures. So, Utrecht away. Not easy. Motherwell at home. Mulder at home. Them away. Spartak Trenava, who they've already beaten in Europe this season, and Shavenez Vezda. Uh, I've just actually intended that. Do you know what? That's not that easy. But I feel like there's points on the board there. I reckon they should be winning in Iceland, true. They, yeah. Shavenez Vezda, that'll be tough. Motherwell at home seems winnable. Mulder at home, at least they're at home, I suppose. Utrecht away will be very tough. I reckon they could get through there. And that's all I want. Saturday, Sunday. There you go. Chances of that, I would guess one in seven. No, I mean, we've had a, a Sunday, Monday as well. Which is pretty sick. Uh, ooh, what have I done there? Oh, squad numbers, right. Just do a little checky check. I hate how many times you have to push this for it to actually sort it correctly. It's insane. 10 points. I, it's hard to know. I don't really know where they sit as far as this kind of stuff. 
Like, we've seen how good they can be. And then again, they did give Rangers a run. Watch them lose, like, way more than we think. Ah, he doesn't have the potential, but I think he'd still make a really good lone farm player for the time being. In fact, someone like Hammer could really do with him. And these, in theory, should be the types of guys that are exactly up their street. Yeah, watch that Icelandic side be insane, Drew. Boom. Still more. Oh, there's a bid for... Oh, Dingley won a bit of the bunny rabbit. All right. Up the Dingley Swallows. Ooh. Chukarich... Ah. I thought his name was Roland Bog then. It's a shame, actually. Chukarichki often produce some proper bangers. Then again, we have just picked up an amazing Serbian player, so it'd be a bit rude of us to find two in one stream. It'd be nice to get out of um, this transfer window just so that we'll stop having to deal with bids on our players. Oh, now Messina won them. I could just set them to auto-reject. But I like having options. I like being able to stall them at the start of a window before they get upset for a little bit to prolong it slightly. See you later, psycho. Produce Dick. Did they really? I had no idea he came from them. PSG want Sunday. Okay, so three points. Yeah, see, Sunday's value is starting to creep up a little bit now. Palacio's still at 6.6, .6, but it's definitely better than where it was. That was an £8 million bid now. So his value is going to start creeping up again. We should have to wait to get some actual, like... Yeah, it just reminds me of MTK now. Basically, if we could get through the first couple of transfer winners without losing any of our players that we don't want to lose, then I think we'll be okay because their values are going to just gonna be way higher at that point. Gustav Nielsen, really? No one. No one at all. Fiona! Fancies a bit of good stuff. Because I will just send him to good uh, to Luta if I need to. Oh, there we go. Palmer in for Malipnos. Love to see it. David Chini, thank you very much for the follow. Right, now I can do those lookups. If I could spell them correctly. Which I haven't. Yes, higher bids raise the value of players. Because the game basically goes, oh, this club's willing to pay X amount for the player. Ergo, they are better and worth more. So actually, oh my goodness. So... Milan have already listed Alba for £3.6 million. And now you're wanted by Al Khaliji in Saudi. Looks like Alba's taken the money. God, the career could have been so much better. Massive basketball. Well, that should be easy to find, I suppose. Transfers are multi looking this year. Um, the thing is, most of them will be freebies still. I don't think the other multi sides spend a great deal of money still. But we can have a look at some of the biggest ones that we're not involved in. So Medi Gatchev has actually gone for 600k from Luta to Wellington Phoenix. Hamron have brought in this guy, Arta Bubrov. Watch this, I'll send you to Luta, yeah. <laughs> the man will come. So Arta Bub Bobrov. Oh no, they sold him to Kaliningrad. Right, they didn't buy him. Goodyear are the ones buying. So they've bought Abdul Sonko in. Oh wow, that's a great piece of business. And they've got Juan Ibarra from Manta. No wonder good you did all right in Europe. Not big deals, but like solid deals. Yeah, so still not huge amounts of money flying around them. It's because the money isn't really there yet. If you look at the like, also just out of interest, what's the season preview looking like? Yeah, look at the difference. There's a top seven than just everybody else now. It's nice to see you finally get some loan offers, true, yeah. If you look at the money at the other clubs, so like Picara, yeah, they've only got like What's the difference? Yeah, they've not got a lot of wage budget available. Floriana have an insane amount of wage budget available, but also are in half a million pounds worth of debt. Goodyear have got three million in the bank. Loads of money. Hamron have got nine million, obviously, as a result of getting in the Conference League. And they've got 50 grand in wage budget nearly to spare. Hibernians have got a decent amount of cash too. Luta do too. Wow, they've got lots of money floating around. Which means that if they, if they don't want him, then I'm... Oh, this is a new one. I'd be more than happy to send him off there. Uh, the massive Barca buy. So Barcelona, we'll look at the transfer history. No. There we go. Because if they won't take Nilsson, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, so it was this guy here, Anthony Mayur. Oh my God. That's unfair. Christ on a bike, Leon. He's literally a cheat code. He's like Immanuel Moreno from the Chelsea, from what Chelsea had last save. Honestly, if he gets his passing and composure up a little bit, he's he's an elite player. Good lord, eighteen pace. Can even take a corner. Ooh. 
Like they paid through the moat. They paid through the nose. Just can't jump. Look at that. Only is ta two tackling. Good lord. Yeah, we're we're a way off of like winning anything in this save. <laughs> you see those guys and you're like, wow. I don't remember who Surmaz is. Uh, oh, Malignus has gone to Palmer. And Bayern want Fafana. One day we will have a player like him, or at least a collective of players that are somewhat on that level. Uh, so, as always, we dump that up because we've got so much money, it'd be silly not to. Exactly, as long as Malt will do. It's all about the motor. Is it deadline day? No, it's tomorrow. Right. I'm really hoping that that non-loan offer comes back. In fact, let me just check. I want to just check Nilsson for a second. Malaika, Kadri. Oh, wait. No, I still have that set, don't I? I just want to see. There he is. Gustav Nilsson. Ah, so the game will let me offer him out again, which means that... Yeah, I'm thinking Luta. Actually, what was... Yeah, because Luta do play an attacking mid, don't they? Because they were, they were receptive enough last time to the point where it was worth us doing it. Let me just check their tactics. Oh, they don't play him. And they've got De Jong and Van... A Wait, they're playing Van Aken there? He's better than Van Aken. I want to see if Luta would accept him. They might not do because he doesn't actually directly play in a role that they use. But if they'll take him, then I'll happily give him to them. Uh, don't have a look. I feel like more and more clubs now are saying the thing about no long-term future, which is good. So, we'll have Nilsson. Uh, let's just try this. I, I'm not going to pay 1.4 million for it. Uh, <laughs> okay. That, that one's not happening. Uh, that's fine. It, we, we move. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Let's try a different team. Who else needs an AP? Yeah, we're in Inferno land there. Uh, I want to see if any of them are playing of advanced playmakers. Ah, Sweetie. Oh, would he go to Sweetie, though? Although they might be the only option at this rate. Birkikara. I've got Bruno in that role. He's better than Bruno. And he's one of their players, so we'll see. And Zabar? No. Valletta? No. Tarshin? Oh, that's the wrong way. Other than hammering and they've got bell kebler in there and he ain't moving yeah i'm thinking sweetie or bikikara but bikikara makes more sense i'll try bikikara first although sweetie do have jean dong suck and we could do with making him a we could do with giving him a good teammate to go there and start flooding their team with some oh no sweetie wait Oh, sorry, 19 squad. I got scared then. I might try Sweetie. If they're willing to do it, they might want too much money to make it work. But no, what are you doing, Matt? It might be doable. I'm just thinking about, like, the strategy of certain players as well. But then again, Big Hikara do now have that ridiculous striker. So if he goes to either of them, I'd be happy. I think what I'll do is I'll just... I'll try both and see who offers the least money. <laughs> Let's try one season loan instead of two. Because we can always extend it and change the terms. What the fuck? <laughs> what is it about this player that they... 1.4 million... Because we know what's going to happen, right? I'll do the same thing to Birkikara and it will be 1.4 million there as well. Like, they don't need the cash. The art of the deal. I mean, it's working, isn't it? Right, let's try Birkikara. Let's take Christian Camilleri or someone of that ilk no he's got a lot of potential apparently this one if it does say 1.4 million again i'll be like a little bit perturbed as to wondering why exactly that number specifically that's so very weird like why do they want specifically 1.4 million like, what is it about 1.4 million than that player but for example the others looter wanted 69,000 for that other guy Money for his wages. Um, what was his wage? I've actually forgotten what his wage was. Uh, where's he gone? It's Nilsson, wasn't it? 
There he is. He's at 1.3k a week. Which is about half a million a year. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Half a million a year. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, no, I wasn't saying it was a bug. I was not saying that at all. I was just curious as to where that number was coming from. What, you think I just randomly give them a different player? And they still want 1.4 million. That's a good test, actually. Good point. Uh, let's just try Sweetie. Uh, Sweetie United. Let's find the same guy. 55k a year. Uh, well, it's not, is it? Because it's on 1.5k a week. And there's 52 weeks in a year. You're right. You're right. You're 100% right. I'm a moron. Never mind. It's 55 grand. You're right. <laughs> so where did they get 1.4 million from then? <laughs> I do want to see that. <laughs> it should still be there, right? Right, okay. So now we try just any other random player that isn't him. Uh, let's try... I don't know. Kental. And get rid of you. Then hard lock you. Huh. I mean, we'll do that, obviously, because... Yeah, it's because... I think it's because they can't negotiate with you. So the better the player, the more they're going to have to pay. So what's Kental on? £190 a week. I can see why they'd want... It's still an absorbent amount of money, isn't it? Considering... But I, I, it does make sense. Mineral Page is a scout. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's a really good one too. That's intriguing. Anyone else on 1.3k a week? Uh, well, let's find out. Um, Kadri's on a bit less than that. Malaika's on less than that. There's Juma here. Davy Cloud. Potentially. He's on 1.1. So, based on what we know, that means they'd probably want about a million, maybe slightly less. Uh, we'll try him with Birkikara, because... Yeah, it seems like it's... They, they obviously want a certain amount of money for X, Y, and Z. So, it's value to zero. Oh, you think that it might be because of that? That's intriguing. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, that's a very good point. That's super, but I want to just test this first. But that is an extremely good point. Yeah, we'll do a different one. They've got a lot of Camilleries here. There we go, this guy here. So it was Davy Cloud, this guy here. 900 crown, which is exactly in line. Then what's his value at? Ah, no, Davy Cloud has a value of zero. So that didn't make an impact there. See you later, Master Tramps. Right. So who... I've actually forgotten who we were trying to get out in the first place. Oh, Gustav Nilsson, right. There must be something to it. Let me just do this thing anyway. Because we don't have to accept the bids or anything. You say Del, Del Castillo had better PA now? Uh, did he? Nope, still the same. Dino or Dino, thank you very much for the follow. Let me just go past this for a second. We'll swing back. I just want to see. So the Kintal thing is fine. We want to do that. That's not a problem. It's only a youth contract. Right. Uh, Helsing Morgan, obviously, that's not happening. But we, we know that anyway. So now he's wanted by Hammerin for a transfer. Intriguing. So now let me try Sweetie. Yeah, so bear in mind, they, they, they paid us a lot of money as part of the original Zhongdong Suck deal. And that's why when it came to extending the loan, I made sure to take it out. Let me try the other end, actually. 
uh, I made sure to take it out. I well, which won't always work. I should point out. Right, they don't have a long term future here, which is fine. So we can now transfer list him. So it's Gustav Nilsson. Just to a single year loan instead, rather than two. No, it's still 1.4 million. That is interesting. That might change over time, but that is very intriguing to me. Right. Okay. Now we can add people in because we can also take out. Oh no, Sunday was already out. There was someone else that we could take out, and I can't remember who it was. We'll probably get to them in a minute. Fafana doesn't need to be there. Oh, Watara, that's who. Uh, oh, we want uh, Radlovich in there immediately. We could offer to hammer it, I suppose, yeah. And they are going to need a player like that this year, in fairness. We'll check. I know Hamrin won't want one point. They won't want to pay because they actually want the player. That's where the loan, uh, the, the, the part exchange thing actually works. Medina was a player to take out. I we might not need to take him out because I think there's, oh, no, we probably will, you're right. Because I need to put Cesar in. Yeah, we'll take Medina out, wherever he is. Tune. Oh, you can't hear it. <laughs> It's just rubbing it in again, chat. Uh, where the hell is Medina? Oh, there he is. And I wanted to put in Cesar. There he is, Cesar Vega. That's what I wanted. Hello, Degroovy. Degroovy Gamer. Kadrick, well, if he's in, he's in, right? You can tick off, does not need to rush. Wait, what? Uh, I think I've gone past that screen. That's what remind me of that next time we show that screen. Right, so now we're going to try and offer him to Hamroon. Did Hammer and play a tactic he'd actually fit in? I suppose they must do if they're interested, right? Oh, that's Harmon. <laughs> Did he? I guess we hadn't... Wow, that's weird. We... Why is Hammer not appearing on here when I've literally... Oh, is it because of the... It's because it's not actually an H. It's, a... it's like FM. Come on. I can't type <laughs> Um, Lot of potential. Long-term future. All right, place to exchange. Oh, they want Sommers and Nilsson. Not going to complain. We'll do a single year loans on these because I feel like that way if they do put silly contracts in, well, they want Nilsson and Eduardo Sommers. That would be two very good signings. Sommers is like two stars, if not more, actually. Yeah, two stars. Really good player. Damn, that would strengthen them a lot. Yeah, I feel like FM kind of just picks and chooses randomly. National team. Now, the national team's irrelevant to this save um, because there's not really a lot you do, can do to make it better because the youth ratings don't really work properly. Uh, I mean, I give him a one-year age. Right? It doesn't matter. He's only here for one year, right? Yeah, so part exchange doesn't doesn't um, work unless... Sorry, no, it, it works if they're interested, but it won't work if they're not interested and the player is on large money. Pretty much. Which makes sense. But if you're forcing it, they have to be on really cheap wages. I assume it has to be the pure wages anyway. Right, attracting interest. Oh my... Oh, this is just going to all be... So Nilsson's now... I mean, this is all just foreign clubs, isn't it? This is not Maltese sides. None of these players are players I'd want to loan out anyway, other than Kental. Yeah, so Lindemar and Somers. I don't think the deadline day is going to gem drum us up much interest here, it would seem. You never know, though. Although I'd really like that deal to go through. If that deal goes through, that could massively strengthen Hammering. 7.7 7 million pounds now. It's coming. Uh, oh, time for the old training shuffle. One day we'll get it right. Did it not do anything that time? Oh, no. I don't know if that actually put them back in the same spot. It probably did anyway. Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Yeah, if the active deals right now, if they went through, I'd be very pleased. Is that one that's fallen through? Oh, piss off. Which one? Who was it? I bet it was Sommers. He's a wanker. Fuck! <laughs> Go away, Hammerin. You know what I mean. <laughs> God damn. I feel like it's... If there's anyone who's gonna... Wait, what? Oh, for God's sake... So, I might just try that again, honestly, for the memes. Wait, are they just bidding on... <laughs> now they're bidding on Sommers. All right, fine, fuck it. You can have him for £16,000. 
That almost implies that it was actually Nielsen that turned them down. I love that we're getting players from Villarreal in here for seven million pounds as if we could do anything with that information. <laughs> we should have enough time on deadline day to figure out who was actually causing the problems. Yeah, maybe someone didn't want a loan. Perhaps. We have had a few of them still turn down these loans. True, yeah, maybe he just wanted out. Which is fine, like, Hammer could sell him later. It would suck if all of them fell through. Oh, for God's sake. Yes. Gustav Nielsen to Hamrun. Loan for the, the season and Sommer snubbed Hamrun. I still wonder if I could get him done on a free... On, um... Another player involved in the deal. Another player involved in the deal. Oh, I see. I was like, we've run it. There's some straight swap, lads. Weirdly, I'm going to just offer him for two years instead just to see if it makes any difference. Yeah, I want to see if I can do Sommers in another deal to Hamrun. It'd be weird if that was the case. But, hey. Uh, so like I said, Mr. Enforcer, it is only the league that we're trying to build because the national team, there isn't really a way you can build it. Um, So we're not because the dynamic youth rating stuff doesn't really do anything. Uh, oh, Christ. Oh, the youngster ones probably would work, actually, as it goes. Right, so... Let me just try a two-year. Okay. Oh, no worries, Mr. Enforcer. But yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. And there'd be no way of keeping track of the youth rating. Anyway. Like, the, the multi-national team is technically improving in this as a result of um, so many players are just becoming Maltese because they come to the country, play for the clubs, and then because they're not good enough to get in their national teams, they just declare for Malta and play there as well. So we have actually, in a way, strengthened the national team. They just had seen no results from it whatsoever. Any new interest there? No. Jake Gretsch, he was the hammering guy. Yeah, he is just simply not having it, is he? Disappointing. But we actually got the guy out that we wanted to get out, in fairness. Let me just check to make sure there was no other random players that were wanted. Because sometimes that screen, even when you set it to... Like, why is it not showing on that screen? Are you joking? Why is the game not telling us that on the deadline day screen? I swear it... Uh, where's the deadline day thing? Attracting interest. Oh, now he's there. Okay, in fairness, they are actually showing. It's just as of this last report. So Whitney Bell means Hamron would take him on a... Oh, they want him as a new option. That's what it is. And then Hamron want him as well. Wait, where do you play? Are you both DMs? Would they take both Whitney Bell and Chavera, perhaps? Hamron clearly just wanted a DM kind of guy. It is a huge setback. Um, so... I mean, it depends. Like, it's a massive challenge. Like, our players went from being worth 50 million to two. Some of them, anyway. Um, that's the sort of levels of drop you're dealing with. Let me go back up to that Gretsch guy. Hammer make it through. Yes, they did. Well, they were going to make it through no matter what. Uh, because the team they were playing... As in, they were playing against Rangers. So if they lost, they got into the Conference League group stage, which they did. Let me try... Whitney Bell and Chavera. Now, because of the... I might have collected, selected the wrong type of player for this, but I'll just try it. Nope, they've accepted it. We'll see. Tay Ashby Hamrun. <laughs> if we can get both of those two out. Now, they might only want one of them. Damn. I guess because he's a youngster, he's going to want more money. But I'll pay for it. It's only 10 months. Susie Jr. And it should have been three, honestly. Well, we actually wanted them to lose to Rangers because if they'd have won, they'd have been in the Europa League group and it would have been a nightmare because they would have just got battered. No, they've shown some quality, but not that much quality. Them being in the Conference League is perfect. I reckon they could get out of the group, get some knockout football, get the rep gains, get all the good shit. Did it. There we go. Um. Yeah, so Whitney Bell and Yadir Chavera also gone to Hamrun. Any kind of crazies there? No, I like the age on here. That Chiss has. That's good. We take that. Any new... Oh, Oliveira? Kazir United, nice. No problem. Probably should have offered them all out on the final day just for the memes, just to see what would happen, but that's another bid. Kazir are obviously trying to strengthen too. No problem there. Yeah, Hibernian's lost, which they shouldn't have. Um, particularly as they had to play Mulder. Yeah, three hours. I mean, uh, maybe. 
I don't know if I... Mm, there's no harm in it, right? We might as well. You never know what happens. Hopefully it'll let me. Yep. 38 players left to die for loan. You never know, right? We're not really doing that password just because so many have done it to the point of, like, silliness. Like, with... <laughs> We wouldn't be able to stay on top of the admin more than anything else. Oh, okay. Well, good for them, I guess. Hibernians take out Marcos Rodriguez. I think they were in for him at one point, and then he just didn't. Yeah, we'll get a bid or two from um, MacArthur, of course. Uh, yeah, lots of bids there. Some bids from Millie, but not the kind of bids we want. Poor us, just holding Millie hostage. Oh, well. Rude slot. He wasn't, was he? I mean, I'm assuming so. Yes, he was. This is rude slot. <laughs> from Oosterbeck good old rude slot the Dutch never really let you down on good names do they so no we've actually dropped down in loans this year we're up to 100 and, oh never mind we're at 106 again now. <laughs> the new service centre back is possibly on for starts almost off the bat yeah which gives us so many options where is he she's got potential as well doesn't he because I did put him in the Champions League squad as well where the fuck is he We'll just go to the squad here. Oh, was he on the... Oh, uh, he should still show up, though. There he is. Radanovic. Let me make sure I move him to the right squad, though. We should still be able to see him, though, because we have them all turned on anyway. But, yeah, he's definitely in the mix. Left-footed, though, so he'll probably have to play on the other side. Still, that's really intriguing. Oh. Uh... Well, yeah, I mean, hopefully it will just be, it'll be for the league itself. Hey, me through. Isn't the top two? Oh, no, I mean, think of some of the Dutch names we've had in the... I mean, Cock Riggling will always take the cake as being the peak Dutch name for me so far. Sasser, no, he doesn't. He was born in, um, I think it was Sabats. Kadith. Oh, wow. Hello, Kadith. Lamin Dampfer. Love that name combination. And Gabon, second nationality, is always fun. Although it would obviously make it more complex if we were trying to sign him. Something tells me we won't be able to anyway. Any new recruitment focuses? It seems like they are recommending more players, but more bad players, and there's just less in progress. It's like, what one player in progress? And those are new ones too. So there is a new guy, but is it Rio Arve? Actually, that's quite cheap for Rio Arve. Victor Guidesh. Not bad. They see... Yeah, it feels like the recruitment focuses, if anything, have been nerfed. Jizz Holster? Well, the finances don't hit the values of... Uh, sorry, the, the the value drops doesn't hit the finances because your money's still worth the same amount. It's just the players that aren't. If anything, they look like, it looks like the recruitment focuses are worse than they were. To me, anyway. Super so better for Manchester City. Players. Well, of course, yeah. That's Those are the people that matter, as you know. Oh, we love the Dutch names. It's one of my personal favourites. Dutch and, like, certain African nations. Dutch names are great. African nations that had have English as, like, a common language as well, I've noticed are really good. Only top league in the game. Uh, no, no, we've got the top three divisions in Malta and the two Gosselton leagues as well. Uh, Watara and Melman, Greib, Kamga, Fane? We doing Fane there? No, Vaughn, I actually... Um, the Zijan thingy should actually that should actually be correct right like it's not like i've changed the pack or anything so that should just be him um right, vida palacio radelovich tunkara lignon tunkara in the middle all right custom database yes it's custom database yeah oh my god yeah the, the, even the top flight isn't even in the game oh is it three days shit is it really oh it is my bad right fuck it didn't see that it's a shame we're not going to get a chance to actually play that game against Fenerbahce today, but it is what it is. Um, actually, that's a really nice rotation. I like that as a backup. Although we can keep Radelovic in there. Burn can get a start. I like that. Chance for Padilla to play. Vega can have a start here just to get him warmed up. Right. Uh, there we go. It's Radelovic. Oh, okay. I'm probably just... When there's lots of letters close together like that, I tend to just, like, assume one thing and just never revisit it a lot of the time. 
You see that a lot in the South African regions, Hadrian especially. Oh dear, we just lost the Super Cup to Hamron. Does it recent update? Oh, well, that's interesting, Charlie, because apparently they'd made them better, but from what I've seen so far today, they seem to have made them worse. So they, you get even less players in them. <laughs> Which is like, considering it was supposed to be the opposite of that, you would get more players in them, but now it actually seems to be worse. But hey, small sample size, maybe it'll improve. Right. New average is for Hamrun. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's lots of money for Hamrun, I suppose. Just free cash. Wait, is that like 9 million now? Ah, there you go. Palacio is now worth 11 million pounds. So he's starting to claim, get his value back almost immediately. Well, not immediately. He's nowhere near it, but it's starting to improve. Yeah, Tim Pot Trophy. Wait, was that one of the... Favoured. It's favoured. Oh, luckily as well, uh, winning the cup is not actually guaranteed, like required for us now. It's always nice when you get far enough in that they'll actually not care about if you win in the cup or not. Bit of that, bit of that. Cool. Yeah, so hopefully the problem is, from what someone was saying, is that that happens and then the next window happens and they all just drop again. So it sort of defeats the point. How much schedule? Uh, we already did. As in for their European games. Yeah, we looked at that already. Uh, fuck it. We could probably get this first game in today. We've still got five minutes. We're practically there. Tara again. Cameron and I'll just go past that for the time. But yeah, fuck it. We'll play the game. It's right there. Be rude not to. It's not like we're running over time. Still unsellable. Oh, yeah. So all of those guys that are getting bids on right now are unsellable. That's why I've tied them down to long-term contracts, so it doesn't matter who pissed them off. As it happens, the only player that's actually pissed off at me at the moment, as far as being sold, is, I believe, the goalkeeper. Oh, no, even he's... Yeah. He's the only one that's actually unhappy about it. Because it's here to kick off time. This is true, yeah. And I missed the F1 yesterday anyway. <laughs> Uh, Cesar didn't play. Watara and Melmore switched those two over. Vida, Palacio, Del Castillo, Tunkara, and Lignon. Interesting. Oh, yeah, because we played Radelovic. Sorry, Radelovic in the last game, which makes sense. Yeah, cool. Must be there for. Oh, I know. I, I checked on my phone, saw the lead Max had, and went, oh, fair enough. Same as always. That's fine. I'll watch some nice NASCAR later. They'll be overtaking it. <laughs> Hopefully. Be a bit weird if there wasn't. Right. Uh,. It's interesting having Lignon. We've got a very tall backline now with Tunkara, Del Castillo, and Lignon. The, the, the height alone is going to be glorious. Right, let's have this. Fenerbahce. Now, we played Fenerbahce in this exact fixture at home with the first match day of the last year's Champions League as well. So what I'm looking at is improvements. That's what I want to see. Like, we should have beaten them then. We were the better side and got unlucky. Let's not have that happen again. This is a crucial game. it's already glitching out again. Oh, no, it's not. It's probably one of the downsides of Spotify still not working properly. Like, we've got four sort of semi-winnable matches, and I want to see as many, if we can get as many points as possible. I think 12 points should be doable, and that would be enough to qualify us. I mean, nine would pretty much do it as well, and I'd settle for that if we had to. Poor Vida, keep driving, but you are the captain. Drop it across for someone, and it's a tap-in for Henry Watara. Vida does it again, and we already lead against Benavache. Oh, after Shakhtar. Uh, well, this is the next game after Shakhtar. This is our first game in the group stage, so um, I'm not really sure. Mostly just doing some loan farm stuff. Getting a, a really good couple of regions out on loan. This is lovely from Vida. That little touch should just shimmy it to the side. 12th goal in the Champions League already for Henry Wotara. Right. Oh, please don't immediately concede. Come on, Richard. Yes! Vida is back in... And in Pog form. Oh yeah, we also missed the, the Super Cup loss. Hilton's played a few games today, um, but we've just been rotating around. My assistant doesn't seem to like him very much because of his star rating in the libero role, but we'll just adjust, right? I want to see Tunkara try it out in that role today. Right, come on. Second goal would be just delightful. It just feels like the team is getting better and better. Even the players that aren't new, because they're just developing. Oh, what? A oh, he could have slipped him in there, but Vida will do it. Go on, Vida. Another one. Oh, nearly. Grab! Oh, he's always in that position. I love the positions he takes up. He's always just there, waiting. Anticipating. Ah. Mm. So far, so good, I guess. It's just... It always concerns me when they don't have a lot of opportunities because it just feels like they're going to score the moment they do get one. 
wow, this has been a dead ass, just a dead first half. Great first 20 minutes and then just nothing since. Well, nothing noteworthy anyway. Like we're still creating opportunities apparently. We're just not seeing them. Right, there we go. <sighs> Lost it again. Wait, Bayern are winning? Is that allowed? Oh Christ, here we go. And there it is. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. I think it's just impossible to do anything about, really. There's only so well you can play. How'd you get good at F24? Um, you're asking the wrong person <laughs> for a start, because I am not good at it. But uh, yeah, first on target, a first chance, really, at such as life. Um, it depends on what you want to get good at, really, because it's like specific things. Like, I don't think anyone's truly good at the entire game. I think some people are better at certain things, some people are better at other things. I think if I was to say I'm good at anything, it'd probably be the scouting stuff. But it really just comes down to putting in the hours and making an active effort to learn one thing at a time kind of thing. So saying, right, I want to learn this and then taking the time to learn that specifically. It's a lot of chance. It could be. I, I don't know. And if all else fails, just download the editor and change everything. <laughs> it's gone very well, Sam. Uh, we've got hammering in the Conference League group stage. And the, we honestly could have had two teams in it. It's been great. Hey, Veep. Um, is it really the case? Uh, hang on, sorry. The que is the question is it impossible? Uh, the, qu the answer is no, because uh, people have done it. Time, yeah. uh, also, oh, yes, we got so hungry up to second last year. So maybe with more time and with a slightly more complete database, we could have done it easily. Go Bucks! Thank you very much for the follow. But yeah, no, it's certainly not impossible because people did it last year with the same database that I was using. And I have no doubt that someone will do it with the same model database that I'm using Bring this year. So no, it's certainly not impossible. It's just an extremely difficult challenge, which is why I like it. The difficulty is what makes it fun for me. Watara, that's a great pass. Go on, Henry. Oh, lovely. Ninth goal of the FML. When Watara's even getting assists now. This is great. Stan Lol, thank you for the follow. Comes down to skill, which I don't have. But like we, I know that Gaffer managed to achieve it last year. I think once we get the momentum going with this one, I genuinely think we've got a great chance. It's just going to be a bit of a slow burner until like the last two seasons. Now this year that we've actually finally got another multi-side in Europe into the Conference League with us. They look tasty as well. I think this is when it starts to really pick up. It just took us a little bit. We were spinning our wheels a little bit more because of all the weird stuff. But this year, it's really picking up. I mean, we saw a bit of it last year too. Yeah, there's always a few down seasons. I mean, you'll get down seasons later in the save too when we lose like an amazing season. But at the moment, there's still so many points up for grabs that we can keep building and building and building each year for the most part. Or at least getting relatively the same. Uh, it's not really until you start getting like 20 plus point seasons that you're then gonna have to worry about down years palacio what an effort holy lord yeah there's a lot more foundations that had to be laid as you say and i feel like those foundations are almost done and we're ready to start moving into other i might put hilton as the halfback for a little bit because he's gonna end up in that role anyway mm. yeah this game's still quite on a knife edge right now and i don't really want to make too many switches just in case particularly with the bench options being a little limited although actually maybe jar jar Veep, thank you very much for the tier one. That's very, very nice of you, my friend. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it, the fact that Hammer and are in the Conference League is amazing. Um, the fact that they were very close to getting into the Europa League is even more amazing. I think the best case scenario was literally what we got, where they just fell short of the last hurdle. Are we going to concede again? No. Um, because it shows that they were nearly good enough to be a Europa League side, which means that we shouldn't see much difficulty for them getting into the Conference League from here on out, I would say. I think they should be pretty much a shoe in for qualification every year, unless they get like a, a Leicester... Well, basically, unless they meet, meet an English, Spanish, Italian, French, or German team in the qualifiers, they're pretty much going to be in there most seasons, I would say. Jar Jar, surprisingly, he was actually one of our top assisters last year. Now that he's learned this role, he's become very, very useful in it. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness me. Oh, it's offside. Please don't tell me that's actually going to... Yeah, good. What a lovely bit of football from Cyrene's. Oh. That is... Look at this. Jar Jar firstly, fantastic. But look at this pass here from Tunkara. And then Jar Vida with the little cutback. Another goal for Melman. But Vida continues the assist machinery of this year. He's probably still got more assists than games. I'm fairly certain he's got... Well, that is a huge gap. Yeah, what are you doing there, Richard? Thing is, they're still in this because FM's, they're just staying in this yet again with these silly goals. 
it does feel like an equalizer. Like if the if you set up a tactic that stops them all the time, they'll just score from corners and free kicks for these random moments, and it makes it look worse if anything. Oh, right, never mind. As long as we still win, because this is actually a better performance than we put in against them last year. Last year was a two-all draw. I would be very annoyed if we don't win this now. That was some good sirens ball. Vida's on a 10, by the way. 10 out of 10 rating. Has he assisted all three goals in this game? No, he's assisted two of them. Oh, what a touch that is from Vida. Cameron land. And now he has got a hat-trick of assists. Three more assists for Vida. My goodness, this is old school Vida. If he avoids injury this year, I reckon he could, he is him. Like last year, Palacio was our top assister. And by a considerable margin. But... The numbers underlying suggested that he was kind of just hitting his numbers, whereas Vida was massively underperforming him. Vida's one of, I feel like, the only player we've got that can do that and go above and beyond. He's like 23. He's still not even that old because he signed for so young. He's only been at the club, I think, four years. Maybe even three. Because he had that first solid year. Then he had the breakout season where he got like 27 assists. Then last year... Oh, no, then he had the, in the injury season where he barely played. I have now, of course, jinxed him, as you say, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Last year, he still created like 18xA, but people just weren't putting the chances away. Oh, that's a great pass for Watara. Go on, Henry. Oh, ho, ho, he's taking the piss now. 13th goal of the season for Watara, all of which have been in the Champions League. VD Clare for Malta. It, it is a possibility, yes. Like, he's not got Portugal caps. He was included in the squad once, but he never got a cap. What a pass from Jar Jar. So it can happen. And the cheek of Watara to have 13 goals this season already. This is so much better than last year. 5-2 over Fenerbahce. Completely dis... Oh my God. Please don't give them another random goal. We've barely even conceded a single... Oh my... As if we've conceded three of them. In have they even managed one XG yet? No. <laughs> We're making this difficult for ourselves as well. That was on Vida. To be fair, Vida has such a hype mismatch against their uh, left winger. He was never going to win that header. Pick to switch. Um, to be fair, like, to be fair, I don't think he's actually, like, eligible yet. He's not been in the country long enough. He's pretty close. I think it was a year, it was 18 months, quite a while ago. So we'll actually check, because the game's going to pop up with a thing about Vida anyway. God, Bayern really didn't make that easy for themselves. Two stoppage time goals to turn that around. Any other mad shite? Ooh, we take that, though. Five goals in a Champions League game. Watara has 13 goals in the Champions League. This Vida already has 12 goals. 12 assists. He has 12 assists in nine games this season already. He might as well be the top assist in the whole tournament already. He's seven clear. Oh, yeah. The wingbacks are insane this year. I'm so glad we moved to a back five. Oh, another 2.4 million pounds. Vida's goated. 23 years old. He's going to be 24 in a bit. Oh. Let's have a look at his eligibility. Yeah, he's got about another year, and then he could declare for Malta, and honestly, I think he will. I don't really see any reason why he wouldn't do. Because I just don't see him getting the Portugal squad. He's just... He's such a match engine player. I love him to death. I can't go over how good he's been. But the stats for the players this year, fucking hell. There's a few people that are just absolutely stat padding, but it works. Like, Watara's got 13 goals this season and two assists. So 15 contributions in eight. That's insane. And Melman's got 13 contributions in eight. I can't say no to that. And Fafana with three goals as well. Sorry, five goals. Vida's already got 12 assists. Shout out to Camgren Lend with a couple in there as well. Being a match engine player, I mean, um, basically means that they just seem to work in the iteration of the match engine. The, combina the combinations of attributes that that player has just seems to work really well and make them perform extremely well in the match engine. Regan Booty, for example, is one I consider to be like that as well. How he is worth for a second. <laughs> He's got another year in him. We like if we find a complete wing. Well, yeah. I mean, if we could find a guy, basically what we want is a guy that can cross. He's fast. The thing for me that makes Vida who he is, is the agility and balance. I think that's what stands out about him and makes him so much better in that position. So I think that's what we need to focus on. That's the thing that Andoy is good, but he doesn't have anywhere near the agility and balance of Vida. Vizniewski was as well. Yeah. I mean, there's almost certainly... Look, up. yes, absolutely, we'll do it before we go. Um, oh, Dan Strong. Your guy is almost certainly going to be goated. Still at Sporting. 32 caps for Denmark. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, good Lord, you're ridiculous. You... 
I'm actually surprised you're still at sporting. Like, you're so well-rounded. Resilient personality, unflappable. Lots of lovely PPMs there as well. Only on 10 grand a week. The physicals are insane. The mentals are insane. 18 passing, 18 vision, 17 technique. Still only 24. If you don't get 100 caps for Denmark and possibly be in, like, Ballon d'Or contention... He does, yeah. And he can also take it slow and, like, just jink past people. Yeah, Dan Dan is very good. I don't think he's going to be involved in us very much in this save somehow. Not with that kind of quality. Christ. Like, you've even improved in the sort of year and a half since the last recap video on the um the Patreon regens. You're so much better than you were then. And even then I was saying, like, you're ridiculously good. Christ on a bike. Wow. Yeah, hammer and pick one of them up randomly. That would be good, actually. Right then. What are we thinking this afternoon? Oh, it's Gav. It's Gav. It's got to be Gav. Right. GB. God, why did you have to change your name, Gav? Thank you very much for joining me today, friends. This has been extremely fun. Uh, good vibes. Finally seeing some progress in the Building a Nation. Uh, you should hopefully see a video from me midweek that isn't a recap video because I'm working on that if the whole of England was a youth league um, video idea. So that should hopefully... And I'll send you the... Uh, database of that later hadrian so yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend my friends i will see you on tuesday where hopefully champions league vibes and hammering in the conference league can continue hold your gun capybara we raid over to gav now Bye bye